Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to William Morris Day. I know, I know, I know. Fantastic. Celebrating everything William Morris today and more. Uh, so, shall we start with today's early bird? Oh, dear. No, 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 dear. My, 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 ear, my, uh, my um, talk back's not working properly. It's, I think it just needs to air. It's, I, I think it's the talk back. I think I need to put air through the tube. Anyway, look, William Morris uh, page marker sets. There you go. Can't beat a lovely page marker. And Humphrey says good morning. Sandra says good morning. They're magnetic. I'll show you. You can just put them. Oh, he says, I'll show you. He says, if I could find the opening of the bag, that'd be a good start, wouldn't it? There we go. So look, now where's my book? I could show you how it works if my book was here. We had it yesterday, didn't we? Anyway, don't worry. I'll find it. Look, 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 look. They're just little magnetic cup. Uh, you just put them over the corner of your page. You're not going to damage your book or anything like that. You get four of them. I don't think no, nothing's on those shelves anymore, Michael. Where are we going? Two ninety nine, two pound ninety nine for today's early bird celebrating William Morris's birthday. Pam Minihani says good morning, lovely. Oh, that's a new name on me. Rodika Todirask. Good morning. Claire says good morning and all looking trim. Do you know why I'm looking trim? It's because this shirt's a little bit tight. So I'm standing, I'm doing that. But have you noticed? Anyone noticed the pattern? Nobody's noticed the pattern. Do you want to see the pattern? Look. Do you thief? That's why I'm wearing it today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 2 99 for your early bird. 24th of March, that's today. 18.34, just after half past six. Oh, that was a year, not the time. Keep going through, keep going through. While we're here, while you're checking out on that, can I just say thank you to Emily, who sent me this lovely little letter yesterday from Emily. I've got to share, oh, Emily in Cardiff, right? I've got to share my Welsh cakes with everybody. She sent me a lovely packet of, oh, there you go. Lovely packet of Welsh cakes. Thank you, Emily's 10. Emily's 10. Emily, Hannah won't be having it because she's shoving ham down her neck like it's going out of fashion. At 2 night, she had her way in last night. She's not happy. She, she thinks, uh, she said, oh, I just, you know, you can just put a couple of pounds on, you know, it could be water or anything, couldn't it? Not the McDonald's she's been eating all week. Not the food in Iceland she's been eating all week. You know what I mean? Anyway, 2 pounds £2.99 there. I'll just get my chair. We're not organised this morning at all, are we? Yo, Hannah is. Hannah is. There we go. Two ninety nine early. We keep going through. Laurie, good morning. Looking trim. Love the shirt. Have a lovely day. We will. Thank you, Laurie. Oh, we will. Just five hours crammed full of fun and gorgeousness and creativity. Message on my bottom. It's a lovely shirt, John, from Bobby. Thank you, Bobby in Devon. Thank you very much indeed. Back to the overhead. Well, I just find something to clean my nails with. Of course, a third shot's got at two ninety nine. What do you expect? Okay, one second. I'll be a bit back with you. Sorry. I know we've got lots to do, but I'm a bit behind schedule. So, somebody was in the toilet and they had the radio on in there. They're in there for hours. I had to go and find another one. Anyway, two ninety nine. There, that's your early bird. That's your early bird done. Right. Now, I did say I had a big announcement this morning. I haven't. It's another day. That's another day. I oh, know, I know. Oh, it's nothing exciting. Don't worry. Nothing about me. Anything. Right. Shall we have... A, oh, shall we have a look? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Look, look. Have a quick look. It's coming up this hour. I know, I know, I know. Make me a star, I think it's called. Is that what it's called? Be a star. Make me a star, be a star, what's the difference? Anyway, shall we, some, my collar's not sitting in place. Shall we look at today's menu? Here's the menu. William Morris Fabrics and Gifts. Well, it is his birthday, after all. Uh, then at nine o'clock now, we've got to, oh, so many issues going on this morning. We've got a tiled applique quilt with Delphine. Uh, here it is. Uh, inspired by the tiles of William Morris, that is. Lovely. Then at 10 o'clock, We've got, so, so, now there's no, there's no dash in it. Who's put a dash in it? 
No, there's no dash in it because we had this conversation with Rebecca Reed this morning. It's superb market bag, not superb B market bag. There's no dash in it. It's just a, look, there's three different versions. She went on a very expensive uh, photo shoot doing those there's Bex with the cakes. French seams in that, or you can line it, or you can line it. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the Rustic Home Beach with Delphine Brooks. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Goes with the whole set. Now, we can't show you all the others because she's taken them home and left them there. And then at 12 o'clock, Amber makes kits now. Now, now, now. When, when I go through the menu in a minute, we'll talk about it. But the, all of her sellout kits from recently, we've got back in stock. We haven't got as many back in stock that we want to have back in stock. But if you've loved her crochet, uh, well, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so that's the menu. Uh, three ways to get in touch. First way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting at. Let's see if we've got any more. Carol says, good morning. Annie who says, morning. Can you say have a great weekend to all the patchwork goose ladies going on a sewing spa weekend? Oh, that sounds nice. Julie Vaughan uh, says, good morning. Lorraine says, uh, morning, John. William Morris, love, love, love. Oh, there's going to be so much that you love, love, love. What have you put that there for? Uh, Michael, Michael's on floor today and everything. Michael. Uh, anyway, the third way is go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Then you go to the Facebook here, and then you click on watch the live show. What's the matter? Oh, hang on, it's not working. Oh, it's working for you at home. The other Jan says, good morning, everyone. Uh, there you go, it's working now. So you go to the click on watch the show live. You'll see a screen there. There's a box there. Write your message there. Don't try to send it with nothing in because it turns red. They're the ones that appear on the bottom later. Right, here's coming up on today's show. There it is, there it is, there it is. That gorgeous quilt. You will not be paying £249 for it, just so you know. This is called pre-order, so you can order anything you like from here and check it out straight away. Now, if you check something out and the price crashes, you don't pay the price it starts at. You, everybody pays the same low price. Look, we've got key rings, we've got pocket mirrors, we've got coasters, we've got pot mats. No, that's not what they're called. Pill boxes. We don't know why the Oriental one's in there. And there's some gorgeous fabrics. What are you doing? <laughs> I might come over there in a minute. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Michael's very, very on one today. He's setting up the nine o'clock hour already. <laughs> I like eager. I like eager. Anyway, look, 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 look. All the fabrics there from the William Morris Hour. Beautiful. Then, now this is Delphine Brooks. That comes in two colourways. It comes in the green and the pink and the cream. And we'll probably reveal it at nine, obviously. And there's the one in the blue and the white. Then we, I uh, don't buy those ballpoint pins for this because they're for stretch fabric. Uh, don't buy that, well, you can buy that Millwood Fusy Map, but I think we're getting the, the rectangular one in. But do buy that Bonder Web. Do buy the instructions. Then we're moving on uh, through the rest of her hour there. Then here you go, Amber Makes, Amber Makes, super, there you go, so there's, no, there's no dash in it. Superb Market Bag, it's called. Superb market, beautiful, take up. Now you can either buy them individually or you can buy the bundle, save money, buy the bundle, get all three and the one pet set of instructions. Then she's got ripstock if you want to line it with ripstock. Then, got those unusual needles there. Then we're moving on to Delphine. Uh, now where's the new one? There's the girl on the swing. It'll be, uh, we'll find it. There it is, there it is. Not in proportion yet again. Who made that one? I don't know. I know it's very strange, isn't it? Very older. Anyway, 19 99 for the whole kit for that. Beautiful. There's the instructions on their own. Then we're into the, at 12 o'clock, this is, this is all your Amber Makes sellouts. Now, when I did that bag, you see the shapely shoulder bag? When we did that, I did that one with Recreed, sold out in minutes, as did the other one. I've not done this one. Uh, that one sold out. Isn't it lovely? Look, wrapped in style. They come in a couple of, couple of different designs, that one. Uh, what else have we got on there? Uh, the Fat Quarters. Uh, and then, where is... That's the one. Right, that one 
sold in minutes. I wasn't on that day. That wasn't the day I was on. That sold in minutes last time it was on. Now, I haven't got enough of them. It's not crochet. It's a printed panel. But you make your duffel tote using the printed panel. But it looks like you've done big granny squares. It's brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. And then that's it. And then we all go, oh, there's the square. There's the square Matt was telling you about. Oh, that's from yesterday. Oh, you've not done that. Right, you could do that and save money, look. Do that, was that was from our bog off hour yesterday. I know. Anyway, uh, brilliant day, isn't it? Uh, so, shall we start? Shall we start, shall we start, shall we start? Look at this quilt, I'm gonna step out. Look, now, this is halfway. That's halfway, so you can imagine how big it is. And how big, now, I know you're saying, I've seen, sure I've seen that design. Yes, it's the same design that we did the uh, Sol in K Facet on the birthday week, do you remember? Beautiful. Now, you've already checked out. Don't worry, you're not going to pay that price. Bef but before I do the crash, I want to show you exactly what you get, right? Because it comes in this box, right? The box is so heavy, I can't tell you. So you've got uh, fabrics from Morris & Co. Reordables. The finished quilt is 215 by 215. Right, where's it? It tells you how much fabric's in here. 12 fabrics over 11 metres. Over 11 metres of fabric. Look, 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 look. You're going to love this. We, oh, 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 oh. So there's your instructions. Be a star quilt. All your fabrics. I'm not going to show you those yet. I want to show you as we open thing. How to do it because there's not, there's only four, eight Y seams on the whole quilt. It's a really, really easy quilt to make. Don't be frightened by it. But this is what it's all about. Ooh. Oh, if you love William Morris in those beautiful neutral tones, so look at all this. Look at all this fabric you get in this bundle. Oh, look at that lemon one. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, there's, there's so much of it. Look, well, there's over 11 meters of it, isn't there? I can't even get that big wadge out there. Beautiful. Look at all these. Look there, all those lovely tonal. Oh, there's um, Baffer's favorite one. The hair's the hair one. Uh, beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, look at this one. Look at that one. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, all of this, all of this, all of this. All of this, all of this, all of this. So let's just move that out of the way. All of this. Now, it's meant to be £249.99. You're doing what? Right, can I just warn you? Please sit down. Please sit down because there's going to be one almighty price crash. Now, if you've already checked out, Thinking, oh, I'm paying 249 You're not paying 249 pounds. You're not paying 249 pounds. Watch this, watch this. Sitting down, sitting down. S 70 pounds. She's taken 70 pounds off there. So it's 179.99. Oh, look at the split pay. Five way split pay. So you don't, this can be delivered to your house for your first, for your first payment of $35.99. So it's five payments of $35.99. No interest charge whatsoever. It's sent out to you. They're waiting in our warehouse. They're there in our warehouse now, waiting to leave now. Now, I know that they did a quilt like this about a year ago, and that was £179. What's happened to prices in the last year? There's no way we should be charging £179. And how big is it? How huge is that quilt? for 179.99. Oh no, here we go. Absolutely stunning, gorgeousness. Need that in my house. No housework to be done, just quilt making. Susie in Worcestershire. Here we go. That are Susie, I can't never remember. Hi John, off to visit, visit William Moyes Gallery today. So this is wonderful from Barbara. Barbara. Oh no, it's beautiful, isn't it? I, I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna step out so you can have a look more. You can look more at it. It's beautiful, it's so subtle. Isn't it? And I love the way they've mixed those, um, like the purples and the blues and the golds at the tips of the um, of the star and in the centre there. It's just stunning. Is it 179.99 or split pay five way split pay? That's ridiculous, isn't it? To think you can get it home for 35.99. We'll send it to you after you've paid the first split pay. I know, do you know what? I was just thinking exactly the same because that was such a shock. That I'll come back in shock. That split pay was a very, very odd, very low 
It's very low, isn't it? Because we wouldn't normally... Five-way split pay is normally safe for, like, the £3,000 sewing machines and things like that, isn't it? Or oh, very, very special occasion. Really, really special occasion, isn't it? Say, £179.99. So, if you've never used split pay before... What a brilliant way to start it, because you know that you'll pay £36 for the next, for, for today, one today, and then four after that, and then it's paid for. £36 a month. Shopping isn't £36 a month, is it? Morning, John and team. What, what, got the quilt. What a flipping bargain. Love it. And I wasn't going to buy. But split pay helps. Exactly. Now, if you've never bought, uh, is, your, is your thing working properly? Can we show how, because if you've never used split pay before, can we show how it would work? And we'll try, we'll try. Our, inter our internet's playing up a little bit today. So what you do is you put it in your basket. Add to basket. Then you go to your basket. Now, if you see on there, you can choose... Look, a big, great big question mark. You can choose whether you pay £179 today or if you pay five-way split pay. And don't, pay don't press on that because I don't use credit cards. No, no, let's not see, let's not see. So that's the way, it's that easy, it's that easy. So now if you bought two, if you bought two, right, you'd pay 72 pounds today, wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? It's just, I mean, it's there to help you. Back in the day, my mum and dad would never do tick because it was like, we save up. But now it's a completely different world. Also, if you put that on your credit card, right? Just saying, just saying, right? If you put 180 pounds on your credit card today, now, You'll pay 3 95 post and packaging as well if you haven't already bought the early bird. But don't forget, if you buy that for 3 95 even if you come in and buy anything else today, that's your P&P covered, even though that weighs, a, that weighs a ton, you know what I mean? If you put 170.99 on your credit card and then you pay 35.99 off each month, you wouldn't have finished paying for it in five months, would you? Imagine the interest, especially the, oh, the interest rates went up yesterday, didn't they, on your credit cards? So you know what I mean? We are offering you, so no matter what happens out there in the real world, you will never be asked to pay more than that. Really shouldn't watch this hour. Spent so much, including the embroidery Disney machine. Love the show, Lisa in Cardiff. Lisa! I, you are paying, um, yeah, I hate it. I hate it when you watch a shopping challenge and they go, you could have this for 35 99 That's so misleading. I'm not saying that. I am not saying that. What I'm saying, you're gonna, everyone's gonna pay 179.99, which is 70 pounds less than you're meant to be paying, right? So it's already brilliant. But if you think about it, if 35 pounds 99 a month, right? Because I might not want to spend 179.99 in one go, but I wouldn't, 35.99 is like part of your monthly outgoing sort of thing. And they're saying gas and electricity is going down, don't they? They say it's on its way down again now, so celebrate with a William Morris quilt. Well, why not? I haven't, that's the whole point. $179.99 at $35.99 split pay. Right, and how many have I got? Brilliant, so nearly, nearly half the stock has gone already. And I've got big stock, I've got big stock. If you all check out, almost half the stock has gone already. And what time is it, quarter past? It's only quarter past already. There's no, there are eight, I'll tell you how it works, right? I'll tell you how it works. So to create all of this, right, you would think there'd be hundreds of Y seams. There's not hundreds of Y seams because what you do, I'll show you in the instructions on the overhead, is you cut strips like this, you cut your strips and then you, you sew them together like this so they're at an angle. Then you get your long ruler and you literally cut strips like that. So there's no Y seams at all there. Then what you do is you create a diamond like, oh, sorry, wrong way, a diamond like that. So you see that you make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. So that's your eight diamonds made, right? Then what you do, now, uh, what day did Emma Bradford do the sole quilt? Uh, because Emma Bradford uh, has done this. She de demoed it in the William Morris fabric. These, these are just great big squares. These just great big squares in the corner here. Then these are, you have to, there's, they're not difficult, but it's not, you don't just cut a square and cut it four ways to do that. You've got to get the right size there. So what you do is you sew two of these together, two of them together, two of them together, two of them together. Then you sew those two to those two. So you've got half of one there. Then you've got half one there. Then what it is, is this square just fits in here. There's a Y seam here. Right, because what you have to do is you have to sew all the way along there, stop a quarter of an inch before the end, fold it round, and then you sew up there. It's not difficult at all. So there's a Y seam there, there, and there. 
and the same there. So there's eight Y seams, but they're not difficult. And then you sew it right the way across the middle like that to create your whole quilt and it's done. Fourteenth of oh no, hang on, we've done it we've done it more recently than that. Yeah, 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 but we've done Emma's done done the so that was birthday week. We've done it in April last year, right? But we, Emma did it in the birthday this um, just recently where she showed you how to do all of these. Uh, yes, sorry, Han. Kat says, morning, John, love the shirt. Reminds me of Stuart Hillard fabric. It's a William Morris fabric. It's not a Stuart Hillard fabric. Oh, morning, John, you're on top form today. I'm exhausted, Margaret. I was at the gym yesterday. Isabel, I wasn't pumping, I just did cardiovascular yesterday. Isabel says, good morning, John. Sensational music to accompany the sensational price. <laughs> uh, Margaret says, good morning, John and team. Cousin Susan says, good morning. Roxana says, morning. Uh, 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 I had some William Morris fabric in my scrap bag. Oh, you know the scrap bags went out last week? Very popular. Very popular. Jan says, morning, gorgeous. Off to see Marty Pello at the Palladium today. I wonder if his hair's still long. I haven't seen him since we did four weddings and a funeral. 23rd of February this year, that's where Emma shows you how to do, well, does, she shows you how to do the whole thing, but not in that fabric. I absolutely love William Morris, ordered mine on split pay, be rude not to. Thank you, John, you're wonderful, from Stephanie. Stephanie, uh, it's, not, it's nothing to do with me. You can thank Hannah for the price, and you can thank William Morris for this, and you can thank, I, don't, I think it's Rhinetex put these together, isn't it? Anyway, nothing to, I just stand there and shout. Say this again, sorry. That's true, that's true. Oh, be careful now. More than half's gone. Once you've checked out, a lot more than half has gone now. Beautiful. Good morning, John and team. Oh, yay, what a start. way to start the day by getting a beauty of a quilt. Hope I behave for the rest of the day, but no promises from Karen. Oh, Karen, I got your message last night. I haven't replied to it. Thank you. Um, yes. Well, no, Karen, there's lots of beautiful stuff today. Amber Makes is always popular. Delphine's always popular. Big day. Big day. Anyway, should we have a look at it? Yeah, oh yeah, sorry, look at the prints on the table then, so we can see where they go. So this here, first of all, this purpley one, I'm going to cut from the fabric up to the quilt, so ready? This purpley one is at the top of the pit points here. Beautiful. Then, now where's this one then? This is gorgeous. That one's in the middle of, oh, that one's a melange of round here. Uh, beautiful. Then you've got your golden boughs up there. Then you've got your dark blue. Oh. Now, I think this dark blue is a different one. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I think this dark blue is a different one that's in the quilt kit, that, the one that's been made. Uh, oh, it's all still William Morris. Still William. There's your beautiful... Look, there's that one. Beautiful, aren't they? Just gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, there's that one. There's that one. There's that one. Look, that one's up there. That one just appears there, look. Doesn't appear anywhere else. Just in those lovely tips. So, now... That's the thing you've got to do. Don't be thinking, oh, I'm going to go rogue and I'm going to change the amount. Because the amount of fabric in the kit, you always get more than you need in these kits. But you see, this one here, you've only got that much, right? Because that's just to do these diamonds, those diamonds there, you see. Whereas this one, you've got loads of this one to there. So don't be thinking, oh, I'd rather have that in there and that there. Because you can't, don't swap them around. It's designed to look like that with that gorgeous central there. Uh, morning, John, gorgeous shirt and fabulous quilt. Got mine on split pay and two other fabrics. Ooh, I haven't even got to the fabrics yet. Love the pre-order, out for coffee this morning. Katie Miller said, oh, where are you going, Katie? Kate? Where are you going? Uh, Kate, if ever you're in Heswell, right, there's the most gorgeous uh, coffee shop called Wild. Uh, and it's just long from Marks and Spencers. And I had a lotus biscuit latte oat lotus oh, oh and it's like a proper you know it's not a chain it's just two girls run this coffee shop and the food the food is incredible absolutely incredible and then or if you go to liso beach go and see martin in the 007 van anyway beautiful fabrics look at them all here Be cool. we are going to leave this for a while because i've got loads of other things to show you Loads in baskets. You do need to check out. I'll come back to it. I will come back to it. <laughs> D don't worry about touching the mic because I'll put it back. Message you up. John, I've never quilted anything, but looking at that quilt, I'm tempted to have a go. Sandra. Right, Sandra, this is what I would do. 
is if I was buying this for the first time, you'll be able to piece it because if you can sew a straight line and a quarter inch seam allowance, you'll be able to make it. Then I wouldn't attempt to quilt it, right? I would send it out to either, you know, kind of um, uh, Emma or Amanda or one of those people who's got a long arm quilter and let them do the quilting for you. It's not as expensive as you think it's going to be. And then they will do the wadding and the backing and everything like that for you. And that way, you don't, you see, because I'd be frightened, th this is me, I don't quilt that much, right? I'd love to piece it, and then I'd be a bit frightened about the quilting because it's so huge, isn't it? I'd send it out. I'd send, they're very reasonable. And then you just bind it yourself. Enjoy hand stitching the binding down, and that's the quilt done. So as a beginner, as long, it, I know it looks complicated, but as long as you can sew a straight line and a quarter inch seam allowance, you could do that. And you could do cutting out. And you could do cutting out of strips. Actually, if you've got a stripology, That'd be fantastic. Oh, no, hang on, no, 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 no. I think you can't do this one with a stripology because I think the strips aren't, aren't one of the increments that they are on a, on a, no, because you have to cut two and three quarter. A stripology wouldn't be any good for you, no. So, but, but no, 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 because I remember saying to Emma on the day we made it, oh, I could do that with the stripology. And she went, no, you can't, because they're all not one of the things. Thanks, John, will do, says Sandra. You're welcome, Sandra. Right, graphics out. I will come back to that. I will come back to that in a minute. Now, I've got extra wide backing. I've got extra wide backing here. Oh, look at them. Look at these three extra wide batting, backings. There we go, this one first, the leafy one. Now, do you know what? This would make the most beautiful wrap dress. Oh, actually, didn't we do a wrap dress yesterday? Oh, can you imagine that in that wrap dress that we did yesterday? Of course you're buying multiple units, of course you are. Now you're buying it off the bolt, right? So it, it's like you buy your normal 44 inch wide fabric, right? Uh, oh, do you want to? I've got Michael here to do that. Oh yeah, then Michael could have to move the camera. Hannah's coming out now. Please excuse the bleach marks on her leggings and the food drip down her jumper. <laughs> Which door is she coming in? Oh, here she comes. She's tired as well. She went to Weight Watchers last night, she's tired. So and there's no buses in Birmingham. Birmingham. Like say hello, say hello to everybody. This is Hannah Producer, everybody. I right, look, look how wide this fabric is. Oh, I love this. Do you know what? I'd like curtains made out of this. I do think curtains or a duvet. A duvet, because you can make your own duvet out of it as well, couldn't you? Just two, two, so two squares together, a few poppers at the bottom. Two tattoos. Two, 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 two. I'm overexcited today, because Hannah's out. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, honestly, she's in one of those moods today. Are we, gonna, are we looking at how wide it is? That's the most slowest pan I've ever seen in the whole wide world. That's a jewellery pan. Though. Oh, it's a jewellery pan, apparently. He's going on to... Oh, no, you're not going to jewellery this afternoon. You're going to be on cardboard this afternoon. Yeah, I'm everywhere. He's going on cardboard this afternoon. There's me, right? Now do a proper... There you go. Boom. I love it. I love it. Kurt. Thank you. Can you ask what? Curtains. Oh, Kurt, curtain. Curtain, she says. I like your glasses with your shirt. Oh, thank you. I wear them every day. I mean, I really, they really stood out for me today. Okay, thank you, Hannah. Go and press a button. I love this. So, Hannah, how much has gone? <laughs> she's not back yet. She's still walking. <laughs> Thirteen ninety-nine. Oh, Jan's awake. She's lovely shirt. Thank you. Quarter of the stock's gone of this and quarters in baskets. Fiona says, managed to get the William Morris quilt and the bookmarks. Love everything, William Morris. Michelle said, just watching for going for my operation. Oh, I'll have to catch up later. Good luck, Michelle. Fingers crossed, my love. Pam Minihani says, John, we're matching today. I've got my strawberry thief pyjamas on. Pam, so have I. No, they're not pyjamas. Oh, Susie's got some advice. You can cut quarter inch increments on stripology, but more difficult to do multiple cuts. Yeah, thank you, Susie. Well, that, that's what Emma ex described, explains on the thing. I just didn't want somebody to buy just stripology and then go, where's the two and three quarter thingy? And if they're doing it for the first time, I don't want them doing that shifting across, but it's very easy to do, but thank you, Susie. Uh, what a great day this is gonna be, says Jill. Julie Vaughan. Now, Julie Vaughan's off to Weight Watchers. Now, I, Julie Vaughan, I thought there was nothing of you. I thought, and you'd blow over. Because well, if I did that to you, you wouldn't blow over. Uh, hang on, messages, messages, messages. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Be it's gorgeous, I love this. 
Imagine a shirt made out of that as well. That would be lovely. Or pajamas. Can you imagine pajamas out of this? Now, who are we going to make pajamas for? Oh yeah, Paul Demiers. We've got to make pajamas for Paul Demiers, haven't we? Yeah, he wants some pajamas. Yesterday, what was the fabric yesterday? And we said we'll have to make it out to. But uh, he loves it here, Paul Demiers. He comes in, he gets insulted from se well, not six o'clock, he's nine at six o'clock. From seven o'clock till one o'clock, we just insult him, and he goes, "I love it here." Thirteen ninety nine. I love that one. I'm going to fold it up, though. I am going to fold it up because, look, we haven't... Um, I'm only halfway through. <laughs> I'm halfway through the show and I've shown you two things. I do apologise. Morning, John. Got Rebecca's crochet back. Oh, no. You have to, yeah. As I missed it first time, heading out for coffee with a... Why is everybody going out with coffee today? Who was that from? Uh, Sheila. Was that Sheila, did it say? Love the banter. She says, well, I'm here on my own, aren't I? Oh, did you? Oh, apparently Hannah just came out a minute ago. <laughs> oh look what's my cup of tea doing there it's ginger water it's not tea tea oh that's just broken my dream how weird I dreamt I was drinking tea do you know my dream last night was I was in an, I was in an amateur production in the village and first night went really well of a play first night went really really well and then the second night everybody changed parts apart from me and I was standing there going what are you doing here why is she here and it was ever so funny I wasn't, it wasn't an anxiety dream. It wasn't I forgot my lines. It was just that everybody played different parts. And then we were drinking a cup of tea and I was like, I don't drink tea. But it was delicious. Yeah, I don't drink tea, especially with milk in it. But I was drinking it in my dream. Where am I going next? Same print, different fabric. Look. Same pattern, different colours. Cream first. Ve well, do you know what? Would that work with that? Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. right. This, very contemporary, this, because it's got, the, it's got the same pattern. It's got a huge strawberry thief. Look how big that strawberry thief is. Cushions. Be lovely, wouldn't they? Just to brighten up, freshen up the room. Okay, so let's have a look. William Morris, Strawberry Thief, lin it's not linen, but it's, oh, linen's the colour. Linen's the colour. It's beautiful cotton, this. Linen's the colour. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right at, the, right, at the extra wides, I'd use this one. I'd use that one. That one with, with the quilt here. Uh, I just think this one's a little bit too cream, this one. Scatter cushions or, uh, do you know, oh, coloured piping, very nice. Or I'm thinking of a very thickly um, padded, wadded curtain against your front door with a lovely wide rope holding it back. You know what I mean? Like a, to drag it back with a big tassel, with a big tassel on it. Lampshades would be nice. Lampshades would be lovely. Well, if you think about it, if, if with your half a metre, how you can get so many cushions out of that, couldn't you, at your half a metre? And or if you make it to sell, if you're doing a church bazaar, charity, you know, kind of or, or a quilting group or something like that. It's upside down now, I know. There you go. Beautiful. Linen is the colour. It's 100% cotton. You're going to make trousers out of it. Very wide, uh, cap capri uh, what are they called? Not capri pants, they're really tight and short. Palazzo, palazzo you're going to make. Palazzo pants. Yeah, because it's a lovely weight as well. To go on your holidays. You're looking very chic in Italy wearing those. She's not going to Italy, but... She's going to make them to go to Croatia when she's going to be very chic in Croatia. When are you going there? Oh, June. We're all going to be away in June then. What day? Yeah. So I'm away in June. Oh, she hasn't booked it off yet, though. Blue. Look at this. 
I would say this would look gorgeous on the one behind me. I'll just, out of the three today, this is the one I'd pick for the back. I'll show you in a minute, but look. Oh, I love it. Thirteen ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine. I know it's beautiful. That's half a meter. It's cut off the bolt for you. Uh, they called it navy. It's definitely, definitely, definitely not navy. It's like a chalky. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. And look how big those jobby thieves are. Jobby thief. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Don't know what else to tell you. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. It's only 13.99 for half a metre. Morning, John and gang. Shopping done. Sherlock walked in for the day. Entertain me. Oh, pfft. not my. I'm not here for entertainment, you know. Education, I am. Education department. I'm not the entertainment department. We've got Rebecca Reed for that later. 13.99. It's not far away. Where you could you could walk the dog round here, Christine. There's a big apparently there's a big beautiful park round here somewhere. Is it called Arrow Park or something like that? Do you not live round here? No. Oh, I thought you lived here. Is it not? Is it called Arrow Park? I could be complete. Could be in Liverpool now. I've said that. There's a big park anywhere near here, which is absolutely beautiful. Arrow Valley, Arrow Valley it's called. Oh no, because Happy Valley's not happy at all, is it? Now you know the man upstairs, he's got a, mur a flower mural on his wall. I've never seen the door open that far before because I've not been invited in. I've not been invited into the management of, you won't, you won't be able to see it, it's right over the far back wall. Anyway, 13.99. Well, no, I'd just be fired on the spot. I wouldn't need to go for a P45. <laughs> Over half the stock's gone. Yeah, they've got a very strange way of telling you don't work here anymore. Anyway, you're the last to know. That's all I said. 13, 19. I could be out of a job now. I don't know. I'd still turn up. I'll just carry on regardless until they come and drag me out of the building. Thirteen nighttime. We got some Christmas fortune cookies once the comp from the company here, and it had all positive vibes come. I think it was when we were at Sewing Quarter, actually. So <laughs> we all cracked them open. Mine was like, oh, expect a fabulous future, expect stardom. Had her open, no, it didn't even have a, fo a fortune in it. It just had the cookie. She might have eaten it. We, we don't know if she'd eaten it. She'd probably eaten it. Right, where am I going next then? I, yes. Now, I've only got these in one colourway. And I know you're wondering what it is, because do you know what? I'd keep that box afterwards for sewing bits and bobs, right? Oh, I, you can see what it is, because it says in the graphics now. I was trying to do a, you know, build up to it. How posh are they? How gorgeous are they? Oh, down to single figures already. Down to, now it's a real, it's not porcelain. I wouldn't say it was porcelain, but it's a lovely fine Fine china, dishwasher and microwave safe. So that's not metal around the edge there. That, you know, no, don't mean metal, but you know sometimes you can't put... No, no, my, the one I make my big coffee in, it's got, it's got like, um, uh, you can't put them in the microwave because it's got like gold, not real gold, obviously, but because it's got the trim on it isn't microwavable safe, but these are. So hang on, look, 18 99 That's good, isn't it? They're £4.50 each, that means. Yeah, yeah, she said she hasn't even looked. Yeah, that's right, John. Oh, imagine having taken that to the to Wild in Heswell. No, right. So this is Hannah, right? She'd buy the box like that. Then she'd take them all out the box. She'd put them in the gift cupboard. So they each give, wrap them in tissue paper, fill it with little sweets and things like that. And then she'd take the box like this. And then that would be for her. That's a look. That's a lovely storage box, isn't it? In the house. Oh, four seventy-four. They are four seventy-four. Oh, okay. So apparently, 
Arrow Valley is, I don't even know where Little is though. It's about, it's about four minutes away from here. It's about four minutes from here? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen that. I've only seen Morrison's. No, which is one with Starbucks. Yeah, Morrison's got Starbucks in it. That's the only one I've seen right here. So if I turn right out of the road, do I go that way? Yeah. Turn right out of our road, then get to the bottom and turn right oh, again. And then left. Yeah. Oh, okay, I turn, on, I turn left, you see, I turn left. Oh, that roundabout, that roundabout. Okay, thank you. I'll go and have, when the summer comes, I'm going to go and walk, walk in there. Live my mugs. Do you? Love my mugs, John. Enjoy the show from Carol with an E. Enjoying the show. Thank you, Carol. How come you've got them already then? Have they... Oh, they've been on before here. Oh, okay. So Ben did a naughty. Ben played them. They were supposed to be special for today's show. Ben, he keeps doing that, doesn't he? Ben. Oh, 1899. Oh no, we got we got told off the other day when we went up because they said what you what you selling that for? That was for a special show. Eighteen ninety nine. Pardon? About to sell out. I thought we said they're about to go out. About to sell out. That we need to. We should keep these as our as our staff mugs, shouldn't we? Those. Lovely. Nobody touch them then, would they? Coasters. Oh no. Do you mean coasters or do you mean pop thingies? Coasters, right? Now these come in different amounts. Different amounts. Four red. Four red strawberry thief. These are all the same. You get four red strawberry thieves in there. Well, nobody, we don't need to protect any of the surfaces here, do we? Charlie's saying, keep the mugs, keep the coasters. But there's nothing to, you know. Look. Cute. Twelve ninety nine. Pushing in on the detail there for you. That's a technical term. Gorgeous mugs. I love all things William Morris, says Hillary. Love strawberry thieves, says Katie. Marina, brilliant meeting with consultant yesterday. Oh, oh, because oh, Pete's not. Send that one to me personally. Don't do that one because I shouldn't really read that one out. But I'm glad Pete's doing really well. I'm glad Pete's doing really well. 12.99. I can see, I can see monkeys' faces. Look, 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 look. Two eyes, there's its big mouth there. Baboon. A baboon even. Monkey. 12.99, but I better get a move on. Four red ones. Then I've got blue strawberry, th yeah, blue strawberry thief there. Blue strawberry thief. I won't get them out because you can see what they look like there. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, I've done. Good morning, John and fabulous crew. Got my X ride back in great value. Look, you look great in blue. Enjoy the day. Love from a wet, breezy Cumbria in Jack from Jacqueline. Jacqueline, have you got any Cumbrian fluorite? Bright yellow. Beautiful. Lovely. Right, moving on. Then I've got the four golden lily. 12.99. Beautiful. I wish, oh, what's the matter? Yeah. Right, okay, moving on. This one's got, this one's got six in it. Look, and they're, they're all different. Honeysuckle, I love the honeysuckle. There you go, that's six coasters there. 1999. No, not funny, no, no. Uh, oh yeah, there's the blue um, strawberry thief. What are you gonna do? <sighs> but that make him, no, you can't do that because that, doesn't that make them cheaper than the, than the four? Okay, this is a set of six. It's now more affordable, not cheaper, more affordable than the four. The other Jan won a William Morris set to recent coffee morning. Two mugs, two coasters, and a tray, all in red strawberry thief. You need four more mugs then. Georgina says, morning, John and team, from a lovely sunny rugby. Not a rugby match, rugby itself. I'll be doing showing that again. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, so that's the coasters done. What would you like to do next? Yeah, now. Did you bring your mug in, Hannah? 
Okay, so yesterday, when we unpacked this yesterday, Hannah went, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'll bring in a great big mug. So everybody thinks they're a normal size coaster. And we'll trick people. Then I said, you won't remember, should I will? I will, I will. She's forgotten. So which one are we doing first? Red strawberry thief. It's called a pot stand, this. A pot stand. Pot stand. Yeah, so when we got them out, you said, I saw these are lovely, but uh, how your pot, Hannah thought your pot, a pot plant went on them. You could do if you want to, but nobody'd see it. <laughs> oh, Anna's mum's got them pots on these. Anyway, that's, I'm not going to, I'm going to whiz through these quickly. 7 99 it's a heat resistant pot. I think it goes up something like 245 degrees, 145, 145 degrees, so you can put your saucepan on there. Easy. Right, that's the red one. Then the blue one. Oh, messed you on my bottom, sorry. Just been price checking. Oh, here we go. William Morris, extra wide and Sang Street are the best value. Oops, time to measure those quilts upstairs, so time for a good spend. There you go. There you go. So I've got the blue the blue one. Uh, oh, hang on, not yet. There you go, there you go. Blue uh, strawberry thief. Beautiful, 7 99 Gorgeous. Then I've got now, I think this one's called Daffodil, ending 64. They're funny daffodils, aren't they? Because mine don't do that in the middle. Oh, there. So what's that meant to be then? Seven ninety-nine. Then I've got uh, Golden Lily. Gorgeous, seven ninety nine. These are heat resistant, remember, pot stands. And then this last one here, I left it to last because I don't know the name of it. Seaweed? Seaweed? That's not underwater. Is it? Is it? Is it? Okay, now, where am I going next then? Key rings next. I am going to whiz through these because look, the time's nearly up. Right, so I've got seaweed in silver. Oh, they're all in silver. Sorry, they're all in silver. Not real silver, obviously. Seaweed keyring, five ninety nine. That's cute. That yeah, I'll open that up and show you. I'm imagining the black, the back will just be plain um, metal, won't it? Let's just double check. Don't use your teeth. Oh, look, that, that one's, oh, that one's actually kept now. Oh, I should have ripped open the other one. <laughs> there you go. Look, there's the back, nice and shiny. It's not fat, well, no, it's not, unless it's a piece of fabric under resin, but I don't think it is. It's gorgeous, though, is it? Let me get in sharp. The, the, the corners aren't sharp. They're rounded off, so they're, they're not sharp. I think they're lovely, gorgeous gifts, aren't they? Jennifer, very good weight to the key ring, says Jennifer. Now, Jennifer, when I was at Pavers last week or the week before, I had to pet weighing scales because the shoes were so light. I was weighing the shoes on it. 5 99 that one. Then I've got a uh, red um, strawberry thief. Oh, that's nice. Very popular, that one. Very popular on pre-order. What's the matter? Five ninety nine. Look, you can see the monkey face on there, surely. Monkey. Oh, I did a musical called Poppy at the RSC many, many years ago, and that was very much like the poster. Anyway, five ninety nine. Quarter of the stock of those are gone. Let's do daffodil. Daffodil coming in. They're all very popular. These key rings. Beautiful. Then I've got Strawberry Thief in blue. Blue. Le bleu. Now remember, I'm not going to get a chance through the fabrics. I've got loads of William Morris fabrics by the half meter as well. Please check on pre-order to find those. $5.99. Beautiful. And then we've got Golden Lily keyring. 
gorgeous. Now, am I going to mirrors or pillboxes next? Oh, pillboxes next. Now, I'm only going to do two of, oh no, I'll do all of them. Okay, so there's your key rings. Now, pillboxes, I'll just open one of these up for you. These are cute. I think the, these would look nice on your dressing. I was going to say your dressing gown, then your dressing table. Strawberry thief I'm opening. Yeah, sorry. Oh, very tight fit in the box. There we go. Oh, look. Let me, oh, look. Little compartments. Ear, or a, a little earring backs or anything like that, or earrings when you're travelling. Not your big drop earrings, Hannah, that you wear to go clubbing, but your little studs and everything. So she keeps her studs. Steph, Paul, me. Seven ninety nine. That's cute, isn't it? That and look, there's a little button there. You just press the button, it pops open. Oh, I like that. How much is it? Oh, it's only seven ninety nine. So that's your strawberry thief one. Then we've got your golden lily. I'll get this one out of the box. Golden lily. Pill box. This one's the most popular, isn't that? Well, it's not strange, but you know. You always think it's going to be, because when we sell the trays, it's always, the, or the glasses case, it's always the strawberry thief that sells out first for Golden Lily. Then, this has got nothing to do with William Morris whatsoever, unless Hannah thinks he liked Blossom. I had a friend called Blossom. Yeah, she's lovely. She lives in Australia now. Oriental Blossom pill box. So nothing to do with William Morris, just a pill box. It's a gorgeous little pill box, eh? Right, then... These, now, these are lovely. Now, yeah, we'll go very fast because Mandy Shaw sells things like, but with her fabric on the back, or her pattern on the back, and they sell, she sells thousands of them. Right, honeysuckle. Look at the price. Now, I'll open it up because it's a mirror. Oh. No, it's not straight to get my nails under. Look, oh, oh, you have to take the little bits of uh, sticky off there. Sorry, I should have checked that, shouldn't I? Look, little handbag mirror. Yours will be cleaner than that because I've just done that with my fingers there. Beautiful, honeysuckle, very quickly. Now I've got seaweed. Le seaweed. Over half the soccer seaweed's gone already. Oh, it's the most popular by far in this one. Then we've got a uh, golden lily. Now it's funny, there's no strawberry thief in the mirrors. What's the matter? Yeah, no, as I said, I'm showing it later. Doesn't matter, don't worry. You're just eager, that's all. He's got a very long shift. I'm going to come back at four o'clock this afternoon and see if you're still as eager next door. <laughs> I will be. You will be. Right, so then we've got daffodil. Oh, come on, because there's one coming up in a minute which I don't know the name for. Pardon? Yeah, that's right. And then I've got Larkspur. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh. I know, lovely, isn't it, the Larkspur? Right, now I've got to go, I've got to go, because um, Del I've got it here. Delphine is up next. Right, have a look at the box. I am going to open the box again, but this should be £249. Wait till you see the split pay. It's on five-way split pay. Look at all the gorgeous fabrics. Beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Right, now, I've got 29 people got this in their baskets, right? I'm not saying... You're going to miss out now, but it's only five to nine. When people wake up and start looking at what we've done and everything, or watching the show, and these will go. These will go, but there are 29. And how, what was the other number you said? Oh, way over two thirds have gone. Way over two thirds of the stock has gone, and we had loads of these. Beautiful, gorgeous fabrics, look. Okay, um, who's that, Margaret? Right, the, all of these fabrics here, 
These are not cut to anything in particular. These are all just by the half meter. I love that one. So if you, so hang on. So if you, you so basically you sell them by, which one of you put through that one? Right, okay. So this is for Margaret, just for an example, right? So I show the fabric like this. This one is called William Morris Wandle Small Pimpernel in blue. It's 7.99 and a half a meter, right? Now, you don't just have to buy half a meter. If you want two, say you want a meter. Say you want a meter of it, you buy two units and it will come as a meter piece. Say you want three meters, you will order six units and it will come as a three meter piece. That's how it works. I've got time to go through all of them, but they're all on the, uh, they'll all be on the pre-order section at the moment, apart from that one. Oh, we're in the break, we're gonna play them through. We're gonna play them through in the break, so they'll be on the show deals one. Right, I'm going for a break now, but look what's coming up next. Look at this. Uh, now, the reason it's a William Morris inspired is he loved his tiles. He did a lot of fabrics on, based on tiles. So Delphine has designed, designed this not as a William Morris, but as her own design, but using the tile. And Longdon was the name of, what would she say it was? One of the collections of tiles. Beautiful, isn't it? We've got that in two colourways. We've got it in blue and white as well coming up after the break. I know. We'll see you in four minutes from now. Join us this Friday on Sewing Street. It's William Morris Celebration Day. We've got a brand new quilt. We've got brand new fabric. We've got brand new gifting. And we've got Amber Makes and Delphine in doing demonstrations. What more could you ask for? Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. C 
See you there. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Delphine's here in her new blouse. I've not seen that one before. Oh, yeah, it is new, actually. Yeah, you see I clock these things. Yeah. How are you? I'm not too bad, yeah. Oh, no, what's been going on? Oh. <laughs> that sounded like, oh, I've not been too bad. No, no, good. Busy, no? Yeah. How's your Lewis and Irene thing going? Oh, it's going really well. If yeah, you don't know. Really, really oh. good. Oh, it's split screen. Yeah, Charlie, you're the only person that uses this. I hate it because I never know when I'm in shot or when I'm not. I don't mind you, Charlie, but please tell me. Because the other day, you said to say. Well, I didn't hear you. Make sure you tell me. Because the other day, I was I was in that box there, right? And I was like this. Like listening to the guests talk. And I suddenly looked around and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm in a box. Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. So if you don't know that you've just gone into collaboration I have, yeah. with Lewis and Irene yeah. to do your very own yes. fabrics for Lewis and Irene. Yes. If you follow Delphine on any social media, you'll see it. It's fantastic. It's gorgeous. I don't know. It's not out for, for months and months and months. No, it? it'll be in the summer. Yeah, because you have to. It, it's out at the moment for trade. So if you we, when we went to the trade show, they yeah. were showing it to all the suppliers and everything like that. So if we're going to do it here, we have to go to Lewis and Irene and order it, basically. Yeah. Which we will do, I'm sure. Yeah. Because yeah. they'd be stupid not to. Oh, no, yeah. It's all, it's all exciting. It's all good it's all, stuff. That's fantastic. It's brilliant. Yeah. Right, have a look, have a look behind, oh, you can see it behind Delphine, behind Delphine, it's gorgeous, look at that, there's, now hang on, hang on, hang on, there's something wrong there, that cannot be 29.99, yeah, just stand to one side for me, Delphine, you are gorgeous, they're saying that she's gorgeous, but we want to see the quilt, hang on, so you're going to get all the fabric and the instructions for that, for 29.99. Why is that so affordable? Because we try to make it yeah, but for these, everybody. These, right, I need to explain <laughs> something, right? The real um, instructions haven't arrived from the warehouse yet. They will be coming, and as soon as they arrive, I'll show you them, because they're gorgeous colour and everything like that. But the, let me show you on the overhead what, how much information. No, no, no. Look, you, will get, you won't get a photocopy like this. You'll get a proper Delphine glossy yep, fabric. Yep. But... As well, look at all the information. Look all the templates. I know nine ninety nine. That makes the fabric twenty pounds, doesn't it? But look, these shouldn't be nine ninety nine. These should be a twelve ninety nine because this is going to be a look. All the information that's in in there. Look. Not quite sure why we got Hannah's photocopied page. <laughs> anyway.
anyway, so this is what you'll get. You get three meters of fabric, you get the dark sage, you get the green splodge. Right, hang on. So you get a meter, you get a meter of your lemon splodge. You must get a meter of the greens mixer and then chartreuse and then half a meter of each of these. Moss, is that called? Oh, don't get Hannah started on moss. Do not mention moss in the gallery. Why? Hannah's new fixation is, you know moss that grows on like your pavement and everything Yeah. Else? I mean, it's fascinating. The story is fascinating about in Iceland and everything like that, the trees and all that. But you just have to mention it and like four hours later you go, oh really, 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 I need to go home. She's found another book now. Anyway, 29.99, that's the one that's on the wall. The one that Delphine is gonna demo is this one. So you get a meter of white, you get a meter of your um, splodge mixer. What color do they call that one? Uh, <laughs> well, it's blue splodge. Two seconds caller. Royal blue mixer, that one. Then we've got half a meter of that one, Copen, and half a meter of slate. Yeah, there you go, half a meter of slate. 29.99, you will get proper, proper, proper instructions. You won't get these photocopies. Yeah, don't think 29.99, oh, I'm only getting a photocopier, photocopy one. You're gonna get the, pro as soon as they arrive, as soon as Roy brings them up, we'll, we'll show them. Right, that's the one you're gonna see demoed, and I think that's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be like your shirt. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, I've, I chose those colors to have that type of vibe. Oh, there you on. go, my vibe, yeah. my vibe, there you go. Yeah. Beautiful, right, now. Right, okay, I haven't got that here. Oh, hang on, the big box. No, I haven't got the big oh, box here. Oh, it's in the green room. Oh, you see Bonderweb, it comes in a big yellow box. It's in the green room. We'll do the fuse map first. Oh yeah, fuse map, now this is a deal. This was yesterday morning, right? We did a bog off show. It's not called a bog off show, it's called a bulk buy show where you get money off basically yeah. so what, what hannah put this and this together for you so you can save five pounds so that you'll see this map being used you'll see that map being used in a minute but then this is your five meters of bonder web here which would be enough to do this would it yes yeah that'd yes. be enough to do the whole project 43.98 you're saving five pounds Okay, I've also got the most affordable way of buying Bond Web. Yours will be a nice new box. It won't all be open. And uh, did you help yourself some of this this morning? No. Oh, it's not like you. Thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yours will be. Yours will come in a box like this. It's the most affordable way of buying. If you're going to do lots and lots and lots of Delphine's projects, this is the best way to do it. Because first of all, you've got the box for it to store in. You've also got it on a roll, look, so it's, it's kept nice. And, and But you also, you will get about 100 of these in there. Just recycle those. Because what it is, is this is normally sold to shops. Where, you know, when you go to the shop, you say, oh, can I have a metre of underwear, please? They give you a leaflet to go with it. So you don't need 100 leaflets. Put them in your recycling. There's only five of these left. Yeah, there's five of these, that's all. Exactly. You won't get this one because this one's been started, obviously. 117.99, two way split pay, 58.99. I know, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So that one's been opened then, is it? This one's been. Who's it? So it's not you, you're the only person that uses this normally. Hmm? And you got one of these last time. Yeah, you were well, in. I've nearly used it. Don't forget it. you're on a split, you're on a split <laughs> screen now, you can't you saw see me go. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you got one of these last time you were in. I've used. I, I, I get through it like you wouldn't believe how it was. So, it was so funny yesterday. Cara yeah. said, Oh, I've used all my 505 spray. Could I have one of these 505 sprays? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, if you've used yours. Cat was like, No, that's going to a customer. And she gave her a half used old oh, tin. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> so Cara stole the friction pen. Yeah, she stole the friction pen instead. <laughs> right, 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 right. Should we start some sewing? The bundle is made up on the wall. Oh, okay. Third, the stock of this one has gone already. And how much? Right, okay, third, the stock's gone, and the third, the stock's in baskets of that one. You do get the instructions with it. They won't be this, they'll be proper ones. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I don't want a blue and white one, I don't want that one, I want to do mine in yellow, you can do. You won't get this, you won't get this, you'll get the proper instructions. Oh, there you go, that's what they look like. How come you've got a copy of it then? That's the cover. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then have they got that then? Oh, has Charlie made that? Oh, have we have we done them? Did we do them or you do them? I've done them and I've sent them to the warehouse. Oh, so what? Yeah. I'm not going to worry about it, but if there's a picture of a, if there's a picture of one, oh, it's not a physical one. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> that's an email. That's an email. <laughs> Fine. Anyway, that's what yours will look like in colour. What are you saying, comparing me to your mother? They forget that we can hear. <laughs> right, shall we do some sewing or some making, please, Delphine? Yeah, yeah. Let's Make me that. a blue and white quilt. Okay, doke. So we get your bond web, get your biro, and you're just going to trace round your petals. Now, which the side of the bond web are you drawing on? For this one, I'm actually drawing on. Unlike me, I, is the smooth side. Okay, because you're the only person that draws on the on the, the gluey yeah, side. Yeah. So the, it's because it's symmetrical. So symmetrical symmetrical patterns, I always draw on the, on the paper, paper side, side. Uh, and. Oh, the pen's running oh, out. Oh, pen's running out, Michael. Oh, Hannah's got some pens next door if you... So. Message on the bottom for Delphine. Lovely quilt. What's the finished size, please? Lynn from Kendall. That was Michael, by the way. I think it's 44 inch square. 44 inches square. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. 44 inches square. So, for the so this is the block I'm going to do first is for the four corners and the centre. No, the centre is built slightly differently. Oh, is it? Yeah. What's you, different about it? Well, for one, it's on an angle, and the stem's longer, and we're going to use different colours. Oh. So I'll show you how to do. So you need seven petals per flower. Right. So I'm just making the most of my bonder web. I'm just flipping it round. So, and you'll see on the pattern, yours is yours will be like this. Yours is all colour coded, so you'll see that they do over, over overlap slightly. You don't have to draw over every single petal. Just choose one and just do seven of those because yeah. they're all the exact same size. So I'm just going to cut that off the bottom. I've got some white fabric. So you'll see how quickly... Oh, it now that... We've only got the square um, wool felt mat in. Is that going to be big enough? Oh, it's sold out. It's sold out already. Do you want a different mat? Because then you can have more yeah, space. Yeah, if I can have a bit more space. Oh, hang on. Hang on, there's a big one here. Have this one. Is that big enough for you, then? Oh, that's better. Thank you. Thank you. So how are you, John? I'm very good, thank you very much indeed. Went to the gym yesterday. I saw, yeah. So you, I think I think I know which one you went to. Actually. At Alveston, I go to Alveston yeah. Hotel, yeah. Oh, what are you saying, Han? Yeah, how did you come out with the, stop talking about yourselves. How did Delphine come up with the project? Well, so obviously William, William Morris Day. Yeah. Um, and I've obviously his, his prints are really inspiring. But when I was actually looking into a bit more depth of what he's done, um, I also found that he did all these tiles, mm. um, these London tiles, like all in different colours and different shapes. And I was, there was this one that I was just really inspired by, so I've, I've actually taken it from that. Okay. So, so it is a William Morris design sort of, of a tile. Sort of, yeah. Mine, this is my interpretation okay. of, of, okay, good, of good, good, one good, good. of his. Yeah, yeah. So fairly similar. But yeah. Is it all right? Oh, what's happened? left-handed yeah no i noticed that yesterday when car was using here use this one yeah that, that's that's completely baffled me then <laughs> so yeah so i did it based on based on his that's thank you john that's better uh, I can't. thank you thank you michael cool. so i'm just cutting the straight edge you can do it with scissors but i'm just yeah. doing this so i can get it done quite quick yeah i do it with scissors Um, so where did you where, where did you find your information about him? Did you just go on the internet and look up uh, William Morris designs? Yeah, yeah. There was, I've, I've looked at so many prints, um, but it's hard to choose one to actually work off. But then, I've seen um, quilts, not William Morris quilts, but designs using this technique. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. Like or, it's almost like it looks like Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Yeah, Hawaiian yeah, quilts. Yeah. yeah. 
um, and it's it looks more complicated than what it is it's just basically choosing your four corners and rotating it yeah and that's what gives it that effect of oh the... yes so yeah it's just a, something a little bit different but yeah that the hawaiian quilt that's exactly what brought, came to mind actually when i when i finished making it yeah <laughs> the green and uh magenta one that's on the wall uh, down to fewer than 20 now and then so choosing these blues and whites so this is what's actually going to make it look like a tile yeah 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 were his tiles, his London tiles, were they blue and white or were they all different colours? They were blue and white. Yeah. But then these colours behind me are also very William Morris. I think they're gorgeous. That colourway is... I mean, I love the blue and white, mm. but that colourway is amazing, yeah. <clears throat> so. Oh, now we have to point out, we have to say something. The fabric of the... that you get here is enough to do the front but it's not enough to do the, the binding. binding. Yeah. I've just remembered that. You're not enough to do the binding. So if you want to do the binding, you'll also, I can tell you the colors again. So you can maybe order half a meter of one of the colors if you want uh, one of the colors to do, to do the binding. Yeah. You could do, there's enough left over to do like a scrappy binding. Oh, okay. Yeah, but not a solid binding. Not a solid binding. And then if you do a scrappy binding, just make sure all the pieces are the same length. Oh, so it's so, a uh, uh, formulated scrappy, not a scrappy scrappy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why do they have to be the same length? Just that, don't, they don't have to be, but that's what I would do. Oh, yeah. I don't think, I, you see, I don't think, personally, I would do a scrappy binding on it because I quite like the, f the formal layout and I yeah. think the scrappy binding would take you away from that lovely formality of the whole quilt. And I think any colour will work as well for the Oh, binding. yes, yes, yeah, any of those colours Any of them, because it's just going to... I yeah. just like the dark. Yeah. Only because that's what I had. So there's my petals all drawn out. Yeah. So now I'm going to use my mat and slowly build up my picture. Brilliant. Here. So the Fuse Mat bundle with five pounds off. Uh, we, we call, yeah, yeah, it's available separately. Fusing mat, it's called. Fusing mat. Um, they are available separately, but this is, you get five pounds off if you do that. Oh no? Do you want to do it individually as well? Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. They're nearly all gone, the ones on their own. They're there on the website, but they're nearly all gone. So if you want it just on its own. So what is it, what is it you're using? Hang on. Oh, do you know what? I, you can see how much I've used this. I use it all the time. So this is a plique mat. So what I'm gonna do is it helps you build up your pictures. Yeah. Um, and they glue together. They'll glue to each other, but they won't glue to the to the mat itself. To the mat. So when you're making a plique like this, so for example, you could even put the template underneath the mat. I'll show you. In yeah, a sec. you need to set that one off, don't you? Yeah. So I'll take those pieces. So if you're doing one of my projects that you know, like one of my animals, or even one one like this, for example, and um, you could just put your template piece underneath there. Yeah. Usually they'll be stitched together because there is another one here somewhere. Let me just show you because I just didn't take them together because I just did them as a photocopy. So. So imagine this is taped together. Like that. No. Yeah, yours be sellotaped together at home. Yours be sellotaped together, yeah. Just give you the idea. So there's your image already. And then you take your pieces and you just lay them on top. With the bonder web down and yeah. the paper taken off the back of the bonder web. Yeah. And then even in the pattern, it shows that the petal pieces are slightly overlapped. Yeah. And then you can just build up your picture and then you can keep adding to it as well. So you don't have to just iron this once and then you feel like you have to take it off. Yeah. It just helps you work be really accurate. 
It was originally designed for, um, like we had this the other day, the sugar, the people in the, you know, a chef that does sugar baskets and sugar work and things like that. That's mm. how it was first designed. So they would do their sugar design on it and then just be able to peel it all off. Yeah. So it's all started in yeah, the chef's I, I, kitchen. Yeah, it's been, yeah, it was made for chefs, wasn't it? Yeah. And then he put that on top. That comes in it, that comes in the thing. Also at home, you'll have a pressing, uh, you'll have a pressing mat underneath it or an ironing board underneath it, not yeah. a cutting mat. <laughs> and then. Oh. What have I done there? Did I have not? you got it the wrong way up? Yeah. And two seconds. <laughs> So you make sure your bond web is facing down. But it doesn't matter though, you see? Yeah. Just make sure you do it right the first time. Uh, uh. I can see it now because it's shiny. Yeah. That was just a test. That was yeah, just yeah. a we'll test. Yeah, yeah, we'll cut that bit out. Yeah. We won't show that bit. <laughs> it was because I was busy saying about press on your ironing board, not on the table. There and you go. There you go. See, I did it on that one as well. Oh, pfft. You get the idea. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> so there you go. And then you can lift it. You see, so the bond web it. hasn't actually stuck to the mat. It's only stuck to the other bits of fabric. Yeah. So and it doesn't matter. It's not going to damage your templates or anything else no. that are underneath it. So let's do the last two pieces. This will be really quick. So I'm just drawing my circle and because I've not taped them together, I'll show you another way. If you were only working off a half template, yeah. you just flip it over, match oh, right, up okay. the seams. And then if you've got enough bonder web, that's all right, I can cut that bit off there. And then the same for the bottom section here. Like that. And then you're going to choose whatever fabrics you want to use for those ones. And then you're going to cut those ones out as well. Yeah. So just jump onto one I made earlier. And let's build that picture together. So then you've got your, your, ba um, your backing squares, which you need to be cut accurately. Here we are. It's this one here, isn't it? So these are all your bits again. Uh huh. I'll put the cutting mat. I'll put the ironing mat underneath it this time. That's up to you, Trey. <laughs> You're not at home now, you know. I oh, know. I have to stick to the rules when I come here. The beauty of this is I get to redeem myself this time. Do you? Yeah. By not gluing the iron. Yeah. But at least I haven't glued the iron, and I usually burn <gasps> the iron. Or who was it? Who was it? it, was it uh, somebody was in yesterday and they went, I saw the irons out there and they came and went, oh, we can't use that iron. I think Delphine's been in. <laughs> Who's that? How rude. We can recap the bundles while you're unpicking those. I'm not, not the unpicking, only one. Un unsealing those. Uh, the one that's on the wall is this one here. So you get three metres of fabric and your instructions for 29.99. Your instructions will not be photocopied. There will be the lovely shiny paper. Hopefully they'll be here soon. 29.99 three meters of your fabric plus your instructions that's enough to do the front but not the binding fewer than 20 of those once everyone's checked out now you can do a scrappy binding if you want to you do a scrappy binding beautiful then we've got the blue and white one again three meters of fabric plus your instructions you will get the proper instructions 29.99 Yeah, yeah, I know what you're doing. There's loads of people put the blue and white one in their basket, but you're waiting to see what it looks like, aren't you? I know, I know. I'd be the same. I'd be the same, but I will, I'll, when, when you start checking out, I'll keep you updated on mobile. Um, Fuse mat bundle. Five pounds off you by this. That's the fuse mat that you're about to see Delphine using and your bond web, your five meter bond web, saving five pounds. Instructions on their own. Again, they went for these photocopies. You'll get a nice shiny version. 
There's a picture that was computer generated, not a photo of the actual one. If Hannah's mum's watching, I know what you feel, how you feel. 9.99. Just confused. How many irons has Delphine gone through so far? Not says none. Sue. <laughs> Uh, Lorraine says, I've got that mat. It's fantastic. Delphine, I love your project. <laughs> oh, Pamela says, hello, Delphine. Are your previous kits available to buy? Yeah, on the website. We've got some of them on the website. Not all of them. Not all of them. Donna says, good morning, John and Delphine. Princess says, hello, Delphine. Oh, Leslie hello. says, hello, Delphine. Hello, everybody. Right. So. Oh, now you've done that one differently. Yeah, I'm mixing it up. Yeah. So can you do that then? Stop yeah. looking up there. Who are you looking at? I don't know. If I'm just, it's just I, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody going into the, the sacking office. Oh, is that the sacking office, that's is the, it? That's where you get sacked. Oh, OK. It? Not the glass one anymore. It's that one now. Oh, so there oh, we go. Oh, oh, oh. So it's all stuck down. And then that way, you can lift it all up. And there's your piece there's already. Your and then... You get your. I'll I'll promise to be good. I'll use this one. That's fine. It's just we have to use these tables in there. We're not getting new tables anymore. There we go. <laughs> It'll be fine. It won't burn it. It won't burn it. Oh dear. So for the corners, you want to make sure that you put it on the square and not a diagonal. So you just centre it up. Okay. Sorry, I'm fiddling. I'm just rather than just committing to it. So make sure it's centre. So you want to make sure it's the same. Distance, equidistant. Yeah. So what the, the difference that Delphine's done there is, you can see the stalk or the leaves on the one at the top. She's used. Uh, the magenta for the middle, the cream for the petals, and then a darker green for the stalk. But on this one, you've done a cream stalk on this yeah. one. Yeah. So I'm mixing. So is there enough fabric to mix and match like that? Yeah, you can mix and match because I'm. I think the centre for will be nice done in the slate background. Okay. So I'm just sort of mix and match. Mix and matching. So that's. Oh wow! Look. So that's your first one. So. Do your blocks, so you can applique as you go. So you can do all your applique um, sewing. So that's that one. Can you see, am I in the way? That's gonna look so pretty. Beautiful, so you put like four of those in the four corners. Yeah. So now we're gonna come to the next sections. So what I want to point out with these ones is, this is the exact same one this block, which block can you see here? It's ex the exact same block, just reversed. So all you have to do is when you trace it out, draw, the, draw say, one on the non-glue side yeah. and then one on the other glue side. Right. That's all you've got to and do. And you do that four times? Yes. Yeah. So you need four of each one. So Lovely. let's build that one up now. So in a, And again, you can build it up exactly the same as you did before but you could put the, the templates underneath yeah and so for this one I've we're not saying that the fuse mat is that you have to have it just helps doesn't no it, it just yeah. helps it's one of those that if you do do a lot of applique projects why wouldn't you have yeah, it exactly. you know i didn't but have you can use one. for other things other crafts as well mm. it's not just for applique it says on here you can use it for uh uh no 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 it says here hang on Heavy duty, see-through, non-slip, non-stick, silicon confusing mat for sewing, quilting, and ironing. They also say that if you use a glue gun a lot, put that down, you can, and then you can just peel the glue, mm. any glue that goes on the mat, just peels off it. So, and again, I've sort of done my own thing, you know, like mixed up the colours on this one as well. So, let's put that white. So, I'll show you that it could even be used, this applique mat, even using thinner pieces of applique. Yeah. So, if I'll show you what I mean. So, sorry, I'm having, I've got layers of all sorts here. That's right. There we go. So, does the, t I can't remember how I did this template. I'll say me. Ah. 
again. I know it's not all there. But. So again, okay. you can put them through. Is this the reversed one there? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> so you don't want that one? No, because right, I've got two. Oh. So first of all, lay your stalk down, because then it get, gives you the right shape. Okay. Like that. So I've laid that down first. Is that all the bundle web off it? Yeah. Sorry, your pieces will be nice and flat. These have travelled. They've yes. been in my bag overnight. So, and then I've used the slate where the what colour would you say the purple bit is? Well, I don't know. It's a kind of dark. We had this, didn't we? Have that one yesterday? Is it called raspberry? No. And then you just the pink in the green one. And you just tuck your. So these would be the purple leaves. Yeah. Rose, it's called. It's very dark rose, though, isn't it? So you put those underneath there. Different variety. And then that leaf. Hold on. You all right? Yeah, I'm just looking at what I did. Yeah. So that would be about there. So basically what's going to hold all of this down is this stalk piece. Yeah. Oh, so all of them go underneath the stalk? All go underneath the stalk, yeah. Yeah. Delphine Brooks, you've done it again. Oh. The blue is stunning. I've just bought the applique mat. Never used it yet, but hoping it's good for t-shirt transfers. Oh. Would this be good for a quilt as you go, says Carol? Yes, it could. Cause you could do all your blocks first and quilt yeah. as you go, definitely. There you go. Yeah. So Carol, yes, you can. Uh, Susan says that uh, the fusible mat is a game changer for applique. Uh, Donna says, loving the show. Thank you, Delphine Brooks, for the needle felt workshop at the NEC. We had oh. a lovely time. Oh, there were such a lovely bunch of ladies that came to see me. That was oh. really sweet. There we go. And half the stock of the blue one's gone. Oh, look, it's going to look incredible, the blue one. The blue's going to look yeah. so good. So then you put that over the top. I've done this a million times, but when you do it on, on telly, it's quite nerve wracking. Is it? Still? Yeah. yeah. And yet you give that devil care, may care attitude. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like you. I don't know about you, John, but when you're in here, when you're just looking at a camera, it doesn't feel like anyone's watching. But then, no. but then when you actually go to events and people, you are actually watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was. It's really weird because it's when like a, an old school friend or something that suddenly messages going, I'm watching. I go all nervous. Yeah. And you think I do it every day. I shouldn't get nervous. Well, we're not in different boxes. Hello, John, Delphine, and all just several did both. Lovely show today. John, you never fail to make me smile. Oh, Valerie, thank you. And there you go. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. You could get both. Or mm. buy two of one and make it a bigger version. It'd be really nice if you made, uh, like, it would be huge. Four of them. Four of yeah. them. Can you, oh, can you just, hang on, let her play, lay this down first. Lay that down first. Go, 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 go. Um, if it's, yeah, so if you did four, it would be the same size as the William Morris quilt that we had up earlier. Yeah. Because that was 200 by two, uh, 215 by two. Oh, no, that was centimetres. Hang on. So, it's, yeah, so if you bought four, did it four times. Yeah. So what, what's four of that? So what's that, 100 and something? 40, did you say it was 42 inches? 44. 44, so it's 88 inches across. Oh, yeah, two metres. So it will be the size of the, the, the big quilt that we had hanging there earlier. Yeah. Right, once you've got that lying down, Hannah wants you to move to one side again. Okay. I'm going to do it like that. Okay. Oh, this is going to look so nice. Gorgeous, isn't it? So that's the next one. You don't need these. Where do you, do you want this one then? No, uh, she wants you to stand to one side so we can just show the green and purple, the green and rose quilt again. Okay. 
somebody wants to see the middle, how the middle works, that's all. Oh, I can show the middle section. Right, and then... Which, which side do you want me to move? You can move over here to me. Right, OK. There we go. There's the middle. Oh, so if you're going to make it bigger... No, I just do four of those. I think mm. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't try and change the design. I just do four of those together rather than put a great big one in the middle. Mm. Now what we're going to do is you hold that one. Mm. I'll hold this one. I'm going here, and you go there. What can you reach? I'm, I'm on my tiptoes. Oh look how gorgeous the blue one's going to look. Your hands are cold. It's because I'm freezing. Oh. <laughs> There Message on my bottom. Morning, guys. I'm thinking those on a runner bit at the bottom of a lovely... Oh, yes, those as a runner bit at the bottom of a lovely duvet cover. Mm. Always enjoy watching you two together. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Now, is that Jamie boy or Jamie girl? So, to make it... So, even though you've got the templates, even if you moved something ever so slightly, uh, it could make it a bit out of whack, if you know what I mean. Out of whack? Out of whack. Is that a technical term? No. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've put that down the, the other side. Yeah. And then you can... Use that as a template to make the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want it to be out of whack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's quickly put together this one as well. This will take me seconds. Yeah, that's fine. You've got 20 minutes. I know. It, it, I know I haven't done any sewing, but I, I, I think... I, it takes about it took me a day to actually do the applique do the applique and then another day to sew it down mm -hmm. and then in the instructions you'll be able to see there's different ways of how you can finish it you can piece it all together uh like you've but, done or well piece it all together just as is with the 12 squares yeah or you can do some 16 squares 16 squares <laughs> <laughs> or you can do some sashing and cornerstones yeah 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 because yeah. there's enough fabric to oh do that. so you're saying you don't need to do it like you've done it just sew the squares together and don't put the sashing in between yeah so if you're not a fan oh. of it, it still looks really nice it's um, I mean, you can't tell in there but i have actually left it open like all laid out in the instructions towards the back you'll see what i mean well, we need roy to hurry up with those colored instructions don't we And yeah. on the, mm, is there another picture? No, it should mm. be. It is in there. Because that still looks like the sashing in that one, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just trying to imagine. You see, I love it with the sashing in, but now I'm trying to think of it. What It will look more like a Hawaiian applique. It will, yeah. Especially that centre bit, because all yeah. four of your stalks are going to join together in the middle of your quilt, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, oh, I've, oh, oh yeah, I was, I'm right. I'm just doubting my own design there. So <laughs> by doing it like that, I'm going to make sure now that I've got the exact same. So that's another block done. There we go. So that's another one. They're loath leather. Both quilt kits are level pegging now. We, do, we have got more of the blue, but at the moment you take, you've bought exactly the same amount of the, the either colour. Oh, one for I myself. put that. I thought I put that underneath. Anyway, that's the other one. Oh no! <laughs> you, you stuck it on. So that's a double-sided one, that so one. So it's then. a double-sided one. So yeah, you get the gist. Yes. Yeah. I thought I'd put that underneath. Let's oh. get the heating on for Delphine's next hour. Yeah. I think we've frozen her brain. <laughs> I know, I'm shaking it. Sort of, uh, right, yeah. So that's that one. Right. So I thought it would be quite nice to do these ones in slate. OK, then. So is it right if I quickly draw those Yeah, out? you've got plenty of time. You've got plenty of time. I'm thinking a slate background on there yeah with some of the blue okay the make that one and then we can put this one and this one next to it then can't yeah. we yeah yeah because i just think it will look really nice and it will just be make it really really you see i can't decide which one i like best because i love the blue and white one but then i also love that mix of colors that you've done on that one over there yeah it's um yeah 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 what nothing i'm waiting for you to finish um 
Right, what am I doing? I'm Thanks. making a mess, that's what you're doing. I know, but well, usually when you're at home, you've got more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> more space, I'll move more. out, shall I? Well, I've already made, where's that? I've already made one of them, so I, I, don't, I don't need to do much for that one. So let's make a, I'm thinking. So for background slate, will you still do cream, uh, white um, petals? No, I'm going to go with the mottled and, oh. use, and use the centre of the white. Yeah. It, it's got to trust me. It will. Yeah, no, no, I do. Yeah. Oh, Karen's good. Karen's good question. Could you tell me, Delphine, mm -hmm. what you are using to iron the top on the top of the applique? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the pressing mat. So when you buy this, I can tell you that when you buy this, the Millwood um, fusing mat. And they're not labelled separately, I've only got them in the bundle at the moment. But this is the fusing mat that you put down first, which is the thing that you can iron onto. And then this here is an applique mat, what you call an applique mat. And you put that over the top, so if any glue escapes, then you, it goes onto here, not onto your iron. We do sell <coughs> an applique mat. If you don't want to buy the whole thing, the fusible mat, we do sell on our website just this. It's a bit small, it's called applique mat. It's like a silicon mat, that's what you use to press on, onto it. If you don't want to buy the whole thing. What is she up to? The thing that I was... Charlie said that, not me. Oh. Charlie said, what's she up to now? I am... Um, I've just made oh. the bottom stalk. Now, one thing I do need to point out for the centre ones... Yeah. The, the stalk is slightly different, so make sure... You've got this extra section here. What you can do is draw it as it all in one, but um, this is one I made earlier, so I literally just... Blue's gone into the lead. I think, I think so many people are waiting to see. The green and, and pink one flew out when we started the hour, but then what happened was the blue one, lots of people put it in their baskets, but didn't check out. Now, they're all checking out now they've seen it. Let's use... <laughs> yeah, everything's getting stuck to my fusible mat. I oh, know, there's so many bits and pieces everywhere today. I oh, know, bits and bobs. I don't get much sewing done now. I will be doing lots of sewing in my next hour. So. Good. <laughs> That's the trouble when I, uh, uh, because the majority of my projects are applique, you spend more time drawing and cutting out than you do actually sewing it yeah. down. Well, you, in reality, you don't. It's only in, the, in here, because in the, the reality, you stuck it, then you've got to stitch it all. Yeah, you? yeah, and, and it'll take a whole day to stitch it down. But. There we go. Oh, my tummy's rumbling now. You're hungry and cold. I'm hungry and cold, yeah. Have you brought any food with you? No. Oh, no. no. There's a machine, you have a flapjack at the machine. No. no. I'm trying to be good. I'm like you, I've, I'm back in the gym now. Are you? Yeah. I haven't seen any pictures on your Facebook page. Oh, I don't show pictures of me. In the, who wants to see me in the gym? <laughs> you only have to take your head and shoulders as long as you get the machinery in as well. And oh. before you take it before you start sweating. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's not a pretty sight. So are you teaching or just going no, as I, a... No, I don't teach anymore. And which one do you go to? Wait, oh, hang on, no. The one you're stalking at. The, the one in the village. You know the one in my village? The one in your village? It's really good. It's really, really where well is equipped. It? Is it near the airfield? Not far off. So you know where the co-op is? Do we? Is that near where we go for our lunch? Yeah, we walk past it. Okay. Oh, yes, I know. Where the near the dress shop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's just down near there. Near the medical centre? It's a bit further up. Oh, yeah, okay. Wellsbourne Sports. Yes, the oh, centre. now you've told everyone oh, where yes, you're going. Sorry, <laughs> you'll have people watching you on your machines now. Oh, so now I've been back into the gym and I'm really enjoying it. Just I thought you went to one near Vix's. Nuffield. Yeah. That's where I used to work. Oh, I see. But I, I don't, don't do that. Then. No, it was too far. So, for the centre ones, you want to find if you cut your fabric square, <laughs> you fold it in half. And then you've got your, your centre line. Yeah. So make sure you do that because at least when you come to put it all together. You need more little bits on this one, aren't there? Yeah, so we'll just so it finds your centre line. So just in fact I'm not gonna peel that off yet because I know that I'll lose it. Because I would because it's telly. 
Okay, just so you didn't know, 120 of the blue and what's it ones have gone already and there's more in baskets. Just so you know. So I'm going to do the quickest tracing ever now. You've got 15, oh, 12 minutes you've got, you've got 12 minutes. Yeah. Not that I'm timing you or anything. It has gone very cold in here. Charlie, <laughs> I know you can't really leave your desk. Oh, it's Michael in there with you. Okay, when he comes back, can you get him to put the air con in, in that studio there on a warm so it just wafts over this way a little bit? Yeah, uh, but we've only just got ours to work properly on cold. So I don't, don't want to touch the de details on ours. But also, if you put them on in here, it gets too hot. Whereas if you heat that studio, it just wafts over a little bit, you know what I mean? Oh, no, it's my own fault, fault for wearing a thin shirt. Well, you wear those thin shirts all the time, but even I'm finding it cold now. Yeah. Well. So, since you've walked in, what does that say? That's not nice. <laughs> it's a good job I love you, John Scott, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get complaints. Oh, no. We always have fun, don't we? Yeah. I don't mind you picking on me. <laughs> mind you, you don't pick on me. I don't have, pick on. You don't. Have a laugh. We have a good laugh. So, uh, where are we we're going to go somewhere different for our sausage sandwich this time? Oh, yeah, we? we're going to go to that farm place I told oh, you yeah, about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Last time we went, our normal place was full. We couldn't get in. In fact, didn't you go the day after or a couple of days later with Vix and. and um, um, the, it was full then as well. Cat, yeah, cat, and they couldn't, they couldn't get in there either. But you got a takeaway, didn't you? They got a takeaway, and then they just came to my house. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to the farm next time. Yeah, you'll like it there, John. I will. I've heard it's fabulous. But we'll probably do a bit of shopping there as well, I reckon. Oh, will we? Yeah. What kind of thing will we buy? Well, there's a really nice farm shop, and I do. Oh, love, darling. I, Is it like Dalesford? Yeah. <gasps> the first time I went to Dalesford, it's gorgeous, Dalesford. It's like this kind of. But I bought my normal shop of vegetables for the week and it came to £95. And I was at the table like, how much? <laughs> they have what a cheese you? room. You go into a glass, you know, like our glass office that you go past there. They've got one of those full of glass shelves with all different cheeses on it. Oh, it's amazing. Right, the green and pink quilt is very William Morris colour palette, says Julie Vaughan. Thank you, Delphine. My dad used to say out of whack and the memory has just made me smile as I haven't heard it in such a long time. Oh. Aww. Oh, bless her. That's nice. So what have you got coming up then, John? What's your plan? Hang on, I'm going to read this first. Oh, Delphine oh. stuff is so easily achievable. Always shied away from applique. But a few kits in and I'm hooked, says Jamie. Well, oh, yeah, exactly. Good. Exactly. That's it. I think a lot of people are a bit put off by people because they're like, oh, I've never done it before. But once they've done it, yeah, they oh, realise yes, how exactly. easy it is. Exactly. And also, with the invention of things like Bondaweb, like when I first started, we didn't always have Bondaweb, so you had to do a plique without sticking it down. And that oh. was complicated because it would move and you'd get little folds in your fabric. Whereas now, with Bondaweb or, or any of the heat fusible things, it, it, it gives you that extra safety, doesn't it? Yeah, because I, before I come across Bondaweb, I used to use, you know, that, that wonder web that you used, you used to hem your trousers? Oh, yes. I used to use that, and oh, it used to take me forever. Yeah. And then I, Bondweb came into my life and I've never looked back. No. This is going to look so pretty. What you want to do is try and have a good balance of colour. So, obviously we've got a lot more blue in this one. Oh, hang up. <laughs> so I quite like the different shades. Bodgets and what's it's just come in. <laughs> what's no. that name? What are they called when, you, when two people come in? No, one of them's really good and one, right. you know, the assistant. She's the assistant, obviously. You can do the wallpaper in there. They're going to do wallpaper while you can do it while we're here. Oh, that'll be fun. Go on, do it. <laughs> yes. So I was cutting these off really, really quickly. That said, at home, take your time though. Yeah, so you yeah, get them. Because yeah, yeah. what you do, because you've got so many pieces, the exact same. You want to be... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got it the wrong oh. way round, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's the decorators in for our new studios, that's all. So it's all very exciting. Yes, yeah, so you want to make sure that you're really accurate. With every single piece. Yeah. There we go. Sorry, I just decided to do this colour no, 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 at the last good. minute, but it's, it, I just really want to... Morning, John, our bottom. Morning, John Delphine. Great demo. Love the quilt. 
Sorry, just been distracted as my scrap bag arrived to say I am over the moon. They're brilliant, aren't they, those scrap bags? Um, was it Margaret yesterday messaged in and said she got, uh, she had William Morris in hers? I know. I know. They're brilliant, the scrap bags. Yeah. Right, remember this, uh, well, sorry Duffin, I'm just gonna interrupt. I had this yeah. quilt earlier, right? It's beautiful, reach for the stars. No, be a star, be a star. It should be 249 pounds. William Morris's birthday day, that's why I've got my William Morris shirt on, 179.99. Gorgeous, look, 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 be a star. Be a star, be a star. Oh, that's a clown. Be a clown, isn't it? Not be a star. Anyway, 170. How am I doing stockwise? Yep. Yep. Oh. That means I've got 12 left, is it? Yeah, once everyone's checked out, I've got 12 left. And we had hundreds. We had loads of these. Once you've all checked out, I've got 12 of those left. It's huge. I'll put, I'll hang, when Delphine's gone, I'll hang it back up again in the, well, Michael will hang it back up again in the next break. And um, just show you how big it is, it's beautiful. Anyway, shut up, John, we're in the Delphine hour. How you doing? Good, I'm Good. just about to put it all together. I've ever made ever such a mess. Yeah, well, it's all right, Rebecca Reed's on next, so it'll be even an even more mess by the time she comes on. Oh, that's all right then. And right. they put the heating on now, so you should get a bit warmer. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit warmer now. I love this mottle. Oh, look at the petals in the blue mottle. It's called Mixer, isn't it, this one, the blue Mixer? So you only have to overlap it by oh, less than an eight, uh, one eighth of an inch. Yeah. Just so it's sort of kissing that raw edge, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 10 to 10 in the morning. Doesn't feel like that. Wasn't it lovely driving in this morning? All and sunny, it was light. light. Yeah, but you know, because you're going to put your clocks forward on Saturday night. It's yeah, going to be dark, sort of dark again dark when we drive again. in next time. <gasps> look, 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 look. Looks like Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I was wondering what you were going to say. Now she's been going to it's Slimming World, not waiting what she's been going to. She's got a lovely shape to her face again now. Right. Yeah, that doesn't look like Hannah anymore. <laughs> I've just had a naughty thought. Sorry. You've got to share that with me when I'll the camera the break, goes on. I'll get fired if I say it on there. But imagine Hannah wearing a tutu. Michael's just sussed it. I've got the giggles, these two now. No, we haven't. We're fine. Going on the slate, the nicely, oh there you go, yeah, because you've got to have your diagonal line, haven't you, on that one? Yeah. Oh, I love this one. This is gorgeous, isn't it? I wish I had the time to make the whole thing. Cause you can make it when you go home this afternoon, you've got nothing else on, have you? Oh, I've got a lot, I'm very busy. <laughs> Very busy. Very busy. Oh, your children are old enough to start making things now. You get them to, this Lu is your homework. Louis's quite good yeah. at stuff, but Charlie's just not bothered. No. All he cares about is karting and football. Karting? He starts, he starts racing tomorrow. Like go-karting? He's actually starting tomorrow. He's got... Oh, oh, oh. what, like go, going around to track in the fast little go-kart? Yeah. Oh, he'd be brilliant. Petrol one, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so he's got everything from the suit, the boot, gloves, rib protector, helmet. Oh my goodness. So he's got that tomorrow for all day. Luckily, I'm not there for the first run because I, I. All day? All day. Oh, he'll love it. Yeah, so he's been really into F1 and karting for years. Yeah. But uh, this cart's landed in his lap. 
really. Is amazing. it his own cart? Have you bought him it's the his cart? His own cart. It's your old fault then. Well, we didn't buy it. He was given it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Just press that bit down there. Oh, yeah. Right. So now, hang on. Let's put this up here. So mine would go. I don't know if I were going to do this one. That one would go there. There. That one would go, go. And then that one would go there. And then that one would go up. Yeah. There. I don't know if we're showing a very good picture of it, but just Should so we, you see. I can lay it on the. Let's do it flat. Let's do it flat. Let's do it flat. Do you want it, it on your bit? Yeah. So you can do it like that. It's actually upside down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it, fun. Michael? It's upside down. <laughs> so how I, do you know? How do you know it's upside down? That bit. Is that? It doesn't matter. Just saying. But yeah. Do you mean sideways? Yes. So, sideways upside down so oh yes yeah, so the leaves should go across like yeah so if i do it like it, it's only new it doesn't matter <laughs> like, oh that's gonna look so pretty look out look 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 so that would be without the sashing as well yeah so i'm thinking i would make it in the blue and the white without the sashing mm. colonel mustard in the library with the and if you it? wanted to, when you come to quilt it, you could even add extra details into the leaves. Yeah. And, oh, it, it, yeah. Gorgeous. Right, let Gorgeous me recap, lovely. recap, 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 recap. Which one have we got in first? Blue one. Right, oh. so in this one, Roy never arrived with the instructions today. Roy, Roy, Roy. So you get three metres of fabric, the white, the mottled blue, the co <laughs> uh, uh, copen and the slate. Plus all of that. Hi, please, can you tell me the names of both? Oh, yeah, the blue fabric, so I can buy more for the binding. Right, so this one is slate. This one is copen. Uh, it is grey, that's why. Oh, it looks very grey on the website. It is a grey, though, yeah, slate. And then this one here is called Royal Mixer. And that's called white. You won't want the white one. I think I'd bind it in slate. You'd bind it in slate? Or copen. Oh. <laughs> One of the blues. One of the, yeah. One, one, of, the, one of those two. One of those do, yeah, two, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So that's the blue one. Then this is the one that's on the wall. Sorry, sideways on the wall. There it is, the right way up. It was in a rush. It was a big rush. So in this one, you get lemon splodge mixer. Oh, now is that a mixer? Yeah. Because it's very subtle, that, very isn't it? Subtle, then you've yeah. got... Oh, cool. This one's called cream, not lemon. That definitely looks lemon to me, doesn't it? Cream. Yeah, if you're looking for on the website, that's called Cream Cotton Mixer. This one here is called Chartreuse Cotton Mixer. This one is called Moss. And this one is called Rose. And you get all of that, three metres, plus your instructions. Yours won't be photocopies like this. They'll be the proper thing. OK, there's now... More people got this one in baskets than we've got stock of. So that one's going to sell out. We had more of the blue ones to start with, but please, if you've got the blue one in your basket, please take care, because now's the time people are going to all start checking out on that. Instructions on their own. Yours won't be photocopies. That'll be the lovely glossy one. I'm going to show you them. When Ray gets here, Roy gets here, I'm going to make him come out with them and apologise to all of you personally. It's his fault he didn't drive the van quick enough. Oh, is it raining outside? Oh, he, won't go out, he won't go out in the rain because it, it, he went on to Turkey on his holidays and it rained all the time apart oh, from two days. Him. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, bless him. Poor old Roy. Anyway, 9 99 There's the computer thingy. So now you're back in an hour. Yeah. Oh, you're doing this in an hour? Yeah. So we have got the little girl on the swing. We have got the uh, seaside one. Yeah. Where are those cushions? <laughs> <laughs> we had Michael searching for them this morning and then Delphi went oh, oh I think they're at home yeah. I know anyway we're going to be doing this one this is my favourite of all of them I love 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 this one Charlie says he's even brought in a beach hut backing for the rest for the spot on the set I don't know where it's gone Charlie anyway but next 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 we've got Rebecca Reed. she's doing a brand new bag now when she gets here start messaging in going where did you take those photos got a funny there you go right right so she and amy you know a business partner they went to a local supermarket they were there for over an hour <laughs> filling these bags with goodies off the shelves taking the pictures and the video then put everything on the shelf and walked out Hilarious. we're not saying the name of the supermarket anyway we'll see you in an hour go and warm up 
We'll see you in four minutes with Rebecca Reed with her superb market. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! My name's Helen Rhiannon and I am a, a bridal wear fashion designer based down in Swansea in South Wales and I also teach people how to sew, which I have done for the last uh, 15 plus years. And what first got me into sewing um, was in school, I think I learned to sew in primary school by hand and then in secondary school I had a really fantastic textiles teacher who was very old school, Mrs Shepherd, and uh, she taught me everything I knew and taught me really, really well. And it's something I've carried through with everything I've ever done going through to university and then when I set up my own business and um, I'm teaching people as well. So those kind of old school traditional methods. Um, so yes, it was all down to her really sparking that little bit of uh, imagination and creativity, which was lovely. So the sewing tip that I would recommend is something that I, I just rave about all of the time, which is notches. Um, notches are used on all patterns, whether it's a bag to a soft toy or dressmaking, but notches are there for a reason. They're on your pattern to help you match everything together. So your pattern is like a big jigsaw. So notches are key to being able to put that back together the right way. And always use the tip of your scissors so just a little snip of 0.5 mils and those notches will help you put your whole uh, project together much, much, much easier than if you ignored them. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Rebecca Reed's here, and I'm glad you've done an homage to William Morris on William yeah, Morris I have, Day. Yeah, yeah. Because normally you don't dress up for the days. <laughs> I have dressed up. No, you look lovely, <laughs> but it's not very William Morris. <laughs> I forgot. I oh, haven't got, speak, well, I I haven't got any I know, I William Morris clothes, though, have you? Do what? I haven't got any William. Oh, oh yes, so okay. <laughs> Fine. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Fine. Fine. I, I think, listen, come here. I didn't give you a hug this morning when you no, arrived. No, you didn't. You didn't. Oh, oh got you him. just lost my glasses. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. You glasses match your shirt and everything. Yeah, I know. It was planned. <laughs> just not I don't own William episode. Morris clothes. Well, I, I I wouldn't normally have them, but I just suddenly remembered, oh, I've got that one. But it's a bit snug. Is it? So I'm having to spend the whole five hours, like, breathing in. Muscles from the gym. Cake. Muscles from the gym. The core muscles I from the gym. I saw you in the gym. The gym, mister. Not personally, on no. Instagram. It was just about, and then, and then I felt awful because it wasn't very busy. And then this other man came in. I thought, oh, he's fatter than me. That's all right then. And we were on the running machine. Well, I was walking. Anyway, he obviously pressed the wrong button and it was like a comedy show. Went, zoof, like did he fall off? off? Yeah. And then I turned and was going to say, are you all right? And he did that. I meant to do yeah, that. Yeah, it's fine. I meant to do fine, that. Fine, yeah. fine. And it was obviously such a shock because it was like, whoosh, like that. And he went off oh, the end I of it. Oh, I would have wet myself. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, I do apologise, yeah. ginger man. Right. Now, now in on the menu this is called mm. superb market bag yeah not super b market no and not super b hyphen market no. which is what they've called it upstairs well i tried it in various formats yeah. i did it. it's two words hyphen and one word look better as one word yes exactly I thought well you forgot to sell them upstairs i thought it was boring to call it supermarket bag right so which one do you want to look at first do you want to put any graphics in yet or anything we want to show you the bags first of all have you got a have you got a, a favorite no. No, it's like children, you can't have a favourite, can you? Well, not that you tell them, you just tell me all of them. Um, well, maybe <laughs> the grocery one, because that's the kind of the... Grocery? No. That's this one here? No, that's fruit and veg. Grocery one? Yep. I think that is my favourite, actually. Look, right, so it's a big shopper. On that side, you've got... Well, no, it's different on both sides. Mm -hmm. That's your sort of baking ingredients. That's your baking ingredients. And, and then on this side here... It's, your, it's called, it's like a larder, isn't it? Larder, yeah. Now, I think that that jug should have been blue and white stripes because that's what my mum and my, <laughs> mum and my nan <laughs> had those in their thing. Now, wait till you see the handles, right? So you can have a handle like this with all the tins on it. That's if you want to carry it like a little shopper. But if you want to put it over your shoulder, harder. And then it's even got a little bit of elastic here and a button. So when you've got your shopping in there, you can put that round. Or whilst you've got it stored, you can put the elastic round it to keep it all neat and tidy. Because otherwise, they, when you're in the boot, what? they fall over and everything yeah. falls out. So that's why I put the elastic that went over the top as well. Fine. Here you go. Vegetables. Fruit and veg. Vegetables. This is the green grocers. Green grocers. Yeah, I get all those. Yeah. Oh, I don't have too many chilli peppers, though. And then on the other side, you've got your fruit. We love that. So what's the idea behind well, these Well, the bags, idea though? is that when you, when you go to the supermarket and you've got all your bags in your car, yeah. they're like this, aren't they? You know, because I've got two of them here. They're like big bags, yeah. all in your car, all in your boot. They're in the way. and They're, they're two of the brands. The third brand's in my car. Yeah, they're just too big. So the idea behind this is that I wanted a bag that was the same size as those. I didn't want a small bag yeah. because I've got lots of well, them. What's no point? So I've, all, I've measured. I bought all the ones here and then I went to France in October. Oh, yes. And I bought lots of them there because right. they're quite cool in France, aren't they? Oh, are they? So I could see the right size. And then I took all the elements I liked from all of them. Mm -hmm. So sometimes... Copied, you mean? Copied. Well, yeah. things like most bags just have a handle, don't yeah. they? Which is fine. But when you're carrying two or three of them, you could do with a shoulder strap. Yeah. So this lovely one... Yeah. ...has got... The longer strap on. Is that one from France? Yeah, that's from m and Oh, yeah, you can't show that side. Yeah. 
but that's got so I quite liked that. No, nice because even my posh waitros don't have straps on like that. Because sometimes you need that so you can yeah. choose whether you which you do. Oh, brilliant. But also I want them to be able to roll up but not in a complicated way yeah because you can't be bothered with that either and it's easy to roll up so then i can just chuck them in the boot or in i can just carry them yeah here you go look at this this is the bread pastry one and also you can put different things in them you could you want well then when you go shopping you see you can put the groceries in one the fruit and veg in another and all the sort of, you know oh, and you said that wouldn't work for me because i'd have to have two of those <laughs> One of those, and I don't ever buy But cakes. No, but that is like the squishy stuff. So that's yeah. your eggs, things that were going to get squashed. Oh, I'd hate to be behind you in a queue in t Tesco. <laughs> it could be like, oh, that one goes in this bag. Oh, no, no, it goes in this bag. Oh, I do when I go at the checkout. I do. No, when I buy them, I just shove it all in the same bag. Do you not right? have a and bag And then when you get like, home, you do leisurely unpack. Well, the stuff that will squash, like packets of crisps and bread and eggs, you don't want them in with the tins, do you? Because they get squashed. No, I just put... Anyway, it shows how it rolls up. Oh, so it's quite easy. I mean, you can do it very nicely, but um, all you have to do is you fold the straps over on top, vaguely like that, fold the edges over, vaguely like that. You can be nice and neat, and then you just roll it up, and then you take the elastic loop that's on there, and you wrap it around the button, and then that's it. Brilliant. And then what happens is you've got them lined up in the bottom of your... Uh, yeah. of your uh, boot of your car, or the back of your car. Or you don't use them for the supermarket. You just use them for... A other stuff lunch lunch <laughs> beach beach oh no you can use it beach and but you see they are just to show you because i did measure all they, not are, not not they are the same size <laughs> as because i measured all the supermarket bags you yeah. see and they are the same size lovely right so we put some graphics in them now now <laughs> <laughs> got a video here to show you before the graphics come in now she's in a supermarket <laughs> right not buying anything <laughs> just look at the people behind don't you've got release forms for the people behind oh, oh yeah definitely uh, <laughs> where's <laughs> amy she's filming it i filmed her but that doesn't seem to have made the cut oh. now she hasn't ended up in it and i said well she, amy says well you need to walk out with the bag i went yeah but we can't go shoplifting then yes we? you will do right so <laughs> i've got these individually or in a bundle which would you like to do first Oh, okay, they're flying out already. They're flying out already. So in this, you get three, the, the panel, you don't need anything else, just the panel and the instructions for 45 pounds. There's the way moved. I will show you one of the panels. I'll open out so you can see what you get on the, the they're panel. They're quite big. They're huge. They're absolutely enormous, right? So this is your fruit and veg one. So there's the front of your bag. There's the back of your bag, or the other way around if you want to. There's your facing, there's your bag straps. You've got other fruit and veg that you can cut out and applique if you want to. You've got a bag saying who it belongs to. You've got an onion and you've got a pepper and a kiwi. Morning, John. Love, 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 Amber makes. Couldn't decide on which shopper bags had to get all the bundle. <laughs> Always lovely designs Aww. from Christine. Ah. So that's, that, this is the bundle of all three. So you get the fruit and veg, you get the groceries, and you get the pastries and you get the instructions for 45 pounds so how much are you saving just a so special price just a so special price. we'll um, get to work it out in a minute so it's for well actually it works out at 15 pounds each that yeah way. yeah it does yeah 49 that yeah. can't be right yeah it works out for right okay hang on hang on 9.99 normally in normally, a set of instructions yeah. panel that big that's at 19.99 if a day. If, yeah. So you're getting a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant purchase there. 45 pounds for all three panels. You don't need lining because it's French themed. Isn't all it? French themed. You can some... line it if you want to, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But all three plus your instructions, 45 pounds. You need a bit of elastic and a button. Oh, we've got some elastic. We haven't got, got any elastic. buttons, but I've got elastic coming up. Well, uh, except I noticed on one of these, you've used a hair toggle. Well, I didn't actually. That's I bought a load of elastic for making masks in lockdown. I bought five oh, meters yeah. of it, so I had some left over. See, that's all you need: a bit of elastic and a button. So how much would it be? Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine ninety-six is how much that all should be. Well, I've, I've got space. Over half the stock of the bundle of the three have gone. So you get your groceries, your fruit and veg, and your cakes. And pastries brilliant and you, 45 pounds and the instructions obviously 
And now, is there anything on the back of here? No. Oh, what, what's that there then? Oh, that's just the code. Yes. Is there a tutorial? Yes. So on the front, there's um, a little symbol that says, because I filmed a video tutorial fully from oh, beginning yes. to end Hang of on, how I'll to do it. Look. And there is a QR code. I mean, it doesn't, you can, because anyone can view the, it sits on the Amber Makes website. Oh, so it's nothing, you even have to buy the pattern to see it. No, but you won't be able to make it without, no, it no, shows no, 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 you no. how to make yeah. it, but I don't give measurements or anything. No, of course but not, no. I've done a full video tutorial from the beginning to the end, and it's on the Amber Makes website under the blog section. Yeah, but yeah, that yeah. just takes you straight there. Oh, okay, brilliant. If you brilliant. wanted to. 45 so you can, pounds, um, all three panels. I mean, they're easy, but I, yeah. we are doing tutorials now because some people prefer just to watch. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. So you should, not so you should, it's a, it, but it's free. It's another, you, you're doing that for free. Yeah, and that just sits on the website. So it, I think it goes And you do it for everything you're making now? From now on, oh, yeah. Oh, my word. I know. For, oh, I must tell you, you know the plant you bought me for my birthday? Yes, how is it? It's like this now. Is it? And it's the most, I don't know what part, kind of plant it is. I've got it on one of the windowsills in my lounge. Did it have I, a label on it? I can't remember. I don't know if it did have a label on it, but it's really good because it tells you when it's thirsty. <laughs> so what it does is it's it's like this. It's got like big um, waxy leaves on mm. like that. And then when it's thirsty, the, all the leaves just <laughs> do that. And literally you can water it and watch it go like that within seconds again. I it's wonder brilliant. what it was. I remember oh, it's, it. I'll take a picture of it. It's lovely. It's such a lovely one. that's nearly anyway, a year old now. How many? Fewer than 30 of these bundles now. Fewer than 30 of these now. Separately on their own. Most popular. Cakes. There's a surprise. That's called the bakery. The bakery. Because I'm imagining going to the supermarket and we get to We've the bakery. We've called it uh, the, the bakery. bakery. There and it is. And then you go to the bakery and you fill it with bakery things. That's what? There's a custard tart on here, apparently. So now this, 1999. We'll get you the, the instructions and the panel. The what? Oh, we were only talking about that the other day about glassy cherries, how much I hate them. Really? I yeah. love a glassy cherry. And we could, couldn't figure out what they were called, those buns that you had when you were a child. Paul Demir's talking. We've done it, it's Belgian. If they've got raisins oh, yeah. in, it's Belgian. If they haven't got raisins in, it's Brighton. What about Chelsea? Chelsea hasn't got the... Do you know a Chelsea bun has a, a There's rules. Oh, no, we got told oh, there's rules. There's rules. But know. then someone else mentioned saying ch cherry bake. Cherry well, bake, so they I go. love them. Now, you've not got a meal here. No, no. Well, I just I see she knows I what it's everyone's. Everyone thought I was talking rubbish when I said it means a thousand leaves. Yes, isn't it? yeah, me for Thank you. And it's that very soft, not soft, flaky pastry yeah, yeah. cream. And, and I absolutely love them. Anyway, lovely donuts. So that's Amy's favourite because I said uh, just draw cakes, and the pastries one on the other side is quite funny. I said, Amy, all of your pastries have got chocolate in them. <laughs> oh. Uh, blueberry muffins, my favourite at Starbucks. Love a Viennese world. I love a Viennese world. Yeah. Just, the only one, I wouldn't just, have those two. No, I, I love Battenberg as well. Oh, no, I don't like Battenberg. Oh. Anyway, that's the cake side. Then we've also got the pastry side. These sort of bread and pastries. <laughs> that's so a got funny looking bread. Bre bread. But there's like um, chocolate. Eclair, chocolate <laughs> twist, <laughs> pano chocolat. <laughs> pastry twist has chocolate in it. <laughs> I love a cinnamon swirl. Mm. Not too keen on pretzels. So that's sort of bread and pastries. Yeah. And anything else that gets squished. Oh, lovely. 19 you get the panel and the instructions. What are you eating now? Oh, celery. Oh. Well, no, she went for a weigh-in last night, oh. so she's trying to make yeah, up Yeah, but now. the next day after weigh-in, it's like free, isn't it? You can just go Well, through. no, because she'd put, she put weight on. She has been on holiday. She has been eating McDonald's all well, week. Well, you have to. There's no point in going on holiday, is there? No. Right, so that's your pastries. Next, fruit and veg. So there's your vegetable side. Love broccoli. Potatoes, parsley. Uh, this is my dinner. This is, is my, I, I wouldn't put peas in the roasted vegetables. All of those go in my roasted vegetables. Even the broccoli? Even broccoli and cauliflower. Really? I love them roasted. Morning both. Rebecca. Oh. <laughs> it's just gone. Yeah. You have to read really fast. Way. Rebecca, is the ripstop wide enough to line the panels with? Bex, why don't you scan and shop? Life is too short well, for checkouts. Well, I do scan and shop. Yes. But you know now, yeah, they can stop. No, no, but they can stop you. They stop every so many customers. They stop and check them. I know. I get checked quite often. Oh, do you? Because <laughs> sometimes it's one for me, one for the bag. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't really. No, no, never do that. Um, I do scan and shop. And what I do, you see, is I 
fill my bags Basket. up. I put them in the trolley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I put them all in the right bags. Yeah. And then I leave. Yeah. And I don't have to bother. Oh, so I, I don't do. do scan and shop. Oh, I, I do. like doing the till at the end. I hate that. No, I scan and shop. Okay. But I put everything in the right bags. And is the ripstop wide enough to do? Yes, it is. So you need half a meter if you want. I'm going to show you how to line them. It, that's not in the instructions because I didn't want to confuse things because you don't need to line them. But I will show you how to. And all you need is half a meter of ripstop because it's super wide. Perfect. So this is the, this is your fruit and veg one. Now you say, I don't eat bananas. Don't you? I, no, Why would too you much sugar. Too much sugar in a banana. Oh, I love a banana. I eat raspberries all the time. I eat strawberries all the time. Blueberries all the time. And black currants. No, I don't mean black currants. Blackberries all the time. Lemon's no good for your gastric reflux. So <laughs> I have to watch that. But nice in a gin. But nice in a gin if you drink. Don't eat any watermelon ever anymore. Oh, I love watermelon. Well, only because we were... What was I filming? And we were all eating watermelon. People were like... Oh, don't eat watermelons because they grow them near the, the it's like watercress if you get them from oh, a certain right, country okay. they grow where the water's not that pure oh well uh anyway beautiful that's the panel and the instructions 19.99 and then hannah's favorite the grocery in the pantry and I, the, um, I, I, nobody has pantries anymore oh i know a lovely name for you got a proper pantry oh how old's your house Oh, well, that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, in modern day houses, they don't do pantries. I know, and I love it. It's because you have those cupboards that pull out. Yeah. Like that, it? Pantry's great. Though, I isn't love it? an old fashioned. My nan's pantry had a special smell mm. about it. Uh, not a rotten smell, but a lovely smell. But I remember when she, uh, when she passed away, we got to clear the house, she had like tins of things in there from 1945 and things. <laughs> but they were always built. My great grandma had one because she didn't have a fridge. Yeah. Oh, no, they, they were built lower. Or on the north side. Oh, of the house. I didn't know that. So it was cooler. cooler. She never had a fridge. It's like a buttery. All you always go down mm. to a buttery, don't you? Because they didn't have fridges or in the. But my nan just stepped down into it from the from. The, it was only in the the, the kitchen, but you just to make down it a bit cooler. To, yeah. So all the all the tins and everything, and it's all amber makes. Oh, it's just as well. New, because I was going to say, if you ask the people, we're going to start opening a supermarket next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the soup's not amber makes. But the um, baked beans. The are. custard is. The mm. mustard is. The Worcestershire sauces <laughs> and the baked beans are. It's funny you chose the same colours as the famous uh, ones. Yeah. Well, they copied us, see. Oh, okay, the that's fine. We, we were the first brand. So that's your pantry and then that there. Oh, no, no. Hang on. They're both pantry, Yeah, they really. both are, but both they're pantry, just different yeah. shelves within different the pantry. Different shelves in the pantry. You'd get through a lot of mustard and custard in your house, obviously. <laughs> and flour. Yeah. No gluten-free flour. That bowl, everyone's got that bowl. Mason and cash, isn't it? It's what? Mason and Cash. It's that iconic make, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah. I've got one of them. Yeah. And then random other things that you can sew onto other things should you want to. Yeah. I was thinking apron pocket. What's this? That's just one of those tins you don't know what it is. And it always sits in the cupboard yeah. it one day. But I've got friends who take all the labels off their tins. Do they? And they just go, we're going to have these three tins for our tea. And whatever's in the tins is what they have for their well, tea. Well, it could be rice pudding, custard and mushy peas, It could it? be, but they, they, they make their tea around those three tins. Sometimes when I freeze meals, I'll put freezer roulette on them, because that's just really funny, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but you know it's going to make a meal. You don't, you, no, if you just had three, three tins, like you're saying, you could get th three mm. rent. But you could applique those, like in an apron pocket or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this sauce bottle. Good morning, I love Amber Makes. I have a pantry, just love it. Love this too from Maggie oh. in Ayrshire. Well, Maggie, I'd like a pantry. Yeah. I think it's a lovely idea. Have you got one in your, your house is old, isn't it? It is, but no, we haven't got a pantry. I think there the might have been one, but oh, it, you no, know, it's been extended it's probably over been knocked years. about. And... Well, it's most probably in the bathroom now or something. <laughs> yeah, probably. The downstairs loo. Yes. Anyway, 19 99 for that and that. Let Before we start the sewing, let me just recap the bundle. The bundle, you get all three, plus your instructions. Just got to check stock. There's a free tutorial, remember, for all of these. And look at the saving you're making if you buy all three together. £45. How are we doing stock-wise, Ham? £45. Please be careful. Very, very popular. Uh, hang on. Uh, Amy's messaged in. I've got a lovely old pantry, my inspiration whilst drawing oh, them from Amy. Yeah, because Amy's got old Amy house. wants to know where the video of you in the shop is. Yes, what happened? What because happened Because I videoed Amy and it was quite a good video. And it didn't seem to make it the final cut. 
No, she's a funny like that. Very fussy, isn't she, like that? <laughs> Join them together. Uh, Jill says, I've got a pantry, wouldn't be without it. Um, Catherine says, I get my messages delivered. Oh, she obviously lives in Scotland. Uh, um, not well enough to go around the supermarket. Oh, no. Oh, they don't send food in bags anymore. They come loose in trays and you put everything into... Oh, dear. I know, I just pour mine on the kitchen floor. Julie, she uh, scan and chops on her phone. But she loves Amber Makes Kits. The instructions are fabulous. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's get on. Should we do some sewing? Yeah, go on, let's. Go on then. Let's. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, there's two ways of it. Obviously, the way that I've made it is I've done it without a lining because you don't need a lining. And I've, I made a prototype a month or so ago, so I know it works and it, it hasn't fallen yeah. apart. Um, but if you want to make a lining, I will show you at that point. But the the reason that I'm going to show you this section is because you have to do French seams because you don't want it fraying inside. Also, I don't like it. If you made a lovely bag like that to look inside and then just see a raw me. edge or, or... I mean, it's, you could finish the edges and I did yeah, think yeah. about that. Could have pinked them or no. um, overcast them. But... No, you want it to last. You're going to so be throwing the... things in and out this basket every day, or this bag every day, aren't you? you exactly. I mean? yeah. So when you cut everything out, all the seam allowances are on them. So you just cut them around the edges and then pin the label that's above them onto the piece so you don't forget which is which. The seam allowances are different for different pieces due to the French seam. So they are all included, but just when you're making it, just take note. And I do say in each section, now you need to use a half inch or quarter of an inch. So just make sure you don't just willy nilly go off on a quarter of an inch because no. it won't work but they are all very clearly labelled. Lovely. So once you've cut out everything, you get a really big front and back. So what we're going to do to start with is we are going to sew the bag together. So if you've done French seams before, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So normally when you join something together, you'd be putting it right sides facing yeah. and then you sew it together. But because we're doing French seams, we're not going to do that. And I know they seem sort of how is that going to work but it really does i think it's a brilliant if you've never done a french seam this is a brilliant one to do it on because you've just got a straight edge you've already worked out yes. all of because i'm always frightened i'm going to take too much and things like that whereas you've already worked out exactly how much to well, take well yes yeah, so instead of doing the first french seam as an armhole on a dress yes yeah. let's start with a bag so place the whole thing i need to lift it up to do this um wrong sides facing yeah and match up your raw edges all the way around um and if you want to be Everything will match up, but there are some, so actually only on this one, on the grocery, there are shelves in the pantry, so you can make sure the shelves match up. Oh yes, of course. You don't have that on the other two. No. Um, they will match up because they are printed like that. I was going to say, Amy's printed them like that, but hasn't she? But if you want to be absolutely sure, so just make sure that you've got it wrong sides facing. Stacy, you watch this space, Stacy, because we're about to do ripstock for your line. She said ripstock lining would be good. Rip stop. Would uh, be good rips. on these bags so you can wipe them down on the inside if something spills. Well, also, you can just chuck them in the machine as well. Yeah. They will just go in the washing machine. Yeah, don't put them in a tumble dryer. <laughs> not, not, not if they've got rips. No, on. not if they've got rips. You can if they've just uh, the fabric. Um, so just pin them to pin it together all the way around. So if, if you are doing the rip stop, I will talk about that in a minute because you don't need to do it this way because you don't need French seams obviously yeah so what I would say is if you are going to line them with whatever you you could line them with anything then before you do this you'll need to use these pieces as templates because I don't give you any measurements because you don't need them um, so if you are going to line it before you do any sewing cut out the outer pieces and pin them on top of whatever you're going to line them with mm -hmm. whether that's ripstop whether it's um, a vinyl or just a cotton if you wanted to make them thicker mm -hmm. but use these as a pattern because the lining needs to be exactly the same size as these outers right now I've pinned it together so I'm going to sew these together with a quarter of an inch seam I've just discovered the joy having had my sewing machine for about six months of the HP foot you not used it before? Have no. Why? Because you know what? I decided with my machine, I couldn't be bothered to read the manual. I'm going to teach them myself as I go along. Yeah. And it's just amazing. Just explain what it is. Well, it's called the high performance um, plate and it just has one hole. So a normal plate has like a big slit so that you can do all the zigzag and all the fancy stitches. With a high performance plate, it just has one hole and then it has a special foot, which amazingly is quarter of an inch wide. Yeah. So it's brilliant. And it doesn't pull the fabric in and that's just fantastic. So yesterday I was making something where I had one inch squares on two inch squares snowballing and normally that would pull right into yeah, the yeah, machine, yeah, yeah. wouldn't it? Mm. Nothing, 
not a millimetre. Uh, a lot of um, patchworkers have their, this on their machine and don't ever take it off because it does the quarter inch seam. Yeah. And it's just, you, if you're just doing straight stitch all the time, it's fine. And what's brilliant about this machine is if you suddenly went, oh, I'm just going to zigzag this edge, the machine yeah, won't yeah. let you because it knows what place So I take, when I want to use my walking foot, I'll take it off. But other than that, that's yeah. it now. Yeah. And you can go so fast mm. as well. So that's the joy of it is when you're doing, anyway. And how long have you had your machine? Oh, about six months. And I've just, I told you, because I decided I wasn't going to learn. How was it? I've just come what have you done? <laughs> it's become unthreaded in transit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've discovered as well, but if you have that too tight, it comes unthreaded. Yeah, exactly. Because um, I moved it. Also, I think, I think, does the 680 have an HP foot as well? Yeah. Of course. It's just brilliant, anyway. Just for those little things. But you don't need to do that. Um, so reverse stitch at the beginning and then just whiz it together all the way down using that quarter of an inch seam allowance. It's very important that you use that quarter of an inch seam allowance at this stage, or mm -hmm. it won't work properly. Yes, and all of that has been included on the pieces. So I'm just gonna go across the bottom as well. Yeah, don't do the square. No, do not sew around the cutout corners. Otherwise, you will have a really strange bag. <laughs> it will look slightly ridiculous. Because those are what we're going to use for the box bottom. So you can get lots in it. Because it's got a four inch box bottom. So it oh, means yes. you can get like big, um, like two litre bottles of milk in it. This were made for me, really, to be mm. honest. Or if you do like I do, I've got soy milk and everything and oat milk. It, they fit nicely if you because they'll sit. Properly yeah, they it's do. Big enough to do that. What's the matter, Han? Fewer than twenty of the mega bundle left. We're trying to get more. We're trying to get more. Oh, this has been turned down. Oh, it's she says I didn't make the cut. Bex was a much better model. I might post it later. <laughs> It was actually quite a good video. She was, um, was putting she fruit and veg in. Was she sacheting? She was putting fruit and veg in. It was quite nice, oh. actually. My house is 1940s. Proper pantry under the stairs with a marble top oh, cold shelf. Oh, yes. Liz. Yes. Very nice. Oh, that would be the same as my nan's. My nan's was post-war. Yeah. What well, are you mine, looking for? Um, the plug is right. I think it's turned, oh, it is turned on. Right, now, before you do anything, let's just set the seams. Sounds like set the scene, doesn't it? Um, just because... It to got a pin evens them out nicely. I might take off the bag. It doesn't really matter which is the bag front or oh, back. I just get in the habit a bit yeah. of pinning the labels on. So I'm just going to set the seam. What does that mean? It means that when you the needle and the thread have gone through the fabric, it sort of moves it slightly, it's slightly puckered. And by pressing it, it pushes the seam into the fabric. Is that correct? That's correct. <laughs> when you go, no, it's not it at all, actually. <laughs> yeah, nothing like lying. that. Just lying. Right, so now I've set the seam. Now what I'm going to do is cut it in half. Pardon? The seam. Seam allowance? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh right. Just going to cut the bag in half. No, I'm going to cut the seam allowance in half. So this is a quarter of an inch, so cut it an eighth of an inch, but you honestly don't need to measure it. Just cut it in half. Yeah. Because otherwise, when you do your French seam, if you don't trim it in half, all those little raw edges will poke out, and that's quite annoying. So, um... Don't measure it, just cut it in half. Just make it doesn't have to be perfect either. So just make sure it's cut in half yeah. and that you haven't snipped the stitches because that will be annoying. But if you do, just go back and redo them. So it's not the end of the world. But it doesn't have to be perfect because the seam is the bit that will go on the edge, not these raw edges. The seam allowance are irrelevant. Yeah. So you could use a rotary cutter for this but it's just easier to do it like this. So basically, when you do a French seam, whatever you want your seam allowance to be, you do it half of that yeah. on both sides. So that's why this ultimately will have a half inch taken off it. Yeah. Which is important when yeah, I'm when you, when you're doing dress because it doesn't matter so much with a bag. When you're doing dressmaking, you really, really got to. Otherwise, you you're losing you lo an yes. eighth of an inch on every single seam. So it's important that you do the seam. You sew the seam allowance right, but the trimming yes. bit. So now, what I always do next is I press this seam open 
just because it's easier to get it on the edge later. Now oh I know, it's, well, I just find it easier to get on the edge, right on the edge when I turn it round. Oh, okay. So I'm going to press that open. I know it's tiny, but it's quicker. Right, in the long run. In the long run. And because you haven't cut, you've still got those cut out corners, you can actually press it open all the way to the bottom. I'm only going to do one or we'll be here all day. Yeah. Right, so once you've done that, now let's turn the bag wrong sides out. Where's the one I did? Oh, yeah, let me move my bits to the other side. Um, <laughs> and drop them all on the floor. So this is the one that I've trimmed. So the important thing now is that this seam has to lie right on the edge. And by pressing it open, it just makes it a little bit easier. Because that's the important part, is that it must lie right exactly yes. on the edge. So if you've pressed it open in the previous step, it just makes it a little bit easier. So give it a press. Um, now, if you've done loads of French seams and you're quite confident with this, then you don't need to pin it. But I tend to. Oh just no, I always, I always oh, pin a French. You? Always. Yeah. Oh, okay. Always. Right, then. So I pinned it because I don't want to take them out while I'm sewing because. I, um, it's just easier not yeah, to. Yeah, pinned it further away. So if you pin it like half an inch away from that seam, then you don't need to take these pins out as you're I, I find if you don't pin it, sometimes it can, one can move more than the other and you'll get that kind of, I forget what it's called, like roping. Yes, I know what you mean. Roping effect, yes. So that's why I press it open because yeah. that's easier. So now that's right on the edge and I've pinned it. So now what we're going to do is just sew this together with a quarter of an inch seam allowance because two quarters is half. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> and because I have um, trimmed that seam, it sits well within it. So, because if you don't trim enough off, oh, no, all, all the out, little it? raw edges come. Jan's still got the marble, the other Jan this is, but I've still got the marble slab that was used to be in my grandparents' pantry. Well, that's because they didn't have fridges, so they yeah. just had a marble slab, didn't they? My great grandma, who lived in that thatch cottage, she had that, and a mangle. Oh, I love a mangle. So there we go. <laughs> and I'm going to give it another little press. Press, yeah. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, right, now, Collector in Devon says, Morning, I like an insulated bag so Ooh. I can interlink with Thermalan or equivalent. Might not fold up as well, but don't want melted ice cream. Well, it would still roll up. And you could also, because the it would still roll up even if you put that in. Um, the elastic's quite generous, but you could just put a longer length of elastic yeah. on and it will still roll. Yeah. So that's a good idea. Yeah, very good Make idea. Make it your own. What? You do you. You do you. I hate that saying. Oh, do you? Why do you just use it then? Just because I really, it's, I hate people, it's a really in thing, isn't it? I find it really patronising. Yeah. Anyone who goes you do you means, and I wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Great show. <laughs> There are hooks just under the back windows in the boot. You could hook the bag handles on there and they stay upright. If you've got those hooks, you know, I haven't got those hooks in well, my Well, you might boot. have in a new car. My, well, I, I don't think I have. And they fall over. Hang and then on, I there are hooks just under the back windows in the boot. I've got a hatchback, though, so I wouldn't have those. Some cars have. Oh, uh, no, some cars have hooks, but not all of them. Mine, mine okay. doesn't. Not my new one. Right, and then I'm going to give another press. OK. Love a bit of pressing. And now... Oh, now you've started something off. They're all arguing about hooks in their boots now. Well, I definitely haven't got... not Because I my other car had hooks and this one oh, doesn't. Oh, OK. So now, look, if you look at this seam, it's nice and neat from this side. And then if we look inside, there's no frayed raw edges. So it's also, it's stronger. Because mm -hmm. it's a double seam. So what you do is you continue... Oh, oh yeah, OK. You continue, you French seam... Um, the other two, the bottom and the other side. Yeah. Then, uh, this is all in the instructions, but when you then press them, press the seams towards the front on the sides and towards the back on the base. Right. Because when we box the corners, they then nest. Oh, OK. It's not crucial. No, I know it exactly. It makes it a little bit no, easier. No, no, no. So I'm not going to French seam those, but when you come to do the box corners, exactly the same way as normal but we, again we're going to do these with french seams so place these right sides facing wrong, side. wrong sides facing yeah. sew them together turn them around um and you and these will nest so the bottom seam is facing towards the back the side seams facing towards the front so they will face in opposite directions and they'll join together nicely so i'll just show you on this one if i've got time i'll finish it off but i'll see how i get on so if you look at this one 
you can see that the bottom has a French seam as well. Ooh. And that those are facing in opposite directions. Because you don't want any raw, no. any rawness. Now, if you are going to line it, which you don't have to, and, and also there aren't, I haven't put this in the instructions at all because the instructions are purely for making this bag, but I'm just, I'll tell you now. So what you've done in advance is you've cut everything out, you've cut your linings the same way, but when you construct this bag, don't need French seams because it will be lined. Just sew it together with a half inch seam allowance because that's what this a French seam yeah. will be when it's finished. With your lining you fab, could, But you could do the French seams because it's added strength as you well. Could, You'll never yes, see them. No. You don't need to, but if, good practice. You could do, me, but practice. then with the lining, make sure you sew that with a half inch seam allowance. Yeah, oh, yes, so, yes, 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 yes. so I cut my lining out. Um, I've sewn it together with a half inch seam allowance. I've boxed the corners, but what I've done is I've left a turning gap about three or four inches in the bottom because you'll need that. Now, the next stage with this bag is obviously you've sewn together all the sides properly, is in order to get the um, handles all enclosed and nice and strong, I've got a facing. Brilliant. So, and the facing has baby versions of what's on the front. Aww. So this has got baby tins. Um, if you are lining your bag, then treat your, in the instructions, your lining in the same way as you treat the facing. Just pretend the facing is the lining. So if you line your bag, do you not use the facing then? No. You could if you wanted, but you don't. And just trim that much off the well, top? Well, yeah, you could. You could cut a, the t If you wanted to, you could cut the top off your lining, lining and then you could... Attach that to, to the, it. Yeah, you could do that, yes. Mm. Nice. Yes. Okay. I just thought, oh, because I haven't written instructions... No, 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 no. Yes, but, of course, you yeah. could still use the facing. So what we do is you take your two facing bits... I will have to finish the French seam on that other side. It's not going to work, is it? And um, place them right sides facing, making sure your tins, packets, fruit and veg, whatever, oh, the right way up. are facing the same way up. Otherwise, you'll have one upside down. It doesn't really matter which is front and back for this one. But when you do, if you're doing the fruit and veg or the cakes and the pastries, there are cakes on, um, on one side, one facing, and pastries on the other, and fruit on one. So if you want your fruit facing on the same side oh, you want your, your fruit, fruit on bag. your fruit side your veg on your veg side but you don't have to you could do it the other way around but if you want for your facing um there is, there's fruit on one facing and veg on another yeah, so yeah, that's yeah the handle yeah yes yeah, so you've got fruit you've got veg yeah, on this side yeah on the hand on the ha oh on the facing face, so, the fa so on the fruit and veg oh, and the cakes I see and what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. there's fruit on one facing veg on another got it. fruit on one strap veg on another yeah. with the pantry doesn't really matter when you sew the facings together, you're going to be using a half inch seam allowance because you don't need to do French seams with this, but yep. it needs to match up with but the same. But it tells you that in the instructions. This is all in the instructions. This isn't something you need to remember, and it's all in that tutorial as well. But just saying. So I'm going to sew that one and sew this one. But I need to do the facing to show you how the handles work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's. Because I didn't want to have lots of different straps. I wanted to just have one strap that did everything. Yeah. Now, I am going to have to just finish that one off. Oh, well, you do that. I'll just recap the bundles okay. while you're stitching that. Well, only because otherwise my bag won't be the right size. Exactly. So, I've got the big bundle. You get all three panels. The fruit and veg, the pantry... Oh, more people in baskets that I've got stock of. We are trying to get more as we speak, but at this moment in time, there are more of you got this in your basket than we've got stock of. You get one of each, you get the fruit and veg, you get the, the groceries and you get the pastries and cakes, plus the instructions for 45 pounds. We're a huge saving there of like 14 pounds or something. Yeah. Brilliant. That's that bundle. Then individually, which one do you want to do individually first? The pantry one. No, you're doing pantry. Yeah, yeah, yeah pantry one. The groceries. Pantry. There's your panel for the groceries. That's one side that message on the bottom. Morning, guys. My husband says I've got two floors, one food and one shopping. I love to get the bag just to wind him up. <laughs> oh, do it, Alison. Do Make it. one for him as well. So this is your... Um, oh, dear. That's your groceries. 
Yeah, I just was just looking at the spelling of caster. Is it e? Is it caster with an e on sugar then? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. But castor oil is an O, isn't it? And casters on things have got... Yeah, it's definitely got an E. Oh, it's, I've never bought caster sugar. So have you know. not? No, well, why would, what would I need it for? I don't make jam. Cakes. Don't I make use, cakes. No, I always use... Well, why would I make cakes when there's got a waitress down the road? <laughs> I always use... And I use golden as well. It's nicer. Oh, no, I love golden granulated. Because it's love, sort yeah. of... Syrupier. Anyway, 1999, you get that. And the, pa the panel and the instructions. Next one. Cakes, very popular, I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's making me hungry just looking at What's my favourite? I can't tell you what my favourite is because I love my gluten-free bread, I love pan au chocolat, I love cinnamon <laughs> swirls, I love chocolate eclairs. On a Sunday morning, I love a warm croissant with butter and jam. And then on this side, <laughs> uh, I love a blueberry muffin from Starbucks. I don't buy fondant fancies anymore because they send my sugar levels rocket, rocketing. They are I good love though, them. aren't they? Viennese worlds love, can't stand the macaron. Oh, really? Because they, they're made of nuts, aren't they, macarons? They're almonds, almonds aren't yeah. they? Oh, so that's why you don't like a Battenberg? Yes, because it's got marzipan oh, see, on yeah, it. Oh, yeah, no, I it? love a Battenberg. I, I think it's the almonds, that's why I love it. Oh, OK. I love a really good Victoria sponge. I don't like cheap Victoria sponges that are a bit synthetic, but I really a love A proper them. homemade one, an yes, eggy yeah. one. In fact, uh, in June, I'm doing the launch of a charity cookery book, right, which is all about afternoon, old fashioned afternoon tea. So I think Ooh. the cookie book is all cakes and things like that. I'm meeting the people this week. It's Debbie Cavill, you know Debbie Cavill, right? She said, oh, would you come and do this launch of this book for me? I was like, yeah, of course I will. It's like in Wren Hall or somewhere like that in, um, in Birmingham somewhere, I think it is. So I'm, I said, oh yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then she went, oh, I can't come, I'm on holiday. And who's written it? Uh, it's all by the ladies of the. It's not a WI, but it's all like yeah. ladies of who, who, do, who. So you can go there during the summer and have an afternoon tea. I on will a, put on my name there. Can you get me one? Yeah, yeah, of course. I, will. I love a um, cake book. Basically, so you can go there, have afternoon tea on a Sunday, and homemade cakes, and all the money goes to to make sure the up keep of this Wren Hall is kept oh, up. Oh, how anyway. nice. Anyway, last, last night, I'll tell you more about it. It's not until June the 10th, so I'll tell, I've got a meeting next week about it. Then I've got vegetables. Right. Now, I love vegetables. I could eat all of those. Um, I, well, I, well, I can't tell the story about the corn on a cob. But I had an incident with a corn on a cob at a film party once. No, no, eating of a corn of a cob, and it did strange things to me. And then, fruit, love of fruit. Now, it's funny, I never buy cherries. And then if I go to friends' house and they've got cherries, I'll start eating them. Oh, and they're then lovely. Can't put them down then. And Julie works at Waitrose. We've got these yellowy cherries in our local Waitrose. When, and she says they're the best cherries she's ever had. I like frozen cherries because they're really good for putting in cakes and puddings and things. Oh, are they? Yeah. And they're much cheaper. You I mean, can't like eat them on their own, can you? Can well, you just eat, can you They're actually really nice frozen as well. Oh, are they? They're like... Be good mm. to put in a smoothie. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, 19.99. Look, you get sewing tips, cookery tips, the works here. Oh, the instructions, 19.99. How long have got left? You've got 10 minutes left. Right, okay, well, that's because I, I can show you the strap now. I'm just making sure I've got an eraser. What have you lost? Have I brought a pen? No, but Michael's yes. got one. So I, I've got one. I did bring it. Um, right, so now what we're going to do is take the straps. Now, I've made the straps in advance. They're super easy. They just fold them in half right. Straps or handles? Straps and handles together. Mm-hmm. One big, long, strappy handle thing. Yeah. So what you need to do is make sure that your images, it doesn't matter whether it's front and back, because they're exactly the same, are on the right-hand side. And, I love that sound. <laughs> Take your tape measure. Yeah. And from the right-hand side, measure one inch. Right. And make a mark. Right. Then, I'll just move that out of the way. Then we're going to measure 15 inches. From the beginning from or from the begin that mark? Yeah, no, from the beginning. And then 16. Can you imagine how many times I had to do this to work this out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how long it had to be? <laughs> Ages. So then you take your bag and place it so that you've got that one of the seams there. And then take your tape measure again. And you measure along from here to the measurements and instructions um, and measure it 
mark it so you mark it at the top and then just maybe a couple of inches down we're going to use this me second measurement to keep the strap straight during assembly mm -hmm. and then go along to the other seam so the right hand seam which you can see I've unpicked because I used a half inch seam that's by accident yeah <laughs> while, while you were talking really not concentrating hmm? um, measure again now this seems like quite a big measurement yeah but it's because you've got to take into account the gusset and the boxed bottom oh yeah of course, and everything yeah. and it also means the handles are in just the right place now when you've done that take your marked handle and let's go back to the first measurement it's just easy if you do both of them at the same time so the outer edge of this handle needs to sit on this mark. So that one inch mark, this is where it's going to stick up. So it will s extend by a one inch. This is what makes the straps nice and secure. And then pin it in place down here, because when you sew it, otherwise it will wiggle. Yeah. Then take your handle, make sure it's straight. So just run it through your fingers, because it's, if it's not straight, it'll have a wiggly one. And then place the 15 inch mark. Oh, you've not made two, you've not made no. handles and a strap. It's all from the same piece, right? Because otherwise they would right. be um, not as strong. Yeah. Um, so you place your mark there and then this third, mark three, you fold it over at that point. Um, now hold it all together. You take that pin out <laughs> and pin it back together. Otherwise you'll throw over the pins. And then pin both together at that bottom mark. Because you're doing this second set of pins, where you're going to tack in a minute it just makes them secure it will mean the bag will fold up but once you take those out it will come back together and then run the strap through your fingers to keep it straight and pin it at the other end and again make sure it sticks and so now you've got the raw ends sticking one inch up above the top of the bag yeah and the loopy bit sticking up one inch across the top of the bag oh. so once you've done that so you see how it's sort of pulling it a bit yeah, yeah it's don't pulling. worry because those will come out later so tack this into place you, you can sew it across the top just give some extra strength and then tack the other one into place I mean, you will have plenty of other um, levels, layers of stitching anyway, and then just make sure that's nice and straight. I always tack this, because otherwise the pins get caught, um, but just increase your stitch length, because this is something that you're gonna take out later. So you don't need to do any reverse stitching. Put it back, because I always forget. Mm -hmm. So now, th and then you do the same on the other side. With the other one? With the other one. Again, put doing the measurements. Yeah. Um, when you've done them, just make sure that they're level. <gasps> Don't sew the bag front to the bag back. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a quick unpick? Yes, however, I've only done it for the tacking stitches. Oh, that's right then. So. <laughs> It's quite funny, isn't it? That's not what you're not doing. Do not sew. Do the, not do that. Do not sew the bag front of the bag back. That is just typical, isn't it? I was really careful when I pinned the top one, but that was the shorter seam, so um, the shorter length seam, so that's good. So don't pin the, the two Hello together. again, feeling well entertained, sewing and baking heaven, says Christine. Ah. So I'm not going to tack those back into place. Now I've done that. Right, so what you do now, because I've got just enough time to yeah. show you the facing. You do the other one on the other side, which I'm not going to have time to do. Um, now, the facing, I've sewn together right sides facing um, with a half inch seam allowance. So this needs to go right sides facing with the top of the bag and the top of the tins or veg or fruit need to go at the top. Mm -hmm. Start by pinning the side seams together it's best to press this seam open. The French seam will obviously be pressed to one side, but that's fine. So match those side seams and pin it together and then match the other side seam. And this is where it's important that you've got your seam allowance, you follow these seam allowances exactly. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, these won't match up. Um, so basically the bag is going inside the facing. Do you know I've even pinned the front and the back together <laughs> they haven't sewn it together so what we're going to do now is sew it together all the way round the edge right which I've got 
I'm not going to do it all the way around. I'll tell you what, I'll just do this side. Um, and this uses the seam allowance. I just think with something like this, where you really want the strength, the wider your seam allowance, the better. Yeah. So, although normally for a facing, I wouldn't use necessarily a wider seam allowance. I am with this bag because it's all about keeping everything nice and secure and strong. So I'll just sew that. So you're now sewing through the top of the straps, not through the bag back. Oh dear. I hope you all managed to um, <laughs> learn from my mistakes. And yes, because you're the making quite a few. Oh, I know, I have pinned and sewed the front and the back all the way along. Um, so we're sewing to get the top of those straps, so that gives it a bit of extra strength. So you would normally sew all the way round. I'm not going to for yeah. that time. Right, then when you come to, once you've finished it, I would press this seam open. You'll probably be able to see it better as well on here. Press this seam open because that just makes it easier to turn over. Because you need this seam is going to go right on the edge. And I always think if you press something open, it sits on the edge better. So yeah. do that all the way around. Mm -hmm. Then when you turn this over to the wrong side, you at this point, you'll need to remove those tacking stitches because your straps now need to face upwards. Yeah. Um, you turn the edge of this over by half an inch. So I'll just guess with that. And then when you turn that over, if you've done it all correctly, the ends of these will just sit underneath oh brilliant so the raw ends and the folded end will just sit underneath that flap uh-huh and then the that's the folded end and then this raw ends they will sit underneath if for any reason you've got your seam allowances slightly wrong you can always trim, trim off the it ends off, yeah. of them so but don't trim it right down the whole point is no. that it's there is for strength yeah so when you then come to sew this in place i'll show you on this bag since it's the same um when you sew that into place, you sew it along the bottom, but you also sew it along the top. Do we sew our elastic in at the same time? Yes, yeah, sorry, so before you do that, yeah, you, you put the loop of elastic in before. I've just got this white elastic yeah, here today. Which is fine, so what you do is, between the two straps, before you sew this in, you sew your loop of elastic. But that's all here. in the instructions anyway. It's all in the yeah. instructions, and again, you, you make the elastic stick downwards by about yeah. an inch. So, so very quickly then, if I'm not using the facing and I'm using the bind, uh, the lining, yes. I just do the same that you've just done there, yes. but with the top edge of the yeah, lining. Yeah, just with the top of the lining, and obviously you don't need to do this folding no, under a bit, no, but I would do the two layers of top stitch. Once the line, once you've bagged it all the way yes. through and it's finished, then do two yeah two then lines i would do two because yeah. it just you're going through the bottom of the handles and you're going along the top yeah so yeah oh, i would sure. um pretend that the lining is the facing if you want to attach the lining then the facing then do you just have to cut the top off it but you'll need to measure it all um, and then what you do is you sew a button on the same side the button for closing the bag is on the same side as the elastic which sounds really odd but it just is that's for when you're closing it all. The button for holding it together when you're out shopping is on the other side of the bag. Yeah. And right. that's all yeah. in the instructions anyway. Right, I just need to explain, right? That's the elastic that's in there now. I'm just gonna recap now. Oh, here you go, right. I, am, I, am I correct that as an interval, interval bag and instructions are 19.99? Yes, they are, right? So that and that is 90, oh, sorry, it's gone. 19.99. What was the second half of the message? Why are you putting three instructions in? Well, we're not. We're not putting, well, hang on, we're not putting three instructions, hang on. Okay, uh, the price for three would be 59.97. Why are you putting three instructions? No, we're not putting three instructions in. 9.99 these would be on their own. In this bundle here, you're paying for three panels which are 1990, they're 1999 if you did that. So that would be 1999, 1999, 99. We're not putting three instructions in, we're just putting one instruction in, 45 pounds. Well, if you bought three individual, if you bought three that, if you, if you messaged in and you bought that, you bought that and you bought that as three individuals, you would get three instructions. In the bundle, you're getting one, two, three, and one set of instructions. Which is why yeah. we can do the saving. Yeah. 
Otherwise, it would, you wouldn't be yeah. able to do such a good one. So there you go. Right. Okay. So. Yeah. The panels are 19... Oh, right. The panels are 19.99 on their own. If, if you would normally sell them on their own. Yeah, exactly. Right. Shall we move on? Bundle. £45. £45 for the bundle there. Do you want me to repeat this? Or are you explain that to someone else? <laughs> so, so if you bought the panel separately on their own, they would be 19.99. But we take some of that off because when we do that, we offer you that as 19.99. Okay, so the bundle's 45 pounds, three panels plus your instructions, 45 pounds, okay? Got to, got to move on, got to move on. Right, uh, sorry? Separately, right, very quickly. Which one do you want to do first? Okay, this one. Right, so it's 1999 for this and this. Normally this would be 1999, this would be 999. The deal we're doing is 1999 for the whole thing. Moving on. Okay, next one. Cakes one's next. So you get the cake panel and the instructions for 19.99. You don't need to buy lining because you do them in French seams if you want to. I haven't even shown you the ripstop yet. And then of course you've got the um, vegetables. Fruit and veg, 19.99. Ripstop, if you want it. And you don't need half a metre, you don't need half a metre. Which colour first? Bright green first, lime first. Yeah, lime, there you go. Because you need, you need half a metre long, but you've got more than enough wide. Yes, exactly, there you go. That's only half of it, twice that. One ninety-nine for half a metre. Navy blue. There you go, one ninety-nine. Multi-purpose polyester rip stop. Yeah, I always call it rip stock as well. It stops rips though. Anyway, it stops ripping. Yeah. Yeah. It's rip stop. Uh, oh, sorry, Michael. And then I've got the pale blue one. Uh, Lorraine, I'll check with um, Hannah if she got your picture after the break. One ninety-nine for half a meter. That's in the light blue. Right, don't go anywhere. You're back in. Oh, now. She's back in an hour with her best sellers. I need to tell you that the duffel bag made of the granny squares is absolutely flying out. Go and have a look on pre-order, but we've got the bag that goes across, we've got the duffel bag, mm. we've got the- Gift bag set. Gift bags, oh, which is brilliant, the gift bag set. They all sold out in the past, we've got them all back, but already they're selling on pre-order. Delphine is up next where we're doing, well, we haven't got it here yet. We've got Delphine's new project. It's gorgeous. To make this, Straight after the break, we will see you in four minutes from now. Hi everyone, I'm Eva McAtamney. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I uh, started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters and since then I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting and I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns quilt in a day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day but it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here. And as you 
hopefully can tell, this is quite a large shop here, so most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully. So I don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame. So what I suppose I could say um, is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage John Scott. Um, I'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant. So um, love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. If you're a sewing street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. This Monday and Tuesday here on Sewing Street, we are doing coronation makes. There's tote bags, there's bunting, there's quilts, there's cushions. In fact, Delphine's coming in to do a special Highland cow cushion, especially for the coronation. I'll be there, make sure you are. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from 10 pounds to 500 pounds. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. 
follow Sewing String on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. How gorgeous is this? How lovely is this? Have a look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I have to say, I think this is my favourite one of all of this range. Of the... Oh, it's very popular. Okay, I need to warn you, over a hundred have gone on pre-order. Uh, over a hundred have gone of these on pre-order. Beautiful. It's only 19 99 Now, I'll show you all the fabrics you get in a minute. But you got all that, there were little, there's little, um, pigeon, not pigeons, what are those? Seagulls at the bottom. Now, I, I was listening to Jeremy Vine show yesterday, and this, this, one block of flats, all these pigeons have moved in, right? And inside, the, and you can't do anything about it. You can't move their nets, you can't do anything because the wild animals, they're, they're, um, so all these people, like one lady, is an air hostess, she came out of a flat, walked to the lift, and between walking from the house to the lift, one of the, you know, and she, had to, she was late for work and everything, she was furious. 1999. This is the whole kit you get to buy this, right? I'll show you now, I'll show you what you get. Right, dreadful picture, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful picture because it's all out completely out of proportion and you don't get anything on a roll and everything like that. I'll show you what you get. I'll show you what you get. You get the instructions first of all. We don't have the instructions here, there are the instructions. So inside the instructions you get everything you need to know, all of the templates, everything you need to know is in that instruction. That's what you get. We haven't got them here, but they, you know, like one of these here, the lovely glossy ones that Delphine does. It's one of those, basically. It is one of those. Then this is your whole kit of what you get, right? So you get your calico, half a meter of calico. You get your three squares of felt, white, soft gray, and a slightly darker gray. You get your three, oh, are they, yeah, they're squares. These are fat eighths, is that right? Fat eighths of denim. Pale denim, medium denim, dark denim, fat eighth of those. Then you get your two wider Hessian ribbons, your uh, one that's about two and a half inches wide, and you get your plaited one. So you get all of that, all of that, plus the instructions. That's way too many. Oh, it's going to be sell out. We're only five minutes into show. It's going to be a sell out. Oh, lovely. Instructions on their own. This will be fun. Instructions on their own. They'll look like that. Yeah, yeah, I showed them, I did that. They look like this, right? They look like this. But that picture there. You get the instructions in the bundle. You get the instructions in the bundle. You don't need to buy them separately. <laughs> right, okay. Now, okay, so we've got the other beachy one here, which is the Rustic Home Denim Cushion. What you get in your bundle for this one, you get your three fat eighths of denim. You get instructions. You get a white felt square. Now this is a bigger watch of calico, this is... <laughs> okay, you get half a metre of calico, that's that one there. Half a metre of calico, is that it? That's it, that's that bundle there for 16 99 <laughs> I said to Hannah, how much calico do I get? She went, eight inches by eight inches. <laughs> She's found it funny. Anyway, 16.99. Previously demoed. 21st of December, right? Can't show you a can't unless we all go around Delphine's house. Oh. Can't no. show you a sample. I'm so sorry. We'll try and get pictures for you. We'll try and get I'm pictures. I'm useless. For you. I said when she walked out, I said, You got these I should know you've got them. With all the total Yeah, you've got those. I've not got those samples. So we sent Michael off to go and find them. And then a little bit later she went into Hannah in the gantry. Didn't tell me. Left. It was a complete afterthought. It's fine. Anyway, 16 99 we'll get you that. We'll show you pictures later. But there is the finished picture. It's gorgeous. Really, really lovely. Fabulous. Now what are you going to make me do? The threads. Thread bundle next. Two separate ones. Light blue, dark blue and white is one. 4.49. Be interesting if you describe the next one. 
Beautiful, 449, your embroidery thread there. Y yeah. And what's it got colours it got in it? All oh, right, okay. All oh, right, okay, that one there. Yeah, okay, that's it. Yeah. There you go, that's your other bundle. That one's only 3 99 for some reason. Oh, we don't know. We're only the monkey, not the organ grinder. Is that the right way around? Do you want to see what? <laughs> I've got two of those. Oh, say it again, I'm a lot of gloss. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got a photo of it. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. There it is. Yeah, lovely. I'm getting ever so confused. Well, if we just got what we were supposed to get. Sorry, I'm not going to go on about it. I'll just be quiet. Right. 16.99. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. All right. Uh, so we're going to start some sewing. Yeah, I will actually do some sewing. Will you? Yeah. And sticking. Yeah. Is there any, oh, no, is there any, is there any applique in this? There is, isn't there, as well? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of applique. Yes, sir. Yeah. Bundle's about to sell out. Better be quick. Right, OK. Right. So, lots to get through on this one. Very busy. Right, let me give this a quick press. So, you're going to start off with your... You've got enough room there. Do you want to spread over onto my I desk? I might have to. Oh no. Would you want a bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah I might yeah. have a bigger one and then that can rest on that one and then everyone's happy. There we go. Lovely. There you go. Right, so I've got my background. So I just want to show you how it's all how it all goes together. So that's our calico. So that's your calico. There we go. Lovely. And then you've got you see, so use the light denim, so for the sky, you can either have it that way round, or you could even go for a lighter sky by having it that way round. Okay. So there's no right or wrong way. I think I've done that one. You've done the real side, the proper that side. That side. Yeah. But I quite like it when you work on the raw, raw edges. So first of all, you put that into place. I believe that strip is six and a half inches yeah so when you come to do it that's six and a half inches wide and however long it is for your cushion so obviously you might be doing a cushion that's about this big but always make sure that that's 16 and a half inches no not 16 oh six six, six and a half inches oh i'm going home <laughs> yeah you've got 45 minutes yet so i'm just gonna so this sticks down i'm just using leftover bundle web okay and then that way I can stick it down now. I haven't got to worry about it moving around. Oh, I'd, dread to, I'd hate to be on your kids with a plaster on. <laughs> or waxing. Oh, do <laughs> she doesn't wax her children, don't worry. <laughs> no. There we go. And then it just stops it from moving around. Okay. And then, however long, again, because everyone's cushion sizes are going to be, you know, different. Yeah. Or you might want to make it into a picture or into a bag or something like that. So that's why I've done it. Six, and, just remember, six and a half Inch. inches. So now we need to do the C. So, simple way to do it. If you just get whatever uh, shade you want to use for the C, again, you can use the wrong side as well if you want to. So all you need to do is measure three inches three inches up either side and just, I've just marked it with a pen so I've just marked three inches up from there on both sides on both corners yep and then I'm just going to attach some bonder web roughly about again three inches wide to the back so I'm just going to line up those edges there 
I haven't. I know I haven't done it the whole length, but yeah, just don't want to waste it. And then just kids are sold out. Kids sold out. So we've only got the instructions on their own now. So then you can just look at your um, your marks that are three inches up from the sides, and all you want to do is create like a curve. Oh, I wonder what those marks were for. So just want to create like a small curve like a C from one point to the next. Okay I'll just show you on the real cushion. Now you've on yours here you've used the wrong side of the denim on this yeah. one originally. Oh, yeah, so, so, so this was I'll just explain that was a whole strip across there what you've done is you've taken from your three inch mark there and your three inch mark there you've just literally gone down in a dip there. Yeah. But that doesn't matter because the one here it's like the asymmetrical, that doesn't matter, it doesn't no. need to be a perfect dip no, or anything like that. just a curve. Just, just a curve going down like that to create yeah. that shape. And then that's your, that's the C. Alright. It comes together, trust me. There we are. So there's your sky and you see... So you've got your sky, your seat and your sand all ready there to go. Okay, Bondweb, if you want to buy some Bondweb and the big, I, I presume the big box might have sold out. If, oh right, the big one that's got too many people about to get. I can't show you this one. This is, you know, the five metre rolls. We had this on the show yesterday. You're saving £10, you buy three of them together. Have you got a picture, Charlie? Oh, there you go, it's three of the, well, oh, that's not even the roll we've got, is it? But you know, it's the roll, it's the three rolls. We've got, we had it earlier, didn't we? Where's Michael? I'll get it from the box. Okay, he spends a lot of time in there, doesn't he? Here you go, here, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. This is these, sorry, Delphine. That's all right. You get three of these, right? Three of these for 61.97. They should be 71.97. But you get three of those, it was in yesterday's show, we shouldn't be doing this again today because it was in our bulk buy show from yesterday. But there you go. If you want to save £10, then you have three of those. The thing that's good about that is put two of them away in the cupboard. Just use this one. Then you open a fresh one when that's all done, sort of thing. This roll on its own has sold out completely. Have we still got it with the fuser mat? That bundle sold out as well. So basically, this is the way to get it now. Three of these for £61.97. Sorry, Delphine, you carry on. Oh, sorry. So, you've also got some templates. So, these will be uh, your templates. You've got two different size beach huts. So, you can yeah. use the wider one with a wider door with a little um, porch, or you can just do the more simple ones here. Yeah. So, all I've done is I've pressed um, a, a simple outline of one of the beach huts onto one of some, the canvases. Some, one of the canvases. Uh, I would, my little tip here is I would use your silicon mat or your applique mat that because sometimes the glue can go through the canvas from the bond yeah. web onto your ironing board. That's all, or onto your iron. Unless you live in my house and they well, get glue all over you your bond. Yeah. Is there an ironing board inside the house as well? No. Where do you, Nick do his shirt so? He doesn't do his shirt. Doesn't he? No. Well, I have to do his shirts when I do them. Do you know, since You don't I'm do them on your ironing board, and you're on that ironing board. You put his best shirts on that ironing board. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel so sorry for him. Sorry for Nick? I wouldn't. No. I'm surprised he doesn't do his own shirts, to be honest. I thought he was the kind of man that would do his own shirts. No, but I'll, I will give him a credit because he does do the washing. Oh, OK. Um, that. Um, because we both work full time now, I've offloaded that job to him. So he does the washing, but he's so good at doing the washing and folding everything that he yeah. doesn't have to iron anything. Now, we have got the fuser mat, the shape of the ironing board. We have got this one in stock because the rectangular one sold out. We have got this one. Now it's the full, this is what you need for your ironing board at home, then it wouldn't mess up. One day I'm gonna, t when I'm, Delphine's not in, I'm gonna sneak round and I'm gonna take a picture of her ironing board cover for you because you'd be, I was going to say amazed, that's the wrong word. Disgusted. <laughs> oh no, it's tr isn't it? It is truly covered in everything, isn't it? Your yeah, I'll take a picture, I don't okay. mind. Okay. 49.99 that one, 49.99. Brilliant, right, okay. So we've done the sea and we've done the sky. We've done one beach shut in blue denim, Wait. one beach shut in felt, and where's the canvasy one you just did? That's a good point, where is it? <laughs> 
<laughs> there it is. <laughs> Charlie, what happened to your extra set dressing with the beach up behind us? Oh, it's gone already. So you can add as many or as little as you like. You can, you can follow the pattern to a T, or you can just put your own little spin on it. Yeah. 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 So we've sold hundreds of these. They're all going to be different, aren't they? All yeah. The, people took a picture of theirs. They're all going to be different. That's what I want, though. I want everyone to just have fun with it. It's, it's, you know. Yeah, right. Now, because the bundle's sold out, we've only got the pattern on its own. Hasn't arrived here. Yours will arrive on time, though. Don't worry. I've got individual components that I can sell you, right? Can't do that one. <laughs> this one I can do. Oh, the joys. Here you go. So now this is one meter by 70 millimeters of, now they've called it plat. That's where the confused, that is not platted, but that's called a plat, right? And it's at 99p. If you buy more than one, they come already cut because they're in the warehouse already cut already. So that's Hessian trim plat, one meter, 99p. There's one of those in the bundle. People who've got the bundle, you've got one of those in the bundle, right? <laughs> Chunky Dark. That's this one. It's not called Chunky Dark. That's Hannah's description for me to know which one to pick up. Here you go. That's this one here. So, uh, they've all, they're all plats. Like the Gail Platt. I'm going to call them Gail Platt, David Platt. Uh, one metre by 12 centimetres, this one. One metre by 12 centimetres. One pound 49. The, um, the subtitles are so behind, it's me talking about pyjamas made out of fabric in the first hour. <laughs> it's one of those days, I think, today, isn't it? Right, so I've put a press load Hang on, Delphine, oh. you have to just wait one minute. I've oh, okay. Hannah hasn't finished it. Oh, I'll do a quick Creamy, thing. chunky. Creamy, chunky. Lovely. What's next? White felt on its own. Ninety-nine p. The darker of the greys. Felt square. Eight nine inches by nine inches. Ninety-nine p. The what? The other grey, that's this grey here, silvery grey. Then I've got the denim in the fat eights. So I've got the, the which one? Oh, you all three. You all three. £3.74. There you go. Right. Is instructions on their own. Nine ninety nine. Over half those are gone. I, didn't, I haven't even got them here, and over half those are gone as well. Mm. Delphine, you're having a fantastic show. Right, and Calico. Okay, now we'll have to look at that later because I've got two bits with the same number on, but they're obviously two completely different sizes. We'll look later, we'll look later. Delphine. John. Your turn. So, beach hut stuck down. Use yeah. an applique came out when you're doing your felt because you, you want to use a really nice hot iron so you don't want it to stick to your iron. So to create the little slatty things down the middle. <laughs> so down the one, oh the stripey ones. Yeah, so all yeah. I've done is um I'll tell if you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Um all I've done is put some bond web to the back. Yeah. To some white, and this is half an inch wide. And then just trim along the top. So that's gonna be covered with a roof anyway. And then you can just space them apart. I wonder how you've done that. So yeah, because otherwise you, you don't want to stand there piecing all that together. No. That's take you forever. That this is very like the one that Charlie was going to get for set dressing, actually the stripy one. <coughs> Where have I seen one of those there, in the building? Been there for months yes. and months and months and months. 
And the one day we need it. We've moaned about it being there for months and then they moved it the one day we need it. So, what's that one? Hold on. <laughs> you oh, saw that, didn't you? Yeah, and I thought you were checking to see if you've got the bond web on the right side. Oh no, in my look, it's probably oh, we'll stuck to it anyway. Da, 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 da. No! Hey. And then I know I've not done them in the felt this way round, but I quite, I'm quite i thinking it might be quite nice that way as well. Oh, yeah, you use denim on yours. Yeah. On this one. Might as well use them up. Yeah. This is one of, this is my mother-in-law's favourite one, this one, that is well. What, Ursula's? Yeah, it's Ursula's favourite. What, this cushion? Yeah. Does she give you critiques then? Yeah. Oh. There we go. There we go. Message on the bottom. Please stop bringing beautiful kits at brilliant prices that I can't resist. I just don't have time. Bet my craft room looks like your warehouse. No, our warehouse is very, very organised. And you see Delphine's workroom. Oh, hang on. Hi, John and Delphine. <laughs> Anyone with a perfect iron board never uses it. Oh, that's from Richard. That's from a man in Bristol. Um, the, the workroom, no, no, her she shed is immaculate. Yeah. It's immaculate. It's just this one ironing board down one side. <laughs> I'm going to have to share a picture. It's got to the point now that the fabric on the ironing board itself is come away. Part of it's come away. It's like exposed like wood underneath oh blimey but do you know what i'm too attached to it to well you can keep it and just get a no because it will all be too clean and clinical in there well, the rest of it is yeah the rest of it is that's why it's got its charm as being this charm yeah It'll start smelling soon then you won't really think wait wait till the sun starts coming in through those skylights then you won't be saying, oh, it's such a charming ironing board, this it one. Is. You walk in every morning, you're like, what's that smell? You will be shocked to see how bad it is. It, it is, it I wouldn't really say it otherwise. You know when you've used that much starch and best press yeah, and it turns yeah. into like plastic? Yeah. It's a piece of art, that ironing board. Maybe you should take the cover <laughs> off and frame it and hang it up and then get just a new ironing board. No, no. no. I've had, oh. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. I've had... <laughs> <laughs> I've had that ironing board since I was in, since I joined the RAF. So I've well, had it that. is antique then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what year did you join the RAF? Uh, 2000. Oh, oh so I thought it was earlier than that. So 24 years. <gasps> yeah. 23. Was it 20, 23. 23. Yeah, whatever. whatever, John. I don't know. That was the year Charlie was born. Was it? Well, no, 1999 he was born. But. So as you can see, I'm not sticking to my pattern. No. It just gives you the you just just make sure you mix up the, the different, different textures yeah. and all these templates are in the pattern you've got all the templates in the yeah. pattern there we are let's have another roof what, where should we have a white one? Oh, that can do with a white roof yeah. have they all got roofs on oh yeah yeah. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. You've got more beach houses on yours than there are yeah. on this one. You space them out more on this one. Yeah, I'll put more on that one. Anyway, that's the prototype, that one. Oh, okay. Prototype. I haven't got a roof. Now, you've got only got one left. You've oh. only got one roof left, and what's it going to be? I think it's going to have to be that colour one, I think. Have you not got it cut out? No. Oh. You could have one in construction it's being built being renovated i'll tell you what oh 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 no <laughs> is that all right john not really i like what was wrong with the first one well i don't know it's because it didn't have a roof i can i can, I can make a quick roof it's yeah. fine well don't worry because it's going to bug me now See, you can finish that off when you get home along with your quilt. Oh, by the way, just so you know, the quilt pattern's arrived from the first hour. The instructions for the quilt earlier. If you got that quilt earlier, they've arrived. This is what you will be getting. 
It's in the bundle, and we did. Do we have it available on its own as well? Because I'm only showing you that now because it, earlier we only had the photocopy. And I want to say this is what you're actually getting. Look at it from upstairs with all the templates in. The templates are all in colour. Look, nine ninety nine. I know that's not this project, but I wanted you to see what you were getting. Beautiful, right? Thank you. All right, let's give it a roof and then we'll... Oh, now she... I don't know. Well, I thought I'd done one. Why did you, why did you only do... Oh, because you thought you were doing this one. Yeah, well, I sort of... Have yeah. you got room for your tree now you've got those so close together? Yeah. You can have it so it's in front of it. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. It's fine. Hi, I'm not fine. All fine. I like the smell of ironing on Hessian. Do you? Do you not smell that? Like a burnt, like woody smell? No. Oh, look at the mess. Honestly, if you could see how much mess I've made. It's fine. We had our floor mopped this morning. Did you? Yeah, when I came in, it was a wet floor. Oh, nice. It's because the builders next door were making so much dust, it was everywhere. This morning. What, there? Yeah. So when do they do that? When you come off air, they come in to... Well, no, they, they seem to do it overnight. Overnight? Hmm. Peeping, it's the building fairies. Oof, they weren't like, the, they weren't like being called fairies, were they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Right then. Right. So we've done the roofs. So we've done the roofs. And now this is the fun bit where you can decorate stuff. Like I said, really, really mix up your textures of things. Ooh. That's going to be nice there. Quite big doors, aren't they? Right, that one, um, I've, I've done that one. Look at the one on the left. I've done that one, so it's like a double door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look how tall yours are. Yours are meeting the roof. And the ones on here, they're not. Yeah, it's because we changed it. Oh, back. different size doors? Yeah, that's the prototype job. Yeah. We made it so it's better. Oh. So this is even better, this okay. is even better than that one. Oh, okay. What's that there that you just put on there? That's a what post the, for the pigeon. It's not a pigeon, it's a what are they called? Duck. Dove. It's a seagull. Oh, that's right. There's no such thing as a seagull. Oh. <laughs> Apparently I got told that when I said seagull. Said so says who? Because they're called gulls, they're not called seagulls. Oh right. Apparently. Mm. No. What have you got left in there then? I've got my seagulls. <laughs> Simply gull, they're called. There's no such thing as a seagull. Simply a gull. Uh, there's a Charlie's just looked that up. Really? It's on the internet, so it must be true. Then why do we call them seagulls then? I don't know. Because they're by the sea, I suppose. Yeah, because cause again, when they come over like Birmingham, you're like, oh, are there seagulls here? You know, but they're not seagulls, they're just gulls. Well, why are they oh, always by the sea then? Because there's nicer fish and chip shops there. That's a good excuse. I know. What are you lost now? I've got so much mess going yeah. on. Yeah, all right. <laughs> just making another door out of. So that was you got bundle web on it? Yeah. Yeah. That was what I cut off my curve. Oh, you okay, see? yeah, see. Don't save all your straps, don't waste it. Scraps, don't waste anything. No. Right, and then I'll do some You need a dark denim door as well. Yeah. What have you lost now? Your dark denim. No, your ruler. Your ruler. That's a tiny little door. This is how I work at home, John. I'm all over the place. Oh, you haven't got me wittering on in your ear there. Do you have music on? Do you have any noise on? No, I've usually got a podcast on. Okay. Podcast or an audio book. Right. If I'm concentrating, then I'll probably just put the radio on. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. Because I'm, I'm on my own in there all day, so I... Yeah, I just listen. I have to have something to distract me, something to. I don't have the TV or, or anything like that. No. I found though, if I had the music on, 
when I was pattern cutting, I'd end up singing along to the tunes and not concentrating. So if I had Radio 4 on with just like talking, that was better for me. Just yeah. didn't have podcasts in those days. Right, what have you got in there then? You've got the... That was the instruction to that one. I've also got this one here, which is the Rustic Home Denim Cushion, which is the other beach themed one. Charlie's got a picture of it there. So you get half a metre of calico, you get your three fat eighths of denim, and you get your white felt. That's all you need for that one. 16.99. Yeah, do it, do it quietly while Delphine's doing it, then I can get it right then. Right, so which one do you want to do, Han? Right, okay. You carry on, Delphine. Okay. I'm just having to sort out the other bundles here. Okay, we're going to do the rustic home sheep in a minute, but I'm going to just got to put the bundle together for you. The what, sorry? Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Moved from chunky to dark now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. If you'd like to make the rustic home sheep cushion, which is this one, for nineteen ninety nine, you get all you get the instructions, you get your calico, you get your two wider canvases, uh, you get uh, you get your narrow one, you get the plastic one, and you get the three felts in there. $19.99. Instructions on their own. Eleventh of November. Oh, eleven eleven. Armistice Day. Nine ninety nine. Eleven eleven. Would you like to do the little girl on a swing? Okay. Okay, little girl on a swing. I'm presuming it's all exactly the same thing, but I'll just double check. Yeah. Right, here you go, rustic home, girl on a swing, which is this one here. Nineteen ninety-nine. there it is, the finished one. And then you get all that fabric, you get your felt, your calico, your canvas. I, I'm calling it canvas, I don't mean canvas, sorry, but Hessian. 19.99, instructions on their own. Nine ninety-nine. when was that demoed please? Oh, 27th of January, that one. And then I forgot to do this one, the denim uh, cushion on its own, instructions on their own, if you've got your own. See, if you've got old jeans at home, you could just start doing, the, doing this with old jeans, couldn't you? Because that hasn't got any Hessian in it at all, has it, that one? That's just got um, rag, not rag rolled, but um, frayed denim in there and felt and things like that for the bird. 9 99 for instructions. Fantastic. There it is, made up. The one we're demoing, only now available in instructions. Haven't got the kits left anymore. Brand new today, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. You'll need to make more in future, Delphine. I will. That's good What day. are you doing now then? So now, when you come to sew all your pieces on, use a straight stitch for sewing hessian but use a, a, a zigzag or a blanket for the felt and denim. Okay, why is that? Because if, if you do too much stitching over the hessian, it can come loose. Oh, okay, so, so you're just catching it with a straight yeah, stitcher. Yeah, so just catch it. So I'm just doing one or two things and then okay. I'll move on and show you how to do the C bit. I've got fewer than 30 of the pattern on its own now of this, so we're gonna have a complete sellout. So 
I've just gone around a couple of ones. Oh, my door's fallen off. What's fallen off? My door. Oh. There we go. It's all right. I can... Maybe it's the back. That one's faced the other way round. Yeah, it's... I'll quickly sew it. There we go. Oh, no, it's going on. Forget my idea about being the back of them. <laughs> just being creative. Well, yeah, Your hair's a different colour this month, isn't it? I know, it needs dyeing. I'm having it done next week. How oh, are you? It'll be a bit... Brown as well, isn't it? Yeah, it has, actually. But no, it'll be a bit blonder next week. I was going to say, is that is that underneath colour, your natural colour? It is, yeah. Oh. I, I'm actually like a mousy brown. Mousy brown. Did you know Becky on floor is yeah. blonde? No. She's blonde. Is she really? Right, you might not know, the, some of you won't have seen her. She's got jet black, well, she says it's brown, but it's like jet black Italian hair and everything. She's blonde in real life. No, wow. well, she showed us a picture. So I'm just going on that one and then it will keep everything sewn in. It's not, it's going to stop anything falling off. Yeah. Right, and then we'll move on to the trees. Lovely, We've got 10 minutes left. And then I'll show you how to do the C. Now, just for a little decoration to just, if for the for the doors and stuff, especially for the felt. Yeah. If you just go to a normal straight stitch. Uh, Pauline, I'm afraid that one sold out. The only the only one we've got now is the ironing board shape one, the bigger one. We will get more in, but we don't know when. No, we don't know if it'll be in the bundle or when it is. When it goes to our replen department, and they then have to reorder it in. So I'll show you what I've done so far, just to give you a few ideas. So, uh -huh. so yeah, zig so zigzag or blanket stitch around uh, felts and denim and do a straight stitch over your hessian. And then if you can add a bit of direction, so all I've done there is just done a straight stitch. So it's like shows like wood panelling on the door. Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, what was I doing next? Oh, tree. Tree. So I did two trees. Obviously, you've got, you've got enough to do more than two trees if you want to. Right. So on here, so I actually measured them as eight and 10 inches, but you can do smaller or bigger ones if you want to. So all you do is cut your trees to size and you can just lay them on. Right, and then once you're happy with your length, unravel only about the top third to a half. And there's your tree there. So I've got a, um, a olive tree that has a twisted, um, What's that oh, called? Yeah, Trunk yeah. like that, yeah. And I realised the other day it was a present for my 40th birthday. So it's, I've had it for 23 years. Oh, crikey. Well I, done for keeping I know. it alive. It's from Richard and Judy. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. All those years ago. I saw a photograph of you the other day when you were on this morning. Well, the one, my one on my Facebook and I did that makeover. Oh, yeah. Everyone that's... keeps saying, how, oh, look how skinny you were. The picture's been stretched over the years. We're all tall and skinny if you look at it. It wasn't that I was really tall and really skinny in those days. We were doing three trees. Yeah, because you've got enough. Like I said, you can... The pattern, don't see the pattern that you have to do it exactly the way I've done it. No, but also if you don't have... If you're worried that you don't have any, we all have artistic, so we have creative skills, but the first time you do it, if you want to, at least you've got your pattern and your instructions to make it exactly like you say, to give yeah. you the confidence, then go, oh, next time I might do a tree like this, or I might do this. Yeah, so I've done three trees. Yeah. So then you can do a straight stitch to straight stitch them on, or you can use a zigzag stitch or a blanket one, whatever you want. So what you're going to do is sew on the trunk, don't sew on the branches because that bit I probably won't be showing you because that's all done by hand. Right. So obviously that takes a well, while. We'll talk about it on the real thing in a minute. Yeah. I'll hush the real thing in a minute. So let me just... <laughs> You've got your free motion foot out to see over there. Yeah, I don't know if I've... I, I don't think, think you'll be getting onto that. No. I'll just go down one side of each so you know that they're on. Let me 
do one more. Just going to do a straight stitch on this one because it's quicker. Yeah, okay. There we are. Right then. So there's your trees. Yeah. So all you'll do then is basically. Oh, here, 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 here. Yeah. So you'd separate all your branches and you just hand stitch them in place, but keep them nice and bendy. I quite like them. I quite like them. Could you not leave them loose if you wanted to? Yeah, of course you could. I might catch a couple of them, just one so or there's two. a basis, but yeah. then you could leave the rest like as a 3D. Yeah. And just like you could have some going over the huts and stuff. So that's how I did that. Now, the next bit I want to show you is how to do the waves. Okay. So you're going to, uh, you will need a ruler because um, you want it to be uh, quite straight. So you're going to take whatever colour denims you like. I've used the lighter denim. Okay, Auntie Pauline's message in. Say, morning, John Delphine. Absolutely adore this cushion design. I need to spend a whole weekend with Delphine. She's so inspirational. I Aww. love her design. Much love from Auntie Pauline. That's very kind. Aww. Thank you. So you want to cut these strips so they're only, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. <laughs> Maybe just a bit bigger. That's a bit bigger than a quarter of an inch, that one. Oh, what are you doing? How are you doing that? So you just... Take your strip, however big you want it, making sure it's on the right grain. Yeah. And you just pull, you just fray it. Oh, okay. So you want to do both sides. Also, what you are going to have in, in your, um, you will have the, on the salvage, if you have any salvage on, it, that's already frayed. So use that as well. So yeah. even use your salvage on, on these bits. Even all of this, this blue stuff, keep it because you can use it on the water. Basically, a denim is a blue going one way and the white going the other way, mm. the warp and the weft. So if you're pulling the blue out, you'll get white frothy waves. If you're pulling the white out, you'll get blue frothy waves. Yeah. And then you're left with... Got some I've done here earlier. Yeah. So, I, I, see, I do do some... I do do prep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trouble is, I put to so much in some of them that it's it takes so long. You do one design and then you have to keep. So what you do, you just clay around where you want to put them. So the reason why I did a curve is that you sort of want to fill some of this curve. Right. So you don't want to go above those lines. Mm -hmm. So just twist it and then you can place it on. And even use some of this blue stuff as well. You can just sprinkle it all on. Yeah. And then use a zigzag stitch, a wide zigzag stitch, and we're going to build it all up and make it into a C. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So I'm actually going to make my zigzag a bit wider. And then I'm going to sew them all on. You can take your pressing back to the sewing machine then. I was then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. That's why I've not sewn this C down, you know, I've not gone over, around the edge with yeah. it or anything. And then and capture all of those bits of string and... And just keep twisting them. And you can even let a few of the strings just hang down. So I'm just going to do a couple more. You've gone quiet, John. Just watching. Yeah. But you want to do quite a few of them to build it up. Yes, yeah. So don't just do one or two. <coughs> Quite time consuming to initially get them all frayed, but it's it's good when you but get that to this stage. You don't need to be in your sewing room today. You can just take your strips into yeah. another room, like when you're watching telly or something like that, and just um, sit there because it's quite um, therapeutic just pulling the fabric apart. Isn't yeah, it? and then just keep adding. Like I said, use the stringy bits as well. Yeah. Don't waste anything. And 
do with one on there. So I'll twist that one on there. So I'll show you so far. I mean, you've, you, <laughs> you, you get the idea. Yeah. But what I would do is that I would keep building it up because I've got all of those left. Yeah, hang on, we're just on the overhead there. Put those back. Put those back. Okay, so I've got all of these left. Yeah. Also, by mixing up the different shades of the denim as well, we'll make it look yeah, really exactly, interesting exactly. as well. But I've only got a couple of minutes left. What is there anything else you'd like to say or show or speak about? <laughs> no. Well, here, talk, talk me through. Well, talk me through the, what you've done. What's the matter? I know you've got loads of stuff to do. No, We're going to run out of time. Bag. What? They've got what? <laughs> you've melted it. the bag? Yeah. On the iron? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Rebecca Reed doesn't want the iron, does she, in the next hour? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get it off. Oh. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I wonder why... I, I was passing the cushion and she was like shaking her gun. I thought she said, I've got my pieces here. Because I've put this to the side and I've uh, put it on the back on the iron. Oh well. I knew a day wouldn't go by. So oh. just talk us through what's left on there because so I've got nothing to go through. Put your birds on with a couple of stones, a few um, French knots, yeah. and then what I did do. The reason why I did get my free motion foot out is because you can just do an extra bit of detail to the C. Just all you've got to do for that is forward and back, forward and back. So yeah. you can do it with a straight stitch. I didn't do anything else up here. What you could do is then make the do doors personal. You could put little uh, plaques on there. You could go like signs saying to the beach or numbers. I've just done like a little life saving bit, a bit of bunting. Yeah. So make it personal, have fun with it. It's one of those projects that don't take yourself too seriously and just have a bit of fun and yeah. And if you missed out, if you missed out, we will be getting it back in. Uh, Delphine, when are you in next? Next week, but only for an hour, briefly. Oh yeah, what day? Tuesday. Oh. That, is that me next Tuesday? Don't 28th. You? Oh, it is me. It is me. Yeah. I'll see you then, then. Uh, could you be a little bit more organised next Tuesday? I, I, I've been Why are you only coming into an hour? Oh, that's the day, Hannah, that we were prepping, wasn't it? We were like, oh, they've got this wrong. They've only got Delphine down for an hour. Yeah, it was, a, it was an, it's like, it's an extra one. And then I'm not in then. I'm not in for ages then. I'm not into like... When she says ages, she means about six days. Anyway, a April. Save, it's April on Sunday. Is it? <laughs> next Sunday. Oh, well, next week. it's, yeah, weeks away. Yeah. Anyway, 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 anyway. Thank you, Delphine. Have Thank a lovely uh, afternoon. Uh, don't go anywhere. We've got Rebecca Reed with all her sellouts coming up straight after this four minute break. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes, it's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there!
This Monday and Tuesday here on Towing Street, we are doing coronation makes. There's tote bags, there's bunting, there's quilts, there's cushions. In fact, Delphine's coming in to do a special Highland cow cushion, especially for the coronation. I'll be there, make sure you are. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Rebecca reads back and she wants to be the glamorous assistant in this hour. So Come when on. I show you the panels, <laughs> she will show you the finished item. I'd love to be a glamorous assistant. Well, you are a glamorous yeah. assistant. Right, so let's start with the crochet duffel tote. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. 
Oh, now everything I'm bringing you this hour has sold out in the past. We brought it all back for this hour, right? If you love your granny squares. So you get this panel, which is enormous. Right now, I'd say this was a 24.99 panel, not yeah, a 19.99. It is a big. But let me explain. You get the panel and you get the instructions for 19.99. And there's a tutorial. Doesn't and say where's on the there. tutorial? It doesn't say it on there, but if you go onto the Amber Mates website. You go onto the Amber Mates website, there. you'll see Rebecca Reed's hands making this. Yeah, no face. No face, just hands. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, where's the sample? Here. Here Thank is you. the sample. So I designed this because um, I needed it for me. Yeah. actually and I designed it for my sock knitting bag for your what? sock knitting sock bag knit. do so you I do it on straight needles or circular, circular. needles or five or you no don't do no five I don't like them. DPNs hang on I'm just gonna have to switch it's like off. having an edge jog yeah go on don't like that so I designed it specifically for that so in the crochet one and I wanted to be able to have a bag that I could when I go away on holiday or I need it or I can put it in the so in this on the lounge rather than in a carrier bag yeah so it Holds up like that. It's got what, so when you go down to the hotel lounge and you crochet, you've not just turned up with the mm. same shopping bag. Or I'm right? always crocheting in the lounge and then I can just put it all away. Yeah. Um, so it it looks like that and it's called a duffel tote because it's, well, it would have a round bottom, but I decided it was easier to not because it's easier to have a square. Okay. So it's the ish round bottom. Yeah. But then it's got the handles like a tote. Lovely. But it also then pulls in with the then drawstring. Then what you do is you undo the drawstring and then if you fold it back, you can use it to work from. Oh, because look. This is my Sam Sabido crochet cardigan bag. Yeah. So I've got all my yarn in here. Look how many that I've doesn't done. come with it. I have to do 72 of those. I've only done 30. Yeah. Um, but you see, on. all the pockets that are on the inside then come up to the top so you can like work from it. So it becomes like a storage tub then? Yeah. So you can use it to work from because if you fold the top over. How brilliant. So how the handles look like they're in the wrong place because yes. they're right on the edge. But it means that when you pull it up, they're in the right place. How brilliant. So if you turn it over, you can use it to work from. Yeah. So, and then, the, and also, I've designed it so the pockets, you can put the spaces you want. So like on one of mine, I've got a big space because I want to put a book in it. Right. Or you could put little spaces to put knitting needles yeah. in. Or so, crochet needles. Or crochet hooks. Uh, no, hooks, sorry. Or whatever. But you can then use it to work from. And on the panel is all the lining, all the outer, all the pockets, everything. Everything. So do I need anything to go inside it? Do I need an no. interfacing? Well, and I decided not to. I mean, you could if you wanted, but I quite like oh, the Oh, no, I quite like, it like that. So, so basically, you could make all of that bag. All you need is a bit of piping cord. That's all you need. Or a bit of ribbon or cotton tape. Yeah. That's the only thing you need. And I think because you've got the outer and the lining and the pockets aligned, it gives it quite gives a lot. It body. So you could put, somebody messaged well, no, me and no, said you, you don't want need to put to, You can put in wool in it and everything. I suppose yeah. it depends what you're going to put in it, doesn't True. it? True. But I haven't put anything in mine. I think no. it's fine. Brilliant. So that's the crochet one. So that's your crochet duffel my tote, right? 30. Then I've also got the... Sewing. What? Sewing. Whoa, look. Again, so it's exactly the same exactly, bag. It does exactly the same. So you could put whatever you like in this. You know, this could be the, the project where it could you could store things in if you wanted to put some fat quarters in or give it as a gift for somebody yeah. and fill it with sewing tools. I haven't actually got anything in mind. It's really easy to make as well. 13th was, of February, these are all demoed on, on your birthday. I was. Because I was going to put a round bottom, but I wanted this to really be for beginners. And right. a round bottom is a bit harder, isn't it? No, no, no. Also, square bottom means it'll stay more stable as well. If, you, if you're turning it into the work yes, parts, it's nice and stable. Yes, if you're putting milk in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, yeah, that does exactly the same thing. It's the first time you mentioned carrying milk today. <laughs> I know, I know. I just think I'm a bit upset. <laughs> And you don't even drink milk. No, I you need to get some milk some... on the way home, so maybe that's the thought. You need to get some, did you say? Yeah, so maybe it's just in my mind. If they drink it, let them buy it. Yeah, I know. It's anyway, nice. that's the sewing one. And then we've got the knitting <coughs> one. Remember, you get the instructions with it. The instructions do come with it. Here's the knitting one. Oof. Huge, huge panel. So this is this was the original premise of the design is because I wanted to keep my because I've got into knitting socks I wanted to keep all my sock bits in because you need a book. Is that the Winnick Mum? Yes, that you need yarn and then you need so many different needles so you've got to have some 
three mil D, um, DPNs, two and a half mil, you need the circular. So, because I've got so many different bits yeah. and pieces, I keep all of my sock equipment in wow. here. Wow, so you know where it is, not yes. just have to go searching around your room for it. Now, I, I she's the Winnick mum, because it's where she comes from. I stay mm. in Winnick Keys when I go to Warrington. I don't know if that's near where she is. She, um, che yeah, I think it's yeah. in Cheshire area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Must, must be doing that. Yeah, Winnick is the village. The hotel when I was doing pavers. I was like, why do I know Winnick? Why do I know that? In fact, Winnick mum. And then I thought, oh, she must be around here yeah. somewhere. Anyway, yeah, I know it's Cheshire area. That's your crochet one. No, knitting, knitting. one. That's knitting one, knitting one, knitting one. Right, now we do have a bundle if you want to make all three. Now, this is the only one I've got a bundle of, I think, isn't it, in this hour? Yeah, the only one I've got a bundle of. Again, £45. Now, £45, you get all three of these and you get one set of instructions. Only single figures on that one now already. So that's your duffel tote. That's your duffel tote. Where? Oh, now the fat quarters. We've got fat quarters to go with these. Well, I think everyone like the um, the prints. Yeah. So they're fatter quarters. Fatter quarters. I'll just find it now. Crochet. There it is. Here we go. <sighs> Loads. You got this on pre-order. So look, fatter. Oh, I love it. Fatter quarter, so you get the big granny squares, you get your little... Yeah, that's just a crochet pattern. Crochet pattern. Then and you then get the smaller crochet pattern and you get your smaller granny squares. Fatter quarters, you get oh, all of that. What a beautiful design. I love crochet and this bag will be perfect for mm. my crochet projects from Christine. Indeed it will, Christine. It's I love this. I love this granny square print. It's nice. And then there's a, a little row of them across the top as well. A little so row of them across the top. There you go. And labels and everything. And labels. For your own makes. Everything. Half the stock's gone into baskets like that. Can't click my fingers while I'm holding my foot. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Right, so that's your crochet fatter quarters. Would you like to see the sewing fatter quarters next? Here we go. There you go. So you've got like old machines, buttons, safety pins, threads, stranded cotton, all sorts. A calculator it looks like from here as well. I know, but it's, it's those buttons. Oh, it's a card of buttons. <laughs> from the back it looks like a calculator. <laughs> old fashioned. Right, 1999. Then we've also got the knitting one. Fatter quarters. They found, this is lovely, the quality of this cotton mm. is lovely, isn't it? Is it is really nice. Well, uh, it's nice because it's fine enough um, to get the print on, but if you're lining it, using it as lining as well, it's not too bulky. Yeah. There you go, there's your knitting one in the lilacs. Where's that Charlie But they make nice um, gifts for people as well, if you want to, anyone you, you know who does craft. Yeah, 1999. That's just a bunch of flowers these days, isn't it? A little bunch of flowers mm. from a supermarket. It's 19, at least 1999. Thinking of gifts. So there's your fatter quarter in your knitting. That's those, that's those. So let me put that there. Gift bags next. Hang on, oh, let's move that there, there again. Right, so this is lovely. Look at the instructions on this. So you, to get all of this, on all of it, yeah. All of this on the panel. Which one do you want to do first? So, the, the party animals is the one that's sold out. Oh, I'm doing well. Well, William you can start with William Morris. Um, with them, you will need William line. Morris day in Oh yeah, good point. Is that like this quilt? I like yeah. this. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. I'd quite like that. Right. Oh, it's upside down. Do um, so it? with so that we could get there were seven bags and six gift tags on this panel no um but with a lot of them we haven't put the lining fabric on because everyone's got lining fabric right okay you need about a meter to make them all right but if you like me i use different colors for different yeah, bags. yeah yeah we've all got a stash but it does we? mean otherwise if we put the lining on we'd have had to charge double well you'd have to have another complete one yeah. of these so you? by not with this i just thought because they're gift bags but also like a, a, a meter of uh, our plain fabrics three pounds 75 or something like that isn't it otherwise you'd have had to charge 19 uh, what exactly are they, 19, uh, 24 so 99 on the um panel you get yeah. the gift basket so that's for your bigger gift it says let's celebrate on it okay i put some bosal in this one okay bosal, one si single-sided bosal um you get the bottle tote yeah that just says cheers on it and it'll fit like 
Prosecco, champagne, bottle of gin. Yeah, lovely. Whatever you fancy. Mm -hmm. So, because that's quite nice to give somebody for Yeah. Well, Jill Rep from um, June Taylor thinks mm. those are, should always be re not recycled. But if, so she, she gave me a bottle of champagne mm. in a gift, uh, one of them that she made for me. She said, when you've drunk the champagne and you give a bottle to someone else, she wanted oh. me to give the oh, that's bottle quite a good idea, that isn't it? on with it. Don't keep that at home. And then I just put like, on this one's just got like a navy lining. Yeah. There's nothing, you can put what you like. Then there's a round bottom bag. So this is the gift pouch. Lovely. Socks, scarves. Mm -hmm. So that's a round one. And because you're getting the instructions for these, oh, and there is a video tutorial for these oh, okay. on the website. Um, also, but that'd be good if you, because a lot of people don't like, when they pack your suitcases, they want to put their underwear in a separate bag because you don't want your pants rubbing against yes. your shoes. So you that can use them as gift bags or you can use them for other things. Yeah, exactly. So there's that one. Lovely. And then we move on to the little one. So there's just a little drawstring bag. Yeah, sweetie bag. Um, this one is called the pretty little bag. And you know when you get those... It's called what? The pretty little bag. Okay. I ran out of names. Yeah. Now, you know you get those little brown paper ones and they're often tied up with a ribbon. What shops do you go to? Have you ever seen the little gift bags? When well, like in Joe Malone, you mean? Some and they have, they're like tied up, so and it has little handles. Oh. Um, and then there's this little, little baby tote bag. That's what really goes cute. in that one? Oh, that's like for a gift card a or something. And there's the gift envelope. I like this because... Oh, my. All this is on the same, the same panel? Same panel. So, you know when you buy somebody a gift card? Yeah. Or some cash? Yeah. If you put it in this... And it's printed on the front. It starts off on that panel as a square. Yeah. And then you make it and then it has, and then it's printed so that, that bit ends up in the middle. So that's to put your gift cards in. Uh, I was going to say, these instructions, because there's, there's instructions for every, every sing single one. So when you've done your view video tutorial, you've done instructions on every single yes. one. Yes, and I did, it. and they're done individually as yeah. well yeah, because yeah. it took so long. And then you get uh, matching gift tags, there's six of them that you can then either write the name on or embroider. Friction pen, so you can use them again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you that come to buy and it goes, God, you use permanent marker. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> or can I just unpick it if you embroider it? So it's kind of something for everything. So you could just put, you could put a gift card yeah. in there or just a little bar of soap. Oh, oh nice. Or um, I was hoping your knicker drawer. You yeah. know, you can, you can make nice smells in your knicker drawer. And it says good things come in small packages, which I totally agree with. <laughs> Maybe not for my knicker drawer then. <laughs> $24.99. £24 so you get all of that. That's the William Morris version. That's the William Morris version. Then we've got, which one would you like next? Uh, party animals. Animals. Don't mind. Yeah, pelican. She hasn't even got an earpiece in. She's just making it up as she goes along. What? Because you're going, oh, we're doing the party animals next. Hannah's telling me what to do next. Oh, right? I thought you were asking me. When you said, who should, what should I do next? No. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. Right, same thing, same bag, same everything. Yeah, so this is the gift basket. Oh, I can't wait to see the bottle and the gift pouch. Oh, that's nice. So that got Bozal in this It's um, animals with party hats. Fine. So that's got giraffes. Yeah. Um, and then here's the bottle bag. I love the bottle bag because it says bottoms up. And you've oh, got I thought they joined together. No, because there's a, sp a bit in the... Yeah. And there's the giraffe on the front, and then on the back is his bottom. His bottom's up. Oh. Um, and then there's the gift pouch, which has got a cheetah. Leopard. But he does join up. Is he a cheetah, is he? I don't know. I'm very, not very good at jungle Animal. animals. But he does join up oh. all the way around. Yeah. Um, and then that's the little, pretty little bag, which has the tie. That's got the zebra. A gift for you, woohoo. So that ribbon, you've put that ribbon on separately, yes. have you? I was going to say, that's very clever. No, right? Yeah, that's sort of on separately. So yeah. there, there are things like the lining and drawstring cords yeah, and ribbons, yeah, yeah. but nothing major. But when you go on the website for these, I have listed on there all the extra bits you need. So it will tell you exactly how much fabric you need for each one and whether you need eyelets or ribbons or cords. So if you Lovely. want to get those ahead, you can. Yeah. Um, there's a little drawstring bag, which is a toucan. Yeah, toucan do that. Um, that's the gift envelope from me to you oh. with flamingos and that's the little um tote bag is a little giraffe just for you and then all the gift tags all the gift tags again on the animal one what do you call what did you call it did you say party animals party animals party animals that one huge this is load you get so much for your 24.99 here so that's that one then last but not least this is the sort of, of course the stock of the party animals have gone now this one is called so 
celebration. Yeah, so this is the kind of the sewing themed ones. So okay. these are designs that Amy's drawn and then I've sewn. All right. So these match the cards. So they're designs that I've appliqued and machine embroidered and hand embroidered and then we photographed them and turned them into a panel. Oh, okay, perfect. So Let's this have is a the look. gift basket. So this is your Victoria sandwich. Oh. So you see, you could give that to anyone, couldn't you? Yeah. But there are things like the handles are printed on here because the handles have got Victoria sandwiches on. It's just the lining you need. But the bits that you need printing are on the panel. Um, then we have the bottle bag, which says fine vintage. And that's like an applique bottle. Then there is the gift pouch, which is a watering can. Yeah. Filled with flowers, obviously. 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 And then there's the pretty little bag that has a bicycle with oh, flowers in the basket. Oh, now that picture I've got to the card coming up well, in a minute. But they're all. Oh, they're all, all in the cards, All of these are, they? are in the cards. Oh, I'll tell you about that in a minute then. Um, so there's the bicycle. And then we've got the little pouch that's the cup of tea with the jammy dodger in. Mm-hmm. And then the gift. Other, two, other biscuits are available. Is that a brand name? Do you know? Jammy dodger. what they're called if they're as a normal brand. No, because brand. if you get the cheaper brand, they're called... It'll come to me in a minute. They're not called jam biscuits. Is there a generic term? Yes. I wonder what it is. Jam biscuits or something no, like that. A jam biscuit. Yeah. That is the little gift envelope. And then, um, oh, the little gift bag has got Cute. Victoria's sandwich on. And then all the gift tags. You see, so you don't need to use wrapping paper. No. No, not at all. You put it all in there. Then you make them all, and then you've got them all ready for gifts. It also means you don't need to spend as much on a gift. Because I think if you give something in a bag, People don't notice what's in it then so much. Especially if you've made it. Yeah, if you've made the bag, then it can mm. be something that's less expensive. It'd be awful though, wouldn't it, if you bought them something and they just went like this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, like, they I know. Like, no, I made no, actually, that for I you. Actually, I made that for you. Yeah. You said, well, thank you very much. I love that bag. <laughs> but then people go. keep them, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then so, they sit in the cupboard for years and years mm, and years, which is why you should always re-gift them. Re-gift, exactly. Always re-gift But that bag, you could use that bag for all sorts of things, not just for yes, gifts. Yes, well, they, none, they don't have to be used for gifts, yeah. but that was the idea. Picnic, when you go on a picnic to the park. Yeah. Cake. Cake. Mm -mm. Lovely. Right, that's all of those. Should we do the cards then next, as, as, we, as they all look like the yes. cards? So now these, you need to know what these are. These are photographs or drawings, Amy's drawings, of actual stitching things that you've made. Yes. So these are not stitched. I know the first time we brought these out, people were like, oh, man, they've arrived, they're not stitched. They know, are... Can you imagine how long that would take? Yes. These are pictures that Amy has drawn from your stitching. So you've got the bike, you've got the sewing machine. So there's nothing printed inside, they're just... No, I like cards like that because you send them for any reason then, can't you? Gorgeous, aren't they? Seven ninety nine for five cards. Now you think how much you pay for a card. You get the envelopes as well. Mm. Now the envelopes are recycled. They're all recycled. And also, if I remember correctly... Yeah, the bag is biodegradable. Yeah, and ten, well, more importantly, 10% mm. of all profit and sale of our cards is donated to UK charities who plant and protect trees. Absolutely. So not only are you buying yourself five lovely cards, you've got a recyclable bag, not recyclable, decompostable bag. Yeah. You've got envelopes that have been made that are recyclable and 10% of the profit is going to a charity as well. And there they are, there's the five cards. Beautiful. Have you started sewing this year's Christmas ones? No, I should do Oh, you better really, get a move on. No, no, good point. Yeah. Yeah, because you sold out of those. They're yeah, gone. straight away. The Christmas yeah. cards went immediately. Right, next. Shoulder bag. Now, we did this one together. The shapely shoulder bag. We did. William Morris, right? Oh, William Morris. William Morris, yeah. The two arty ones sold out immediately. The William Morris here. Well done if you've already checked out. A third of these went on pre-order. Now, at what date did we do these? 20th? 20th of February. 20th of February. Yeah. 20th of February. So that's your panel. There's your instructions, 1999. And this is what it looks like. Um, so it's, it's called Shapely because it's got darts in the bottom, so it makes it shapely. 
Um, now you can choose because when we do bags, a lot of the time people say, "Well, I wish you could put a zip in it because I don't want it to be open." Yeah. But then there are a lot of people who don't like zips. Mm -hmm. So in the instructions, I've shown you how to turn in. You can just put um, a magnetic clasp. You can put a pocket inside or not, up to you. Um, but I've also put in these. So that's just a magnetic clasp. But I've also put in the instructions how you make it with a zip. And I've done the zip in such a way that it opens wide so that when you do the zip, it will open fully. So it's up to you. You get to a point in the instructions where it says, if you want to do a mag magnetic class, follow this bit. And if you want to do a zip, follow that. Because then you can choose. A and then inside tutorial. it, and there's a tutorial. And then you've also got the pieces to make a little zip purse, mm -hmm. as well as a mini one that you could just use as a little charm. Rag charm. Or put a pound coin in. A pound co oh, for the trolley, or your shopping, tro shopping yes. trolley coin so thing. so you can put whatever you like. So um, everything you need, so you've got all the lining, all the outers, there's a zip pocket inside. Do I need any uh, interfacing? Well, I've put wadding in mine. Normal wadding. Just normal wadding, yeah. so you could use H640, you can use normal wadding. And then obviously you will need um, two D rings and a slider. But again, if you go onto the website, I've listed all of those. So it's not lots. You can put a pocket on the outside, but I didn't put them on all of them because not everyone wants to put a zip pocket in, no, but the exactly. pieces are there for it. Lovely. So, and as I said, there is a video tutorial with this one as well. Well, particularly, and also I think particularly if you've not done a zip before, but you want to. So there is either option. Lovely. So that's your William Morris version. We also have the Water Lily version, which is just gorgeous, this one, look. Panel and instructions, 19.99. Beautiful. So this is what the water lily look, one looks like. So you've got the, the bridge on the front and the back. Um, and then the lining, I like the lining, I'll show you. I'll turn inside out and you can see. It's like water, that's the lining. That's the lining. That's Ooh. just the lining. So you could have it either way, couldn't you? Um, I didn't put Amy's a pocket very in this clever, one. Isn't she? I know, she's genius. They're brilliant, aren't they? And I love the way that the bridge joins at the side yes, seams as does, well. Yes, it does. It does. Look, see, the bridge goes all the way round. And then you get the pieces to make a little zip pouch. And and you get the bluey purpley bit as well. Yes, that's all there. The only thing you don't get is the lining for this. But because there's the, the I use the pocket lining. So if you don't want to put a pocket in, okay. the pocket lining you can use for the okay. inside and of the zip. Okay, and zip, yeah. Yeah, because that's that's all one piece. Oh, oh, so you haven't had to see that. Okay, no. Brilliant. And then there's the little bag charm, which is a, a baby Teeny, bridge. Tiny bag. Just because there was a space on the panel, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, what should we put on it? So it's got a little bag charm. Oh. And then, uh, last but not least, the now you can't do a bag without doing a shop. Can no, you? you always have to do a shop. Can I love the uh, haberdashery? Haberdashery. We all shop. love a haberdashery. There you go. <laughs> Come on, John, get it the right way up. There you go. Haberdashery shop. Beautiful. Have you got that one made up? Oh, yeah. Yes. Have, yeah. So this is the one I put the zip in. But remember, you can put the magnetic clasp or the zip in either. It's entirely up to you. It just depends. And I know sometimes people are put off because it's got a zip and other times people want the zip. So I thought this is the only way around it. Yeah. Um, so that's the that's it with the zip. And it's got this lining Message in on it. the bottom. I've got the Morris kit. Used Odie coat to shower proof the fabric. Good size for everyday uses, Jennifer. There you go. There we go, sis. And because it's got an adjustable strap, you can make it cross body or you, you know, you yeah. can choose because the strap. And is if you adjustable. don't want all the furniture, you could make it with a fixed size. If you know how big you want it. Oh yeah, you don't have to put the D rings yeah. in because there are little tabs on the panel to that. But if you don't want to, you could just join the strap to the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even need to use all of that. And then it comes with um, a baby haberdashery shop. And obviously a baby. Do they have for babies? Babies. Babies. Getting so earlier. Babies. And then it's got the little charm pouch. So the instructions are there to do either or, whether you want to do the zip okay. or the magnetic clasp. Lovely. Does that make sense? Now, in Rebecca Reed's first hour today, we had some brand new superb market bag panels. We have replenished the bundle 
so you can get the instructions now i've not got the panels here these are the finished bags look this is the finished bag which is the cake shop now you don't need anything else because if you watch the earlier hour these are french seam so you don't need to have anything else but you can line them if you want to so that's your uh, cake shop this here is your fruit and veg shop your green grocers there you go so look i used to work on a fruit and veg store it's my very first job Did sheldon's you? fruit and veg store at chester market really so that's that one there what was your favorite line that you shouted no well no you see when you first started there you were on potatoes and sprouts <laughs> and then you worked your way round mm. to be on cheese eggs and chickens Ooh. did you ever get to go come here then get your sprouts sprouts no. four for a pound no i didn't do that john shelton who owned it he used to do that did i was he? too shy you just had to count the sprouts no, no, you're not counting. You have to weigh them, oh. do that. And in those days, you had to go, well, 25p, that's 25p. And then they go, a pound of Granny Smith. So you go and do the Granny mm. Smith. That's another third. And you have to add it up in your head. Well, I remember all. working in a pub and it was like that. And somebody go, Chinzano lemonade, gin and tonic, three pints of lager. And you're like, hang on a minute. Yeah. Four pounds of lemonade. Yeah, it's none of that like they do now. No, is there it was beep, none of that. Beep, and you'd be beep. having to add up 79p and 132. And yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah, there we go. 45 for all three of these. That's your uh, grocery store. And you get your instructions at forty-five pounds. Well, those those aren't right. So, will you start some sewing with the duffel bag, please? <laughs> oh, I will, because I've got that one out. Good. So, um, because I'm going to try and do all of them, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because otherwise we'll never finish it. So, I've got the, the bundle of all three is sold out. What's that? Can you hear some noise? It sounds like rain. It's rain, and yet we've got no, rooms above us. Fan. Is that rain? Or no, it's the rain outside. That's not the. That's a different that's noise. We haven't got the fan on in here. That's really heavy, then. But no, but because especially as there's the floor above us. No, that's like um, torrential. Yes. Oh no. Anyway, the bundle of all three duffel bags are sold out. You can still get them individually, but you can't get the bundle of three. Okay. So I've made the handles in advance. They're really simple. The handles. They're just like um, fold it in half wrong sides right sides together sew it to get the tube tube um then you have to attach it to the front so this looks a little bit odd yeah it does. because it looked well because i have pinned it a little bit further down just to hold it in place so i'm going to tack that on but they also like you say they look extra wide at this point they Don't do think look you're really odd because i had to sort of choose between um do i want it to look right closed or open and it, it works for both okay the biscuits called jam rings Jam rings. And nine months today is Christmas Eve. Oh, thanks for that, Sassy. Nine um, months is quite a long time, though. If, no, yes, it is. Uh, if <laughs> somebody wants to get in touch with you. Yes. Or with Amber Makes. Mm. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> it's all if somebody wants to get in touch with Amber Makes uh, to ask mm. a question about a project, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, well, the email address is on the back of our instructions. It's customer services at ambermakesco.com. Customer services, like you've got yeah. a customer services Yeah, that's team. me and Amy. Yeah. It depends who, who opens it first. Oh, no, but it's like me when... when um, I've Sounds got my good, uh, info at John Scott Sewing World and people go, please, could you ask John? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yeah, it's me, it's aren't me. you? Yeah, I am. Um, what are you doing? Sorry, you just... Oh, I just sewed this on and hadn't realised it was unthreaded. OK. In transit. Yeah. It then came from the green room. <laughs> and it obviously got unthreaded. Right, we'll start again. So just tack these on. And whenever I put handles on, I always tack them a little bit further down Make as sure well. you don't sew it to the back. Yes, I'll try hard. Luckily, I haven't got a bag this time. Um, because when you turn a bag right sides out, if you keep the pin on there, I always end up spearing myself. So I tack them on there. OK. And it's really annoying when you get a wonky handle. So if you just take a little bit of time yeah. to or not... Or if you leave a pin in. Yes, and it, and it hurts, doesn't it? So I'm just going to attach those. So they might look a bit odd at the moment. Because you've pinned and tacked them a little bit further down, They sort of it pulls them up. But it will all be fine, I promise. Mm hmm um, oh, I know that's what I was going to show you. So, that's the handle on one side. Yeah. Now, the bit that the drawstring goes through is the casing. So, with the casing, you turn the ends under, give them right. a little zigzag, and then fold it in half. That just hems the casing. Right. So, now we're going to um, pin that. That goes on top of the handles. It's got to be central because the casing isn't as, as long as the front because oh, okay. you don't so want the, the piping comes out before the end of the bag so if you fold it in half and pop a pin in mm -hmm. and then you fold this in half 
you can just crease it and put a pin in. Then if you pin it, you need to put the raw edges at the top. So there's nothing really complicated about this because there's no fastenings and fixtures. Uh -huh. So if you're really new to sewing, this is really achievable. So as you can see, it ends up about half, half an inch from the edge, yeah. which means that that allows for your quarter of an inch seam allowance and then a quarter of an inch that it's not. Yeah, it's not going edge. into your seam allowance. No, because otherwise you won't be able to use it as a drawstring. No. So oh, I'm not supposed to do that. Don't put pins in your I mouth. know, and do you know, every, but I do it all the time. I've never swallowed one yet, and I know you're not supposed to. I've done about. You just tempted fate. You, you have to have a cotton wool sandwich ready if you swallow a pin. I've never swallowed one. It's amazing. And I have a magnetic pin cushion by my. But you still put them in your mouth. Just spit them in there. Yeah. That's spit pleasant, them. isn't it? Well, I've got too many of them, and oh. I drop them all in. But you can sew so much faster. <laughs> You know my story about pins, don't you? No. Pinning. So when we first started at Wimbledon School of Art, we only made costumes for mannequins. So when you're doing a mannequin, you're like this, you've got your pin in your mouth, and when you finish the pin, just put it in the neck oh, of okay. the mannequin, yeah. don't you? Our first fitting with an opera singer <gasps> from the Royal Opera. No. no. English, no, no, it was one of the operas, one of the operas, anyway. And I was doing a sort of, so, it was a really lovely costume, like a soldier boy costume. And I was literally fitting the jacket like this, took the pin out the front and just put it in his neck. <laughs> It's not funny. And I bet you were a young man. What? I bet you were quite a young lad. Oh, I was so nice. I, I, no, I just moved to London. And I was shy like, and... I'm in that big there, that London. Yeah. Oh, I was so, so embarrassed. <gasps> what did he say? Well, he, he was embarrassed as well because it was like, he was only a young opera singer. Oh. He wasn't a lad. He was a grown man, but he was like thinking, oh, this, this is how they fit costumes in, shoving pins <laughs> in on it. <laughs> that is quite funny. Aww. Have you ever swallowed a pin? No, touch wood. See, and I haven't either. So maybe it just doesn't happen. Maybe people just don't. Have you sewn over your finger? Once. Oh, yeah. Once. And they say you're why. not a sewer until you've sewn over your finger, don't they? Mine was on an industrial machine, so mine went straight through. Who was it did it the other day on air as well? Somebody did. Oh, somebody did. Was yeah. it Amanda Little? It might have been. Yeah. Sean with you? Yeah, yeah. It was somebody with me yeah, and Little. did it. I've never... No, actually once. And I can't think why or how. I don't know. Yeah. Um, right, so I've done that one, and then I've done the back. In this, so that's done exactly the same way. You just, okay. You just do the two of them together. Lovely. Um, then you put the front and the back. So this is easy. I'm showing you the bits so you can... These are the only tricky bits, really. Okay. Um, then you sew the front and the back together. Mm-hmm. All the way around. And all of the seam allowances are included within it. So you just cut around the edges and the cutout corners are already there. So you just Brilliant. cut around the edge. So don't sew around the cutout corners because that's going to be our lovely box bottom. So uh -huh. normally on a bag this size, I wouldn't have such a big box it's bottom. huge, isn't it? Well, it's the same size almost as my supermarket bags, but because I wanted it to appear to be a round bottom. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Then that's why it's so deep. But also it means you get you can get stuff in it. Oh, it also means you're not placed. I thought when you kept saying it's got a square bottom that you were having to put in no, a square no. bottom, but it's just a very deep box Well, bottom. I just thought there's a lot of people who would, you want to make a bag like that. And sometimes, well, it depends what project we're doing, but we do a lot of projects that are more complicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and this one, I designed specific, if I, if I was making it for myself, I would have probably put a round bottom on. Yeah, and, and but, put it in as a separate unit. Yes, yeah. but... I wanted this to appeal to people who, or, well, people who can sew and want something, make something quick, but also yeah. just something that's easy. And actually, fewer like than twenty button. of the knitting one left now. Twenty minutes left on the hour. Right. So I'm going to just sew it quickly down the sides and across the yeah. bottom. If that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. But remember, with all all of these, because these are anything from my birthday show onwards, they've all got tutorials. So. If you just go onto the website, you'll find them all there. But the details are all in the instructions. Ooh. Yeah. Um, then you can just follow the tutorial there. Right, the crochet one. Somebody would like to see the crochet one. Here it is. Right, hang on, I've got the, yeah, yeah, there you go. How many of these have got left? Okay, it's 20 in baskets, need to be checked out. 20 in baskets, need to be checked out. I like the fact that, oh, excuse me, I've hiccuped again. I love the fact that you've put little um, 
granny squares in the space where the box bottom is. Yeah, because I was thinking what you could do, particularly for the crochet one, you could make those into a little purse to put all your, um, your stitch markers in. Your fish markers? Stitch markers. Stitch markers. No, no, oh no, it's knitting, is it knitting the ones that, that look like crochet. fish? Yeah. Yeah, those are the little fish things. Yeah. But you could use it to put your little stitch markers in. Yeah, oh yeah. How do, how do you fit all of this in? How do you fit in a life, like a mum, yeah. and Amber makes, and you do your own knitting and sewing, <laughs> and you go to festivals, and you go to the I shops? I don't know, I just abandon the kids, really. Well, luckily well they're, they're all grown up now. Well, they are. One's still at home. It's his birthday today. Sebastian's oh, birthday. Oh, yeah. How old is he? He is 20... Do you know, I was thinking about the other day, 24. And he's your youngest? No, he's the middle one. Okay. The youngest one is 20. So why is he at home now then? Did he not go to university? He did and then he came back and he's still at home. Uh, has he not got a job? He has got a job, he's got a full-time job, yeah. Well, kick him out, no. you need oh. the sewing room. I quite like him. No, you him. love them being I round, like him being you? at yeah. home. So I made him a cake yesterday. Oh yes. And then I hid it. Oh no. And then this morning, because obviously I got up before him, I put it in the fridge with a little note on. Never put cake in the fridge. Why? You're not supposed to talk. Oh, Just we're on thing again. Um, but it had a cream cheese icing. I couldn't leave that out. It would go all... What time will he get up? He's still in bed now, do you think? No, he's at work today. Oh, so... So I left at half four Imagine this the morning. dog probably got it. Would've the got dog would have got it. So I put it in the fridge with a little note on. Oh, OK. Oh. I don't know whether he's got it or not. Uh, well, I did not even rang you to say thank you. Well, no, because he knew I was coming to work. Texture. Good done. So he said, oh, you, will you come out for dinner with me in the evening with me and all my friends? I went, oh, that's nice. And I thought, yeah, do you know why? Yeah, because you'll pay for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him and his five friends. Oh! So he's 24 on the 24th today. Oh. oh. So how old, how many have you got? Three, so Freya's 25. Yeah. She's teaching in London, she teaches year six. Oh. Sebastian's 24 today, and Freddie's 20. <gasps> and he's at Leeds Uni. And what's he studying? Maths. Oh, clever. He's, yeah, he's good at maths. So a teacher, what, what, what's the big, what's oh, Sebastian, Sebastian done? works for, um, in the operations department of a company that builds, you know those posh sheds you get in gardens that are workshops or so? Yeah, 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 yeah. company that does oh, that. Oh, wow, very diverse thing. Very they? diverse, oh, what's yeah. their dad do? What's your husband He's do? an accountant. Oh, my word. Anyway, mm. we're going with the sewing. Anyway, just, yeah. yeah. He's been working at the same place for 20 years. <gasps> 20 20 years. Clock. And he's leaving next oh. Friday. Have they has, he, has he told them? <laughs> Yeah, he's going to get a new job. So he's booked three weeks off to go trekking in Nepal. I hope he's not watching, but I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, no, you have a lovely time. I will. Oh. My, my brother imagine did me in bed, I'll be sleeping like a starfish. <laughs> I think you're so small, there's no sort of room for you to do that anyway. Um, just be bed. careful, because if you sleep on your own in bed for too long, it dints in the middle. That's <laughs> one. So my bed goes like that, really? dints in the middle, then goes up again at the Ooh, side. Oh, I've decided, you know what, I'm not going to empty the dishwasher. I'm just going to live what, for three out of weeks? it. I'm just going to eat out of it. Okay. You know, our men are a bit obsessed with dishwasher. I don't know. It's just my. Husband. I haven't got one. He repacks it and everything. I can imagine. Anyway, get on with your sewing. So, um, anyway, really looking forward to so it. So, what's it? Where's he's going? Tricking in? What tracking in? Nepal. Oh, lovely. Yes, he works oh, at I'd Bristol love Airport. To do he's that. been there for twenty years. Same job for twenty years. <gasps> so, so he's just left his job and gone. Well, he's decided his time. To, he's going to have a bit so of time off. So he hasn't found another one. No, yet. he's he's look, he's get, looking for one. He's had yeah. a few well, interviews. Accountants are never going to be able to work. Well, no, I hope he finds one soon. He, he, should, said, um, he said I might have three months off. I went, really? <laughs> oh, no, you don't want him home for three months. <laughs> I know. It's like panic. Um, <laughs> but he, he could be a gardener or something like that if he's something he loves. You see, a friend, another no, friend of mine left his job after 20 odd years and then he went, oh, I've got to find a new job, I've got to find a new job. I said, you're comfortable enough, just go do something. He loves tinkering with cars and fixing mm. cars. I said, do that. Oh no, I have to do this job, I have to do this job, but. Oh, well, he's going to get, he's, he's having interviews for the jobs. So okay. He reckons he's going to have three months off though. Okay. <gasps> he's only around the house for three I months. No. You'll be in here, she'll be in here every day. I will. Oh, who's on tomorrow? Oh, it's oh, Rebecca yes, Reed. Yes, yes. Who's on tomorrow? Oh, it's <laughs> Rebecca Reed. <laughs> yeah, would well, you want any help? Can I just come and do your shift for you? I don't want paying. Just need to get out of the house. Um, so I'm just boxing the bottom. So what you do is you take the side seam and the base seam and you place them right sides facing. Make sure you match up the seam. And she was just. <laughs> Did it just move? Yeah, I did, because Charlie keeps telling me I'm on the split camera. Um, make sure those seams match up, and then I'll sew one and show you. And then just sew them across. I always like to pin either end as well, just to keep it nice and neat. Okay. If you haven't done this before, you're new to it, I would um, press it, then pin it, and then it will be a nice, neat finish. It's my 63rd birthday today, loving the show, as oh, I booked the Delft to watch Sewing Street from Susie. Is that mm. our Susie? 
I didn't know she was 63. No, no, our Susie isn't on today. You know, have you got Su Susie Menem? In oh, I've got her to get to fix my bracelet. Anyway, um, yeah, well, good day happy birthday. birthday this, Susie. I'm only joking, because our Susie will be at home going, I'm not 63! Um, have a lovely birthday. You're just a few months older than me. March 24th. Obviously a great day. Oh, yeah. He was massive as well. He Mass was a massive baby. Oh, yeah, massive. Oh, dear. Still remember it. 1976 was the heat wave, not the year we were born. Oh, that was. I remember 1976, vaguely. What are you muttering about over there? I'm saying I do remember 1976. It was a fabulous... I, I did my O-levels that year. Oh, did you? So I had my long summer holiday that year. Really? Oh. And I had a girlfriend called Shirley Lloyd. Did you? We used to walk around the meadows holding hands. <laughs> Oh. I wore great big platforms like this and trousers that were this wide and a waistband that came up to here. Did you? Did you think you were like it? Oh, we were it. <laughs> we were the it couple. Were you? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, God, I was never the it couple. No. That's she was nice. dancing school. She was at Hammond's dancing school. Was she? Yeah. You were the it couple. Yeah. In your clothes. Oh, my. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. So well, I've, uh, I've boxed the You're not going to get any of the sewing things in now, are you? Look at the time. No, I know, but there's full tutorials on the website. It's a tutorial on the website, free. Um, so that's what happened. We could have just shown those. We could have gone we, home an hour we early. We've just got Hannah to press yeah, the button and show yeah. all those. That would have kept going, wouldn't it? Uh, a tractor. Now, Hannah, this is a person, not a farming vehicle. A uh, hello, John and Rebecca. I'm loving your show. It feels like having a couple of old friends. Old, old, old friends. Hang on, old friends round for coffee. Yeah, soy vanilla latte for me, please. What was your order? Um, I'll have an oat milk latte. Oat milk latte, there you go. Simple. I've decided from now on I'm going to identify as 23. 23, what? Age 23. Why? But just because I'd like to be 23. Would you? I'd, rather, I'd like what to go back to being 37. As? I'd quite like to go back to being 37, but not mm. 23. Really? Oh, I was so naive and shut. Um, if I knew now, if I knew then what I know really? now, then I'd be happy to. Oh, I loved being 23. No, I was too... My birthday's the 26th, 21 again, says Wendy in Oxfordshire. Oh, well, Wendy, you can identify. I think you can choose what age you identify as. And then you can that be that. Yeah. But then you get paid less when you're 23 than you do when you're 63. Oh, yeah, but do you know when you're 23, you don't have a hangover? Wasn't it great? I'm trying to think back to 23. Where was I? 83. I started, Wimbledon I, School of Art. I was just finishing my course well, at Wimbledon School of Art. I moved to Bath and I started work on the magazine. Oh. And I told them in the interview that I could use a computer and never use it. <gasps> and then on my first day, they sat me in front of it and I went, I don't know. They said, you said you could use one. I went, I know I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Too late And then. you didn't lose the job. No. Too late then. Um, so when you box the bottom, yes. <laughs> press the Did ends. you lie about having to make a duffel bag? <laughs> I lied about all sorts. <laughs> no, I could actually sew. All you had to do is to be able to sew to get this job. Oh, OK. And I could sew, so there we go. Oh, that's fine. Couldn't use a computer. Couldn't use a computer to write yeah. down what you were sewing. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to be. I was a technical editor. I was supposed to write instructions. OK. <laughs> what you could do is write them by, write them by hand and then give mm. them some secretary to type up. They came, the guy from IT goes, goes, what applications have you got? And I went, oh, I haven't got any of those. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what gave me away. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are you doing now? Right, so... Oh, you're not, are you plugged in? Um, yeah. When you box the bottoms, if you just press from one seam to another, that creates that kind of square effect. You don't sew along it, but what that will do, if you look at the base now, you get that kind of square base. That gives it a bit of structure. Yeah. Now, you'd be pleased to know I have actually made the um, lining in advance. Okay. So with the lining, you have the pockets that are sewn on. So I've sewn those on. Now, this is the point at which you need to choose. So you have a pocket on the front lining and you've got a pocket on the back lining. So you need to choose now your, oh, your, size of your pockets. delineations. Yep. Yep. So if you're like me and you've got one for your socks and you've got a book, because right. you might quite often with these, you've got a pattern or a book, yeah, yeah, then yeah. just measure it. So like with this one, I've put a pocket there. I don't want the whole pocket because then it would fall out yeah, yeah, yeah so I've put a smaller one there so right. just have a think at this mm, stage what, you to in your what you're going to put in your pockets if you can't decide then I would just do three evenly spaced but if you say you've got the knitting bag you could sew down the lines between all the balls of yarn and that could be for needles knitting needles, needles. Knitting needles yeah. so just at this point have a little think about what you want to do with your pockets okay. then when you've decided that um, because you've so you've made your pot the pockets are lined as well so base so your bag has got a 
outer alliance, you've got four layers of fabric. And all that on, on the there. panel. We don't need to oh, supply. No, you don't. Now it's all on the panel. Yeah, brilliant. And then you position the pocket in such a way so that it's above that bottom seam. Oh yes, of course. Because yeah. you don't want your pockets going under you, the base because yeah. that would be quite annoying. So once you've decided that, I'm just going to pinch a ruler. Oh, you'll be lucky. Well, it was you that came looking for a I ruler know, I earlier. Found, what I wanted was, you know, the eight by twenty-four. Yeah, where I don't know where it's gone. Or the six by twenty-four. Yeah, it's gone. When no one checks out, this one's sold out. Um, I'll just put one down here. So when you do it, just draw a line. You, I'm going to put my pocket there. Draw it with a pen. If you haven't got a pen, don't worry. Just use it lightly in pencil. Yeah. Um, and then, this is the important bit, because obviously you're going to be using this pocket over and over again. Things are going to be coming in and out of it. So it needs to be strong. And you'll find sometimes it's this, that's, that's the weak point. So just put a pin in so you know it's nice and secure. And then start stitching it from the bottom. Yeah, oh yeah, don't start from the top. And then sew, sew all the way up to the top because that keeps the pocket nice and flat. Otherwise, if you start from the top, even if you've pinned it, you always get a pleat, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Don't know why. Anyway, when you get to the top, don't go over the end of the pocket because it looks a bit messy. Just stop right at the top. Keep the needle down, turn it round, and then sew right, right down to the bottom. Then you haven't got the start and finish of any seam at the top, which may come undone. Right. And then when you get to the bottom, so I know that's a bit much. So what I did when I sewed mine on is I sewed it down the side, along, up and down, along, up and down. Stop draining now, the sun's out, apparently. That was torrential, was, wasn't it? Yeah. And then you can just press that. And then you know that you haven't got any sort of weak points here. I mean, if you think you're going to be, you can always do some more reverse stitches on there. So just have a little thing. But as I say, if you really can't decide, then just maybe three pockets will do. Lovely. And then you sew the front and the back lining together in exactly the same way as you did with the outer. And then you... Um, place the lining inside the outer and sew it together all the way around the top edge that encases the lining that the casing inside yeah turn it right sides out because you've left a gap in the bottom of the lining and that's it thread your cord through yeah oh wow that's quite quick isn't fantastic it? nothing tricky but uh, you've got another message apparently no no <laughs> Just bought first thing from mm -hmm. Sewing Street, the crochet bag. Have never used a sewing machine, so sewing machine. So wish, wish me, me luck, up. Tanya. Well, it's a good one to get. It it's, is because in fact, somebody Margaret mm. messaged in the other day saying, "I've just bought my first sewing machine. Watch the buy." And I said, "Put it on the Facebook page." And most people said, "Get one of the Amber Make Simple okay. Makes, not one of the com com not yeah, complicated. Yeah, because they are complicated. Not, but more advanced, not complicated. Mm. But get a simple like storage pots bag. Well, all like the sewing machine or the shopping bag." Yes, yeah. It would so be brilliant, good. brilliant, brilliant, Tanya. Welcome. Welcome to the most if dysfunctional you, Tanya, family you're ever likely to come across. When you start off. She bought this. Um, draw the seam allowance on. Get, get an erasable pen. We have got them on the website, hopefully. This will be your best friend. Yeah, your friction pen. Friction pen, because when If you... the friction pens are out of stock, go to the threaders bit, because we've got them. They're called heat erasable on the threaders section. Um, draw your seam allowances on. So there's a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So draw a line with this on the wrong side of your fabric and sew along it. And by the time you've done three or four seams, you will be really good at sewing in a straight line. Yeah. So that's the first thing that people say mm? is, I can't say. So straight, straight line, no, exactly. Draw it on. And then you just iron and it disappears. Brilliant. So you got to buy a sewing machine, Tanya? No, she's got a sewing machine. Did she? How do you know? Well, I reckon, because she said it would be my first time using one. Oh, okay. I right. presume you got one, Tanya. I was going to say. If you, you haven't, machine. we've got those. Yeah, we've got a sewing machine. She's got a lovely overlocker. Get the 720 Pro if I was Oh, only because that's what she's got. That's get, what the I've got and I love it. get the 680 Plus, because that's what I've got. Anyway, look, shh, shh, shh. Got to recap. Look at the time. Look at the oh, time. Yeah. Look at the time. What would you like me to recap, Han? Crochet duffel, Tandy, I've got that in my hand. So you get the panel and the instructions. Therefore, uh, oh, I thought it was 24.99. Fantastic. Really simple, lovely first project like Tanya's doing. Now, do you say Tanya or Tanya? Depends how posh you are. It's like Nadia or Nadia. Mm. Anyway, that's that one. Next I think one. Tanya. I think I'd be called Tanya. 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 No, you'd be. I'm trying to do it in the Bristol accent. What's next? 
William Morris Shapely bag. That's this one here. So you get the instructions, the Shapely shoulder bag. Where did I put it? Gonna, What's the matter? Yeah, where did you put it in your pile of rubbish on the floor? See the back here. Terrible. There you go, there's your William Morris Shapely bag. And Rebecca's got the sample. This is it here. See, I put. You don't need to put zips on if you don't want to. But that's. And it's zip. both. In, both sets are in the instructions. Both the zipped version and the non-zipped version. And it does come version. with a pouch and a charm, as bag charm as well. Little pouch. Uh, uh, Lo says she doesn't get hangovers now. <gasps> you need a new drink, Rebecca, or come drinking with me. She says. Well, what do you drink though? to not get oh, one. She drinks some, every weekend she's, she's saying, uh, like she, her favourite at the moment is a uh, espresso martini. <gasps> that is my all time favourite. Oh, everybody's gone, oh, at that one. Oh, I love an espresso martini. Oh dear. Nice with a Turkish delight. Sweet. <laughs> if you just have a Turkish delight. Like a rose flavoured Turkish yeah, delight. And it, the chocolate coated one, you know. A pop -up. Fries one, you know. In yeah, 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 yeah. That one, with an espresso martini. Ooh. Just works. Anyway, next, move on to next. Mm. William Morris gift bags. <laughs> there, 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 there. William Morris gift bag. There Quite you go. like a pina colada as well. What's Do your you? favourite cocktail? We're going to start going through the whole list of, pe of um, not pina coladas, uh, cocktails now. You get the. Uh, you do get the um, instructions with it. I'm singing, I'm dancing to Hannah singing. She's singing the song Is about pina singing, colada. Now. I'll have a pina colada. That's the one. They said they're not the words. <laughs> 24 99 you get that and the instructions. What is she singing? It's not I'll have a pina colada. If you like pina colada, um, isn't it? If you like pina colada. Yeah, you'll get caught in the rain. Anyway. Yeah, you're doing the Bristol version. I'll have a pina colada. colada. Thank you very much. <laughs> In a pint glass. I did Malibu and pineapple the other Malibu. day. Ooh. Ooh, it was what, horrible. What, what? It was horrible. Animals in party hats. That's that one. I've only got a couple of minutes left. Look, when are you in next, Rebecca Reed? Well, well I'm, sure I'm in on Sunday. Oh yes, she's I'm just the... been moaning. Oh, never ever agree to work on the day the clocks go forward. Yep, I clocks go get... forward on Saturday night. Because I have to get up at half three to come here. I'm gonna have to get up at half two, so I'm gonna have to stay overnight. Oh, silly. But then you're in on Monday as well. And I'm in on Monday as well. So you're not doing Tuesday? No, I'm in on Tuesday, aren't I? I'm doing Next Sunday week. Tuesday, and Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm doing it. And then week. after that, I'm having a week off because we're going to Portugal because he's finishing work after 20 years. So I said, we should go away. I thought he was going to... Ah, that's end of April. Oh, OK. Seems he thinks he's having Next. three months off. Oh, we've got to do the menu for tomorrow. Well, we've got to talk about the quilt. Oh, yes. Did you, how did you hear that? Well, William Morris Quilt Biz well, I just Star. remembered that we did, because I said to you earlier, I love that, and you said we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I've only got a minute now. <laughs> uh, this should be £249, a special celebration of William Morris today. Emma Bradford did it uh, on the birthday week, not this version, she did the cave version. So if you want to see how to actually make it, it's very, very Is simple to make. Is it Lone Star? Hmm? Lone Star? Yeah, yeah. I but love we've, it. We've, ah. Absolutely yeah. love we've it. done it in Cape and we've done it in Tula and now we've got it in this. But seventy pounds off. That's amazing. And look at the split pay. Oh, excuse me. Look at the split pay. Five way split pay. <gasps> you can get it home for thirty five ninety nine. Then pay four more thirty five ninety nine. It's yours. Well done if you've got yours. I would like that. Right. If everyone checks out, that's sold out. Right. There's still lots of you got in your <laughs> basket. So if you're at home going, oh, I really wanted that, you can still come in, put it in your basket, check out, and then one of the people who put it in their basket will then come out to check out later won't get it. So you've got, I've got more people want this in their basket than we've got stock of. I'm one of those people. And go and check I out. I would really like that. Well, go and check out quickly. I haven't even put it in my basket. Oh no, but you're fine. If you go out now, do okay. it now before you go home. Right now, I'll do tomorrow's menu. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do this first, so they've got this one. Clearance panels at 8 o'clock. Oh, now, they're proper clearance panels, right? Uh, Clyde Thope quilt blocks 1, 2 and 3 with Anna. Oh, it's Anna Sanders tomorrow. Uh, that's uh, Alice Caroline. Bold and bright fabrics at 10 o'clock. Uh, Alice Caroline pre-cut. Oh, now, when we had the pre-cut charm packs last time, they sold before we even got to the hour. We had nothing to do for an hour. We've got even more shapes. We've got the butterflies, the hearts and even more shapes tomorrow. And then Miss It, Miss Out Liberty fabrics at 12 o'clock. I have got extra wide, L look <gasps> at this. That's nice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's, Limited is stock that new? Now. Yeah. I've not seen that before. Isn't it beautiful? 108 inch, 108 inches. Dress, like, dress. Yeah, I said that, I, we did a wrap dress yesterday. It would be <gasps> gorgeous in this. Pajamas, can pajamas? you imagine? Pajamas, no, we said pajamas, yeah. 
Ooh, I really like that. It's 13, nine, nine, half meter, but that's, that's the width. It's 108 inches. Oh, there you go. Only 30. That's good price. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Curtains, be beautiful. Right. Lining. <laughs> Lining. Next, I've got now cream or the blue? Cream first. The blue's about to sell out. There you go. This is lovely. Oh, that's lovely, isn't Very it? Very subtle, this one, isn't it? Look. Oh, <laughs> we both rubbish at this, aren't we? It's um, been a long day. <laughs> We've both been up for a long time. Look, there you go. That's gorgeous, isn't it? 13 99 for half a metre. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Imagine, like, if, you take, if you're making tote bags for the church fate, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads. You can make loads. Or cushions. Yeah. Imagine how many cushions or cushion bags you can make out of that. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Well, it's better than plain, isn't it? Check out the blue one. It's about to sell out. The blue one's about to sell out. If you've got a new basket, you need to check out more people who've got it in their basket. We've got stock off. Thank you very much indeed, Rebecca. Oh, it's been a pleasure as always. Uh, always. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Don't be late. Bye.